Son, Jesus. May God the Holy Spirit enlighten and give us May God the Father bless us. May God the Son heal us. May God the Holy Spirit enlighten us and give us eyes to see with, ears to hear with, hands to do the work of God with, feet to walk with, and mouth to preach the word of salvation with. And may the angel of peace watch over us and lead us at last by the Lord's gift to the kingdom. Amen. savvy we are more than just content creators we are storytellers we tell the Tomashian story stories of victories stories of inspiration and the story of unending grace we are 360 it can be found here here and here we have industry standard equipment and facilities for hands-on use. These equipment also enable us to service people by producing a myriad of content. We don't just share stories, we engage people. We are professionals who take our craft seriously by transforming 
crazy into impressive, side by side with our student volunteers. We hone, we cultivate, we are committed to truth, kindled by love. We are the USD Communications Bureau. We are always on the move. Always on track and in full swing. Serving the Thamashian community by creating. Grow and growl with us. We are in full swing. We are the Tiger Media Network. As Jesus was going up Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them, On the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached him with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My cup you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left. This is not mine to give, but this for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles, Lord, it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slaves. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. Today, the Church in this Lenten time, inspired by the Holy Spirit, proposes a text where Jesus suggests to His disciples, and accordingly, to all of us, a change in mentality. Today, Jesus changes the human and earthly mentality of His disciples and opens up a new horizon of understanding concerning a new style of life for His followers. We have a natural tendency towards a desire to dominate or subjugate things and people, to command and to order, to have things done as per our wishes, to have others accept our status, our position. But now, Jesus is proposing to us just the opposite. Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Servant, slave, we cannot just take these words at their face value. We have heard them hundreds of times, sure. But now we must be able to assimilate the reality of what they actually mean and confront it with our attitude and behavior. The Second Vatican Council asserts that man cannot fully find himself except through a sincere gift of himself. We may be under the impression that we are giving away life, but in fact, we are retrieving it. He who does not live to serve does not serve to live, and in this attitude, Christ should be our perfect model. Jesus is fully man, inasmuch as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. Being a servant, being a slave, as Jesus asks, is impossible for us. It falls short for our weak will, so we are to implore, to hope for, and to profoundly wish these gifts are granted to us. Lent and its Lenten practices, fasting, charity, and prayer remind us that to receive these gifts, we have to prepare ourselves adequately. Updates on national and local matters. 
the station where you hear the roaring news and current affairs. We magnify the truth. Tiger Headlines. This is Tiger Headlines. Good morning, USD. I am Luis Alvarez, and these are the latest happenings. Volunteers of the USD Tiger Media Network arrived today at the John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City for the IBS International Media Conference, which takes place on March 1 and 2. The volunteers, accompanied by the broadcasting arms advisor, Ms. Faye Abugan, and its business manager, Mr. Earl, Mr. Earl Pantoja, will be in the U.S. from February 29 until March 7, where the group will also be meeting with various Tamashian alumni, part of the American media industry, and record their own renditions of USD Tiger TV shows, but with a New York twist. The official broadcasting arm of the university is nominated for 12 awards for this year's IBS Media Awards, with USD Tiger Radio being nominated for Best Online-Only Radio Station, as well as one of its jocks, Luis Elaine Legaspi of Ti or Tiger Jock Val, as the Best On-Air Personality. USD Tiger TV is also nominated for the Best College-slash-University Television Station, with Gabriel Alvarez, also from TTV, nominated as the Best Student Station Manager. The network is also nominated for Best Social Media Campaign during its Grand Yellow Day, Wear Your Best Yellow Campaign, and Best Use of Graphics with Tiger Score created by AB Communication Art students and aired on TTV. As for individual awards, Comart students Paolo Alejandrino is nominated for Best Promotions Director for Television. TMN Sports Unit Head Kim Adrian Salengas is nominated for Best Sports Director. Advertising Arts Student and Tiger TV Creatives Head Andrea Nicole Garcia is nominated for Best Creative Services Director. Business Director for Radio and Television is nominated to Sofia Ann Lacson and Angelica Cherry Mendoza, respectively. And Comart students Angelica Lamson is nominated for Best Social Media Director. USD General Santos City appoints the former Department Chair of USD's Department of Medical Technology, Professor Edelberto P. Manahan, Ph.D., as USD Jensen's new Director of the School of Health and Sciences. As the first Director of the School of Health Sciences in USD, General Santos, Professor Manahan will educate and direct the first-ever health science students in coming the following academic year in that university. The USD Department of Medical Technology welcomes Associate Professor Gregorio L. Martin I as its, first, as its new department chair. In a Facebook post, the Department of Medical Technology and Faculty of Pharmacy congratulates them both for their newly appointed positions and wish that they may continue to cultivate a culture of excellence in their respective roles. For more of your daily dose of the Mashing News, stay tuned here on Tiger Headlines. Giving you the updates on national and local matters. The station where you hear the roaring news and current affairs. We magnify the truth. Tiger Headlines. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for USP. Santayo Kakai. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> it's so exhilarating. And <laughs> congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. 
reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. Updates on national and local matters. The station where you hear the roaring news and current affairs. We magnify the truth. Tiger Headlines. News flash within and outside the campus. This is Tiger Headlines, and I am Therese Alvarez. The USD Softballs, the university's female softball team, experienced their first loss for the season of the UAAP softball tournament against the Adamson Lady Falcons yesterday at the UP de Liman baseball field. USD was leading with 3 to none through the first half of the game, but Adamson was able to catch up and strike out USD and its star players. Assistant coach of the softballs, Esmeralda Tayag, said that they lacked on the batting and the solid hits despite having the timing. She also adds that they will be focused on batting in their training against their next game against UP on March 6 next week. USC College of Nursing's Level 3 students, alongside the Level 3 faculty staff, attend Revitalizing Unity, USC College of Nursing's 2024 Level 3 Manawag Pilgrimage on February 28, Wednesday. The pilgrimage, the pilgrimage culminates in a Eucharistic Mass inside the Our Lady Manawag Church with Reverend Father Julius Paul C. Factora OP, JCD, co-officiating the Mass. Some of the attendees include the Level 3 nursing students, the College of Nursing's faculty secretary, support staff, among other faculty advisors. Professor Giancarlo Torres leads the Manawag pilgrimage since 2019, but this time in collaboration with Reverend Father Factora. The pilgrimage aims to teach students the importance of strengthening the bonds within the college and spiritual lives of the attendees. These are the stories of the day. I am Larise Alvarez. For more news and updates, just keep it here at Tiger Headlines. Giving you the updates on national and local matters. The station where you hear the roaring news and current affairs. We magnify the truth. Tiger Headlines. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. Santayo Kakai. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> it's <so> exhilarating. And <laughs> congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. 
First in line, Legacy, Legacy Through Time. Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Alright, so alam nyo, Tigers, Thursday is the best day of the week. Bakit kaya? Kasi sabi daw nila, Tiger Rush daw kasi ulit. Yes, of course. Siyempre, jo-join din tayo ng ating mga tamashans for another thriving Thursday. Pero of course, before tayo mag-start, how was your week lately? It started slow actually, pero ngayon, medyo bumibilis na kasi puro quizzes na eh. Yeah, Do sunod -sunod na. Totoo. How about you ba? Then, actually expected after yung next week, magkukwis naman mm, kami. Then, yeah. prelims na. Sunod-sunod na. Yeah. dire na. Pero what makes Thursday special naman is every single day is indeed an aspiring day. Pero, tandaan natin guys because it is the last day of February. And it is a leap day. Yeah, and uh, you know, leap days happen usually every approximately every four years. Yes, so, uh -uh. And Pero, ba't nga ba siya nangyayari? Well, ang nangyayari to because hindi talaga exact ng 365 days ang ating um, rotation sa sun. So, it's actually 365.2421 days. So, that's 0.2421 different. So, akalain nyo, sa sobrang may decimal lang, papatong-patong daw kasi siya. And mm. parang nasisira daw yung bilang nung parang yeah. araw ng umiikot. So, that's why nagkakaroon tayo ng extra day in February. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng leap day. Very mathematician ng vibes natin. <laughs> yeah. Kaya ng brain cells ko this morning. Di ba? Pero I would like to ask you, now, given mm. that information, how would you celebrate your birthday? Lalo sa mga nag-celebrate ng birthday ngayon. Ah, oh, curious talaga. Pero actually, share ko lang. Yung tita ko, February 29 mm. siya. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, February 29 siya. How does that happen? So, February 28 siya lagi nagsiselebrate. Pero kalahin mo yun, no? Para pag 40 years old ka na, tapos 10 <laughs> years old ka pa. Parang ganon. So, parang oh, nakaka-curious talaga sa mga nag-birthday. So, parang sa mga nagsiselebrate ng birthday nila dyan from February 29, happy birthday. Birthday to you! It comes every four years. I think I know some people who celebrate their really? February February twenty nine birthdays on March one. Then, so okay, parang March one it really sila. depends on a person if you want to end your oh. month, your February on a good note, or you want to start your start, March uh -oh, on so a good March. note as well. Pero bukod sa leap day today, it's actually Digital Learning Day. Mm. So, in Digital Learning Day, we commemorate the significance of digital education, mm -hmm. especially in the milieu dom dominated by internet and, and technology. technology. So, of course, big impact din dito yung nangyari sa atin nung COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. We really experience yung digital learning, di ba? So, ikaw, ano ba mga fond experiences mo nung medyo digital setup tayo? Ganon. Usually, what I would remember on an online setup, Thing was the blunders, yung mga uh, biglang na anyut. Yeah. Yung, yung, <laughs> embarrassing yung zoom, moments. Very embarrassing moments. I had a few, and my uh, friends would not forget it. <laughs> Ikaw ba, did you have some similar wala, moments? Wala, wala akong ganyan. Very good, <laughs> anak of good student. Good student. Kasi tulog. <laughs> <laughs> Joke lang. Hindi naman tulog. Pero ano, siguro mga, uh, paano ba? Siguro na-experience ko din na uh, medyo fun is talagang magagawa mo lahat eh. Pag online talaga yung setup. Pero of course, mm -hmm. nakaka-ano, nakaka-interact din ako with ano, online. Na-practice ko. Parang yeah. ganun. Kasi hindi talaga ako ma-chat. Yeah. Uh -oh, nung time na yun. Pero wala eh, napilitan ako. Napilitan ka. Yeah, you, uh -oh. have, you have to go out of your comfort zone. Naging mm -hmm. Discord girly ka rin ba? Hello! May ear na ako. Saglit <laughs> 
na saglit lang naman. Hindi ko siya na, ano, hanggang ngayon, hindi ko siya na, ano eh, napanagutan. Oo, hindi ko siya napanagutan. Pero of course, guys, para naman to stay digital with us, for more Tiger TV content, follow us at US Tiger TV on X and Instagram and USD Tiger TV on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. As for USD Tiger Radio, you could follow us on X, that is at Tiger Radio USD on IG, that is at US Tiger Radio on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. USD Tiger Radio as well as Mixer here on Mixler, mixer.com slash US Tiger Radio. And this morning is only starting. And to heighten your anticipation, please prepare yourselves to meet a notable yes. guest from Earth, USC, and a special personality who has a familiar face. But first, to prepare us for this day, let us take ourselves to a play date with good food. show where we give you plates full of flavors and wallets full of savings. Hi again, I am Ella Gaspi, your host and your plate date for today. Together with me is... Hi, I'm Louis, your resident cook and your plate date who will show you how to have great meals na hindi lang masarap pero perfect then when it comes to cooking in small spaces with limited equipment. This is where we will be showing you recipes perfect for students staying in dorms. Again, well, let's not keep the food waiting and join us on, on our, our little, little plate, plate date. date. So, eh, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay ang stir-fried kangkong with tofu. Grabe, perfect to perfect ata to kasi kailangan pa rin naman natin kumain ng gulay kahit wala tayo sa bahay, di ba? Kahit nasa dorm tayo para ugaliing healthy, di ba? So, ano naman yung kailangan natin? Dito? So, simpleng-simple lang din. Kailangan natin ng oyster sauce, kangkong, bawang, konting cornstarch, tapos syempre yung oil natin. And syempre, yung tofu natin na kailangan dry na dry. Bakit kailangan dry yung tofu? Kailangan na dry yung tofu kasi later gagawin natin siyang crispy or ipiprito natin siya. Kailangan muna siyang tanggalin ng moisture. Mmm, okay. So, anong una natin gagawin? So, hihiwain ko muna to into mga kalahating inch siguro. Okay, so right now, hinihiwa yung tofu natin into cubes. So, maganda yan para small pieces, no? Mm -hmm. Para ano? Bite pieces lang talaga kasi Bite size. pag niluto yung kongkong, sobrang liit niya na. Sikit na. Siguro maganda rin tong parang ano no, para sa mga beginner sa knife skills. Mm -hmm. Kasi parang cubes-cubes lang yes. siya and then tofu lang naman. So parang hindi ka rin magkakamali, di ba? Yes, that's true. So ngayon na nakita niyo na yung ingredients, I think we should start cooking. Okay, so first prepare your water, your oyster sauce, and syempre yung konting cornstarch natin. So, L yung cornstarch, lalagyan natin para medyo lumapot yung sauce pag niluto natin siya later. Oh, I see. You're kind of making a cornstarch slurry. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Tama. Mmm, diba? Lagyan natin siya. So, dito mo siya ihahalo and then mm -hmm. you're gonna add the water into it. Yes. Okay. So, make sure na konti lang kasi pag sumobra, may hirapan tayo later. Dadagdag tayo ng oyster sauce na magdadagdag. So, pwede siya magbago ng flavor later. Mm, okay. So, kung sakaling na sobrahan nga siya, paano naman mararemedy ng mga ano, ng audience natin to? Ah, siguro, yun nga, dadagdagan mo siya ng oyster sauce later. Pero, we have to be mindful na wag sobrahan din kasi it can ruin yung ano. Pag sobrang dami, for example, ng sauce, hindi na siya masarap kainan, di ba? Okay, oo. Kasi parang konti na lang yung mm -hmm. sahog, so you have to remedy that by yes. adding more ingredients. So, piprito na natin yung ating tofu na super dry with oil. So, important pala talaga guys na dapat pinapat dry nyo siya dahil yung moisture na nasa tofu, it will help in uh, parang creating a crispy uh, exterior sa ating tofu. So, kailangan talaga na pinapat dry siya para ma-draw out yung moisture na yon. Siyempre, para ma-balance dun sa kangkong natin at saka para mag-blend siya well with our sauce. After naman 
natin i-prito yung tofu, ano namang susunod natin gagawin? So, El, habang niluluto to and waiting for it to be golden or crispy, pwede pa prepare ako ng plate na lang na may tissue para madrain ah, yung sure. oil. So, need natin i-drain yung oil from the tofu, guys. So, ayan. Dahil medyo golden brown na siya, we can put it nasa tissue na may plate na may tissue. Okay. Ayan. Tapos, sa same ano, dagdagan na natin siya ng oil. And then, dito na natin gigasa yung bawang. Grabe guys, alam niyo yung amoy ng bawang kapag ginigisa siya. Like nakakamiss talaga kasi ay ito yung lutong bahay eh. So parang in a way, you can recreate that core memory na siguro yung grandparents niyo or yung parents niyo na nagluluto sa kitchen. You can recreate it on your own sa mga dorms niyo with this simple dish, di ba? So El, dahil medyo golden brown na rin ang ating garlic, pwede pa abot ako nung ginawa nating slurry kanina. Okay. Napakabilis din lang ng recipe na to, El. Ilalagay natin yung kangkong, last or ingredient natin. Okay, nafe-feel ko malapit na siya, kaya excited na akong kumain later. Dahil saglit lang maluto yung kangkong, in a while, pwede na tayo mag-plating. I imagine this dish being perfect with a hot, steamy bowl of rice. Mm -hmm. Parang top over. Tama. And, grabe, no? Perfect siya for lunch. And there we have it. We have our stir-fried kong kong with tofu. Okay, just as how I imagined it. Nandito yung crispy tofu and yung kong kong. And then yung parang glazy na sauce ng oyster sauce, di ba? Cheers muna. Mm. Para talaga siyang lutong bahay. Mm -hmm. Ang sarap niya kasi naano mo yung crispiness ng tofu. And at the same time, perfect siyang balance with the Hong Kong and yung oyster sauce. So, very perfect siya for ano, lunch kapag ka may rice ka. Parang feeling ko, if you're eating healthy, pwede naman siguro brown rice or red rice. Diba? Tama. Pero speaking of rice, sana may rice tayo ngayon kasi this would be very perfect with that talaga. Yeah. You two should try out our recipe. And that ends another episode of Plate Date, your college cooking bestie. See you on the next episode, guys! Bye! Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. Santayo kakain. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! Ah! It's ah! so exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Giving you the updates on national Welcome back to the show that puts the R on your in your mornings. This is Tiger, Tiger Rush. Rush. And we have another segment of hashtag OOTD. And we have uh, been always been talking about organizations here in this segment, and 
we are trying our best to you know put their best foot forward here because we want to let our Sumatians know about them their advocacies and a lot more about them. Because hashtag OOTD's goal is to guide the Mashians in their org journey. And of course, from be uh, no, basing from their first-hand experiences and stories from people within the organization because your choice of org will never go out of style. Hashtag, hashtag OOTD. And of course, joining us in OOTD is the Executive Vice President for Public Relations and Communication of Earth USC or the Environmental Advocates Reaching Towards Humanity is Miss Roma Rain Molina. Hello. 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 Welcome to Hashtag OOTD and thank you for being together with us here in Thriving Thursdays. So we're excited to have you here, Miss Roma. Uh, Miss Roma. And as we all need your help mm -hmm. introducing Earth USD to our mga fellow Tomasians na nanonood right now. Yeah, and uh, Earth USD is the premier environmental university-wide organization here in the University of San Tomas. So, with that being said, uh, can you briefly introduce yeah. us more about Earth USD? Well, Earth USD is, as you said, environmental mm -hmm. advocates reaching towards humanity USD, mm -hmm. which is like a common misconception. Because mm -hmm. for Earth USD, like environmental org, that's why it's yeah, Earth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's an acronym actually. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, We've been um, going on for 34 years. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes. So That's sustainability <laughs> for you. <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> yes, 34 years now. And we are dedicated in bringing the Tamashian community yes. closer to the environment. So, yeah. of course, um, syempre, we're talking about 34 years. Mm -hmm. So, what inspired you naman to take up a leadership role in this organization? Um, well, as a creative writing student, mm -hmm. I believe in the power of storytelling. Yeah. So through that, I want to, to bring people closer to the discussions and conversations mm -hmm. about the environment. So yung team namin, the public relations team, mm -hmm. ayun yung ginagawa namin with the help of the yes. other teams. Ah, ah, ah. So, syempre, public relations talaga, you, ano talaga, ano, you interact with yes. the audience of USD or the Tomasians, of course. But how does Earth USD work to spread awareness naman since yun nga public relations? Okay, what um, type of projects or pano, in what ways do you do that? Especially during the pandemic, mas mm -hmm. nag-focus kami sa social media because yeah. okay. yung accessibility then, especially yun yung goal namin, eh, na parang mm -hmm. it should be accessible, hindi lang sa Tomasian community, but to the audience outside. So, as much as possible, yung posting namin, ginagawa talaga namin siyang accessible because, mm -hmm. again, tayo yung may resources for it. So, yeah. why not share it to other people? Yeah. But, but now you're in the hybrid setup. Can you share an example of a project or initiative simply with the recent years of us, us trans transitioning here in USD? How does Earth USD do those initiatives or those projects to promote environmental action? So for two consecutive years now, we have collaborate with sa FMO, the oh, Facilities okay. Management yeah, yeah. Office. Um, we have volunteer kami for Pascuan festivities like the Agape and Pascuan concert. Uh, tumutulong kami sa proper way segregation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kuya natin. Yeah. Kasi we know naman how hard it is. And like, for one day lang naman yun, imagine them. Mm -hmm. Like, everyday nila ginagawa yun. So, ayun, nakipag-partner kami for two years now since bumalik yeah. yung Paskuhan. And yeah. ayun. Yes, that's great actually. Parang may mga tao talaga na nagpa-practice ng Kligo. So, in those most um, simple ways, parang mas malaki din yung impact na nagagawa natin kahit inside the university. And of course, sa mga Tomasians dyan na um, pinaprioritize talaga or pinapahalagan yung environment, join na kayo sa Earth USD, of course. If you really want to help um, to cultivate a community that cares for the environment. And it's really good na ano, parang you're still reaching for the audience and Tomasians kahit pa paano. And na ano, nag saan kayong ano, may participation pala kayo sa Agape, gano'n. Yeah. Kasi, ano talaga, parang, naka, ano pa yan eh, naka-plan pa yan sa mismong floor plan na yes. andito yung mga segregation. Yes. Kayo pala yun. Yes. <laughs> Kayo pala yun, yes. I think what I like about what she said is yung partnership with FMO. Kasi, mm -hmm. I think those those people are right, uh, out there are the most underrated people. Kasi nga, hindi yung napapansin yung efforts nila. And to be yeah. partnering with them in a... Uh, you know, doing the environmental action in doing more of the clay go that we usually do on a daily basis, it helps a lot in our environment in the small in the smallest mm. ways. Yeah. And of course, now that we've got to more know uh, to, to know more about the basics, of course, of Earth USD, let's talk about the culture, naman, inside the organization. And with that, how does Earth USD encourage a culture of caring for the environment among Tomasians? Mm. 
again yung sinabi ko kanina yung sa postings ganyan yeah. and yes. we also yung gusto ko rin sa amin we have this culture of sa, like group chats mm. sending you know new information oh, about environmentalism okay. and like uh, current news about the environment so i think yun yung culture na na ano sa earth na buwan and of course di ba nga na pag-uusapan natin yung little things sa tingin mo ano pa yung pwedeng ma-influence sa mga tomasians that they can do to contribute of course to a more sustainable environment So apart from you know bring your own dumplings yes. and like being yeah. mindful consumers, I think very underrated then yung fact na we can participate ngat to conversations, Mm-mm. kahit casual mm. lang. Yeah. You know, because, Doesn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be very formal or very mm. professional. Kahit casual na, oh yun lamang ba yung ganto? Like ganon. Siguro ayon yung isa sa mga underrated na dapat panating simulan about the environment. Yeah, tama tama naman yun. Um, I think what I like about her answer here is that. Yung yung idea na sinabi niya yung underrated nga na gusto yung ganung conversations. We want that to be normalized na. Oh, oh, It doesn't have to be na kailangan specific pa siyang i-point out na we need to talk about this. But it happens so casually that when it happens so casually, it also happens na lang sa atin in our actions. It becomes something that people would normally do na on a daily basis na rin. And of course, from looking actually er, from Earth USC's Facebook page, nakita namin na magkakaroon daw ng webinar that will be held on November 25. Could you share about the details about the upcoming webinar that is going to be held on Saturday? Actually, yung si November 25, it's already done. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But yesterday we had an event. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. It's about the waste management. Tapos may guest din kami about circular economy. Mm. And yung sa waste management, um, waste management for with F- with FMO again. Yeah. Can you tell me about that circular um, economy? The circular economy it's about sustainability. Mm-hmm. Right? So you, we have to be like mindful consumers about yes. what we purchase uh-huh. and you know to be really kasi minsan pag bumibili tayo, diba, We just buy and yeah. buy. Yeah. When it's uso, ganyan, diba? And especially in this generation of <laughs> puro healing yeah. inner child, diba? Healing inner. <laughs> diba? Diba? <laughs> exactly. The, yeah. the consumers yeah. name, medyo, medyo consumers yeah. na siya. Yeah. Ayun. So, ayun. Siguro, mas mas mabuti na tingnan din natin yung long-term impact ng yeah. mga pinapurchase natin. And now that we've got to hear about the culture inside of Earth USD, how about let's get to know the legacy naman na mapaplant ang Earth USD here in our Tomasian community. So, what do you think is something that people should know about Earth USD's history naman? Um, yung din sa reaction nyo yun a while ago, siguro people have have to know na parang it's there. Yeah. It's there. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I see. Years, 34 um, years. That's right. Yeah, so, ayun, siguro mas ano rin yung presence na mm-hmm. and yung heart, syempre, sa pag-serve sa Tamashian community and hindi lang limited sa Tamashian community but also outside. Yeah, branching yeah. out. And I think, um, ito, so, uh, I, want, I would like to go back to your answer kanina about the culture within your org na parang Giving out awareness starts within yourself, yeah. with yourselves as well. Yung passing out information about the environment, so parang it has a ripple ripple effect on other people, uh, other people as well outside of your circle. Yes. And I, I really commend that. Yeah. So, yes. Such a good. But <laughs> ano naman? In your time here sa Earth UST, meron bang mga nagsistandout na moments or achievements na medyo proud ka naman because mm. you're part of that organization. Um. Well, recently, we have a partnership with Greenpeace Philippines. Mm, okay. Um, so, and apart from that, we have one post na parang about sa basta may nire-raise sila na concern tapos yeah. nung nanalo yung concern ah, na yun okay. um, yung mga tao na na related doon like yeah. in, from that place mm-hmm. nag-comment sila doon sa post oh. namin so parang it's really you know the oh, oh. and the impact that you give lalo na sa social media mm-hmm. if you use it twice lalo from a POV of ano an oh, EVP yes. na PR ano <laughs> yes. public relations yeah. sobrang ano nun achievement talaga siya kasi nakareach kayo ng target audience mm-hmm. nyo yes. so Especially sa mga Tomasians na gustong mag ano join na Earth USC. How about you share some traditions and values um, na sa ano na nakuha niyo from the early days of Earth USC? So going through the photos kasi dun mm. sa page like hindi kasi nila dinadelete well. Hindi naman sila. So para pa lang 34 years ago. <laughs> oh wow. Merong mga parang early 2000s, ah, mga 2010s okay, okay. ganyan. Uh-oh. So parang graduate na sila ganun. So nakikita naman yung togetherness nila lalo na kung mm. sa mga tree planting, I sa see. mga mangrove na ano. So parang yung togetherness na yon, ayun siguro yung isa sa mga important factors din 
mm-hmm. ng, ng pagkakaroon ng isang organization because you will go through a lot with each other and you will learn a lot from each other. Then. Yung working relationship nyo rin, naging sustainable. Yeah. <laughs> Hindi na pa yung sustainable. <laughs> Man, ano naman yung um, ang pinaka hope mo naman for Earth USD na maglast yung legacy nila here? Oh, yung hope ko siguro is for Earth USD to to know that it's an organization for the people. Yeah. Na hindi siya selective. Yeah. And like as long as you're willing to learn and as long as you're willing to to know more about environmentalism, you are welcome. Yes. Oh, wow. That's what's special about USD orgs talaga. You're always welcome naman. Because, of course, it's in your passion talaga kung ano yung gusto mong gawin. And, of course, for the Tomashians that would likely um, share their passion for the environment and, of course, keeping it sustainable and, of course, preserving it, um, join Earth USD. Why not, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And, you know, joining them would, you know, provide even more help yes. in so, uh, in saving the environment saving earth in uh, many ways as possible all right so before naman we leave syempre it's tradition talaga na we play a little game which is called this or that so alam niyo naman po yung mechanics ng yes, game pipili yes. kayo mm-hmm. ng ayan so magbibigay kami ng isang ay ng choices then pili lang kayo ng this or that choice so for your first question would you rather encourage using less plastic or saving energy at home? Um. <laughs> Napa- napaisip eh. Napaisip, napaisip. Less plastic. Less plastic. Okay, okay. okay. Next question, we have lead a tree planting day or teach about eco-friendly habits? Eco-friendly habits. Mm, oh, that's okay. nice. Ngayon, create more green areas on campus mm-hmm. or introduce projects for renewable energy? Green areas. Green areas. Okay, okay. Gusto ko din yun. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have everyone use less plastic or use m- uh, bikes more frequently? Hmm. <laughs> plastic. Okay. Okay, okay. okay yeah. uh, and last naman, more gardens or solar panels? More gardens. More gardens. I green see. talaga. Very green. Yes, <laughs> very green. So, ngayon naman, wh- how about you give us your final words or invitations para sa ating mga audience and of course, allow them, ano, um, allow them naman to know about Earth USD and plug in naman yung mga social accounts ninyo. So, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and TikTok at yeah. Earth USD. Lahat yan at Earth USD. And, you can um you can visit our pages and um, accounts for updates sa mga projects namin because meron po kaming upcoming projects. Really? Mm-hmm. Can you share about those upcoming projects? Um, we have this uh, youth summit, mm-hmm. environmental. So I think it's on April. It's April. April. Malapit na. Because it's Earth Month. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nalala ko talaga yung Earth Month namin nung high school. <laughs> yeah, pero naalala ko yung ano, nag-drawing pa kami ng Earth, yung mga globe, ganon. So how about you, ano naman, yung mga um, EVs nyo? How about you shout, out, shout them Hello, out? Hello guys. May posting tayo mama. <laughs> share as, kayo. A, as, a, as a responsible EVP, <laughs> nire-remind lang po kayo ni Roma. Kayo. Yes, of course. After na ito, follow na natin to Earth USD. So, ayun naman sa Earth uh, no, USD. It's really nice naman na we get to interact. Kasi hindi mm-hmm. ko nga alam na may mga gantong org, honestly, here in USD. And nakakatuwa pala na parang in the small little ways na parang we can share yung mga passion talaga natin with our friends. Ganun. Meron pala tayong organizations that will help us cultivate it more. ba? I agree kasi... When you when you have people that have the same interests and same advocacy as you are, uh, yung pagmamahal mo dun sa passion mo na yan, sa advocacy mm. na yan, it strengthens and yes. you go out of your way para malaman din yun ng mas maraming tao pa in order mm. in order to help others pa. But I'm curious, Roma, how did how did you start in Earth USD pala? Hmm. I was invited by a friend. Ah, Tapos I was okay. so scared. Ayun, oh, wow. Oh. Parang, Oh my gosh, I didn't know anything about uh, environmentalism, uh, you know? Yeah. And don't na prove sa akin na you didn't have to know everything to join yeah. mm. USD then. So like, parang yung environmentalism, lalo na sa Earth USD, it's a lifelong journey. Mm-mm. It's not the finish line. So you learn, you learn something new. Yes. Siya na magdadagdag ng extra year. Siya <laughs> <laughs> magdadagdag ng extra decade for Earth USD. <laughs> Babalik po siya sa 40th. <laughs> Graduate na yun na. na golden age pala ang Earth USD. Hindi ko talaga na-expect yun na 34 years. Grabe. Ang tatag. Ang tatag. Yeah, di 
ba? Like, maniniwala ko na ano eh, 400 years tong universe. Pero maniniwala na 34 years pa lang Earth UST. And that's uh, three decades worth of fighting yeah. for the environment. Uh-huh. And ang tatag lang. And I really commend you guys for yeah. uh, so, being strong on your advocacies. Yeah. Of course, syempre gusto ko din i-commend yung mga members niyo for of ano, cultivating naman yung mga members din na ano, yung executive board they're also helping the members. Syempre naalala ko sa mga past um OOTDs namin na may pagsisimulan ka talaga mm-hmm. in an organization. And ako ito nyo nga po yung story niyo na hala, wala ko wala ko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're scared. Pero uh, look at you now, ganun executive board na may mga ganun talagang moments. So Sa mga tomasians talaga, huwag kayong matakot yeah. na mag-explore ng mga organizations here in USD. Maybe it's the one for you, <laughs> di ba? Like, uh, like Roma, right? I think uh, Roma is, an, uh, is a testament that it takes... Uh, testament? Testament. <laughs> it's a testament that it takes a growth-oriented mindset to join uh, an org like Earth USD. Like, you don't have to be scared of your own skill set, of your own... Um, abilities as long as you are willing to grow and learn a lot of what you're going into you'll be okay you'll be fine yes and hopefully naman sa ating mga tomasians you learned a thing or two for this episode and abangan nyo din tomorrow's episode muli ito ang programa kung saan your choice of org will never go out of style ito ang hashtag OOTD. Up next, nothing beats self-care. What's more if extra naman ang ating self-care? Of course, um, para sa ating mga tigers na nanonood ngayon, we will talk about self-care in the next segment. Kasi nga, napanggit mo nga na malapit na ang quizzes. So, how about ano, mag ano naman tayo dito? Mag-share naman tayo ng konting self-care tips. Ikaw ba? Ano ba yung mga self-care tips mo? I honestly don't have self-care tips right now because I haven't been doing that for the past few days. <laughs> because I, I've been straight up uh, studying. Pero ano, I think the the best students. way that I've... <laughs> but I, the best thing that I would be... do uh, I could be saying for self-care advice is that, you know, take a rest whenever mm-hmm. needed. You don't have to push yourself na dapat dire-diretso ang 8 hours na work. You, you could take a break, you know. Yes. Use Pomodoro method if you want to. Ay, basta, yung magla- basta wag lang pabaliktad uh, na 5 minutes yung aral, 25 <laughs> minutes yung, yung break. Wag yeah. ganun, wag ganun. Oh, pating pakapiaw lang yan sa ating next segment na Kolehiyu. And of course, we're gonna talk more about it because of course, prioritizing your mental health and taking a rest is also important in the Tamashian community. So guys, thank you so much for staying true tune in our segment hashtag OOTD. We'll see you in the next one until Tiger Rush returns. returns. Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy Through Time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Hello, 
Angel Nikki K. Betty, Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn Angel Baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. know what a fire is, don't we? Yes. It destroys properties, it harms people, it can even claim lives. Not cool, right? So the question is, how can you protect yourself from fires, especially when you are inside the campus? The answer? Fire extinguisher! But the big question is, do you know how to use it? There are typically four different types of sources of fire that you need to be familiar with. Type A involves the combustibles like wood, paper, and cloth. Type B involves flammable liquids. Type C involves live electrical and electronic equipment. And Type D involves the combustible metals like aluminum. So let's cut to the chase. Here's a how-to-do video on the proper use of a fire extinguisher just in case you know. First, make sure you stand 6 to 8 feet away from the fire. That is in order to protect you from the heat and possible burns. Follow this 4-step procedure which we call PASS. Letter P is for PULL. Pull the pin to unlock the operating lever. This allows you to discharge the extinguisher. Next is the letter A for AIM. Make sure you aim the extinguisher nozzle or hose at the base of the fire. The first letter S is for squeeze. Squeeze the lever. This discharges the extinguishing agent and releasing the lever will stop the discharge. The second S is for sweep. Keep the extinguisher aimed at the base of the fire and sweep left to right until the flames appear to be out. Once the fire has been extinguished, make sure to watch the fire area. Again, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, and S is for sweep. 
Oh, by the way, make sure to always check the tag and expiry dates of each extinguishers before using them. So in times of fire, just stay safe and calm. Because now more than ever, you already know what you're supposed to do. Now how cool is that, huh? And we have an extra day for the second month of the year. And for today's episode, we will discuss an extra day of self-care naman. And syempre, as students, we want to, you know, dedicate an extra day for ourselves. Mm. Pamper day, kumbaga. <laughs> Just to really be able to Relax. be away. And be yeah. away from everything that's stressing us out. And digest everything that's happening in our lives. Well, dapat lang naman. At pag-uusapan natin yan here sa Kolehiyu where we try to understand because we, we sincerely, sincerely care, care for you. natin ngayon yung extra day hindi naman masama na ating pamper day or me time is gawin natin today di ba because mm-hmm. it's important naman to have extra time for ourselves and self care then paminsan minsan all right um with that being said i would like to ask this question mm. medyo hindi ko alam kung kaya mo tong sagutin okay we're going to brain cells ko ano ba yan Kumusta ka naman? <laughs> Ay, million dollar question. Pero I'm doing good right now. Pero actually, kinakabahan din ako dahil malapit na nga ang aming quizzes and prelims. Pero kakayanin din naman. So, yun nga, di ba? Sabi natin pamper day today. Pero yun talaga yung winna-worry. Oo. Para after, after nga nitong airing na to, may quiz pa ako. Oh In theology. Ay, kaya yan, kaya, kaya yan, kaya yan. Kaya yan. So, ano namang feeling ngayon na extra day today yung kalen- ano nasa kalendaryo natin ng extra day. And of course, we're celebrating the extra day on a thriving Thursday. I think yung extra day na nga to parang uh, isang mahabang araw pa to kasi mm. uh, I don't know if you guys could relate though, but some of my friends told me yesterday na parang February was already too long. Ah, Kahit na so, January actually. January yun, <laughs> January daw pero at the same time yung February, February. para mabagal din oh, daw. Even if it's the shortest month, 'di ba? Mm. Parang ang tagal din pala ng February. Ang daming nangyari. Ang daming nangyari. February. So, ayun, nakakagulat din actually. Pero um ngayon naman lately, have you been taking care of yourself? Uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> Siguro ano? Puro ako healing my inner child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm doing activities with my friends. Oh, mm-hmm. ganun. So, yeah, para ba yung healing with inner child mo naman? Uh, late night kain with friends. Mm, okay. <laughs> so, may no ba? Kain oh, ng karinderya doon, ganun. Hanggang doon. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yung pala yung ano mo, inner child pala. Hin- ano, healing their inner child. O, oh, kasi talagang gala pag healing their inner child. Alam mo, parang recently, nag-bike kami with, fri- mm-hmm. ano, with my friends. Ganun, nagpunta kami naman museum. So, ayun. Take a break then guys. Kaya nyo yan. Pero, of course, Um, how about we share naman something that made us happy recently? Ikaw? Made, us ha- made me happy? Oo. Uh-uh. Why? Si- <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nate! The joke lang. Um, what made me happy recently is y- siguro ano, yung bonding time nga talaga with uh-uh. friends. Because I admit, last year, I wasn't really that much active with uh-uh. my friend groups. Kasi nga, uh-huh. I was really... Uh, Uh, not, not not just Aral, mm. pero pura ko work ng work, work that I wasn't really able to give myself some time mm. with my friends. So, okay. Ngayon lang ako nakakaban with them talaga na full-time halos. Mm-hmm. Na kung saan man kami, dala namin yung uh, pang-NBA namin, nalaro-laro kami kung saan-saan ng NBA, <laughs> yeah. ganun. Well, that's good to know naman. And I hope everyone feels extra light and less stressful naman these days. Lalo na knowing na medyo bumibigat na nga yung mga workload natin. And of course, this Sam. We hope na everyone takes an extra extra day of taking care of themselves. That's right because it doesn't really hurt if you take care uh take care of yourself for a day. I've done that uh quite few times na rin noon. Uh-huh. And it does help kasi parang you you're able to 
uh, see some things in yourself that you haven't been seeing for the past few days. Like, perhaps you've been seeing yourself as the workaholic one, the ah, studious one. Ah, ah. But outside of that, who are you talaga, di ba? Ah, so, may ganon. <laughs> <laughs> may ganon. Pero, yeah, that's what I've been discovering with mm-hmm. myself lately na parang, oh, this is the There's piece that I've wanted yeah. for so long. Ganun. There's more about this person talaga. Na parang, of course, you should take care then. Huwag niyong kakalimutan din. Mm-hmm. You need to rest. Pero of course, nabanggit natin kanina yung leap year. Mm-hmm. So, what is it, ano, parang taking a leap naman, mean to you, anong context nun in taking care of yourself? Ganun. What's your ano dun? I think my, uh, my, I'm trying to find the right term. Sige. Pero my, <laughs> My my coin on that is that uh, is the idea na we we are in a society na parang mm-hmm. kailangan yung trabaho mo hanggang madaling araw. Ah, yeah. Na parang kapag mm-hmm. nagtatrabaho na madaling araw, masipag ka. But mm-hmm. when I experienced that, when after that I experienced that, I realized it's not really about whether or not you are working mm-hmm. sa madaling araw, pero whether or not you're tra- you're conserving your energy. Kunwari you're taking naps on the afternoon yeah. or sa gabi, tas dire-diretso ka na lang para nakoconserve mo energy mo, hindi ka nga rag oh, oh, pagkapasok the next day. Yeah. It's about being smart as well with yourself and taking mm-hmm. care of yourself. And there's more to that as well in terms of relationships with other people mm-hmm. na you're, you know in your worth with your friends, with some of your loved ones, ganun. Mm-hmm. Mayroon kasi talaga mga ano, tao na parang sa tingin nila, kasalanan ng matulog. Yeah. Ano, diba? So parang, guys, isipin nyo na lang, you shouldn't work na ano, yung parang papasok ka na nga sa school tapos pupuyate mo pa sa sarili mo. Huwag naman ganun. Yeah. Taking a leap is also parang taking a leap for yourself. Yeah. Parang um, crossing the boundary na estudyante ka lang, ganun. Mm. Pero estudyante ka na needs rest, that needs um, to relax then from time to time. That's my take on take a leap naman in the context of, of course, taking care, taking of, care yourself. of yourself. So, do you feel that you have enough time naman to take care of yourself? <laughs> I think, ano, if I think about it now, parang two months na ata ako nagsisip. <laughs> Puro ako gala talaga. Puro gala with friends. So, sabi ko, so, tama naman. Busy schedule na dapat. Sige, yeah. uh, work, workaholic mode naman ako. Mm-hmm. Pero of course, siguro na blessing tayo. It's a blessing in this case na meron tayong extra day. Mm. So I guess we need to really find time in each day na alagaan din natin ang sarili natin. Syempre, of course, wag nating kalimutan na estudyante din tayo. Mm. Aralin din natin yung mga dapat aralin, but wag naman to the point na isasagot mo yung sarili yeah. mo. Right? You don't have to be negligent yeah. about it, but you have to balance rest and work in a mm. in a way that's favorable to you. Na hindi naman dapat 50-50 na ganito yung oras oh. mo for them have to be 7.30, 70.30 rather, What, whatever works for you. Yeah, uh, speaking of balance, actually, dahil nga, ano, napag-uusapan natin yung balance, mahirap naman talaga i-balance yung time natin. Mm. Lalo na during the times na magpapatong-patong na yung mga workloads, mm. deadlines, of course, ang dami niyan. Um, some of us feel na hindi natin deserve magpahinga. Yeah. And, ayun nga, nare-risk natin yung mga commitments natin once That na nag-rest true. tayo. That diba? is true. Parang meron na dapat na nakaset na gala. Mm-mm. Tapos bilang, Sorry, pass muna ako dyan. Kasi, ano eh, meron ako ganitong pra- yeah. commitment eh. Hindi ko kaya. Sorry talaga. Oh my man. gosh, may lalala ako kasi nagsuscroll talaga akong TikTok. Tapos mm-hmm. parang, hindi ko ma-imagine na parang pupunta kami in a point of life ng friend group namin. We have to schedule ah, our yeah. meetings. That's adulting oh, for you. Yeah, that's adulting for you. Parang, let me see my schedule. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kailangan maset muna eh. Kailangan madrawing muna yung, mm-hmm. yung plano niyong gala. Yes, actually. Pero if you had an extra day in your week, tulad nito, ano, leap day, mm. um, what specifically ano, na self-care ang gagawin mo to spend it? Usually, uh, that day would usually fall on Saturday and mm. I would normally just sleep the whole day kasi pasan-pasan ko yung pagod, yung sakit sa likod ng uh, pagpasok every day, you know, mm. digesting every new information that comes into your mind. So, uh. just take a rest by sleeping all day and then Pag may oras talaga ako, pag may budget din ako, I would go out and yeah. date myself and A- treat myself. Actually, relate ako dyan kasi pag Saturday, nakaka-uwi ako sa bahay. Mm. So, princess treatment. <laughs> princess treatment ako sa bahay. Pero of course, I ano, dedicate that kasi ano, need talaga mag-rest. Siyempre, mm. babiyahe ka. And of course, sabak na lang ulit for the next week. Ganun. Siguro yung pumipigil lang sa akin na mag, uh, mag-self-date. On, uh, on my self-care day mm-hmm. is yung fear na baka mamaya may tao dyan na biglang pipicturean ka tapos ipopost ka sa Facebook na <laughs> I, I saw, saw this. Tapos <laughs> 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 biglang kakaawaan ka na ay kawawa naman siya wala oh, siyang kasama. Parang, ay, diba? Ako muna. 
just want me, I just want me time, guys. Yeah, exactly. We have to normalize that. It, it, it's not real. It's not even a sin or what. Na parang mm-hmm. you're dating yourself. It, you're actually doing yes. yourself a favor. Pero ano, coming from students, engineering, accounting, mm. sa tingin mo ba okay lang na magsingit tayo ng parang self-care kahit busy yung schedules natin? Oo oh, naman. You have to take a break from all the mathematics that Oo. that is within our heads. Actually, parang nakakatakot din isipin, di ba? Parang, ala, dapat aral na aral ako. Mm. Kasi kung hindi ako, ano, kung magbe-break ako, baka mawala yung momentum, mm. ganun. Yan yung mga takot talaga when it comes to self-care. Pero hindi talaga mapipigilan. Your brain needs to rest whenever nagre-review ka, ganun. I think that would uh, people would assure themselves na okay lang magpahinga. I know some people na mm. nasa top ng batch namin and kadalasan nasa galaan <laughs> And they really <laughs> manage they to... <laughs> na, they really manage their time na parang nasa galaan sila. Oh. At the same time, ang ganda ng grades work nila. Ang ganda, balance, na, ang ganda ng work-life balance oh, nila. I don't. <laughs> Gago, ano, pa, papakitaan ko din kayo ng no work-life balance, guys. Pero of course, ayun nga, dahil nga nagsasabi tayo na it's okay na magkaroon ng self-care at naman extra time for yourself. Mm. How about we give some tips naman for, mm. sa, ano, for them naman to practice self-care? Go muna. I think my tip would be get to know yourself better. Mm. Uh, I think uh, it starts with meditating. I usually do that a f- uh, of a few times na already last sem. Lalo no last sem kasi sobrang ano ako nung kabado last sem. Yeah, oh. So I would normally just play something on the YouTube na meron 5 minute meditation. Ah, okay. And what happens within those 5 minutes, it would clear your mind of everything that's worrying you. And afternoon, okay na ako. As in parang ready to go na ako. It sets mm-hmm. my mood for that certain day. And okay na. Actually, ako naman, siguro sasabi, ano, isipin nyo, sleep talaga yung number one self-care ko. Pero actually, parang, ano, medyo nakaka-ano yun, kasi parang nag rot ka sa kama mo, ganun. Mm. So, if I were you guys, pag self-care talaga, be active, go out naman with your family, ganun. Ay, uh, It's better agree. to interact with other people. Yun talaga yung self-care for me, kasi pag tulog ka lang ng tulog, parang wala, sluggish ka talaga, ganun. So, hindi ka talaga magiging, um, ano yun yung parang may momentum ka to do the work, ganun. So, mas maganda na you take yourself out. So, deserve you din naman yun na kahit ano ang term natin is gala, mm. ganon. At least, you're spending it with the people you love and of course, to have a share of thoughts din naman with your parents, sister, or even your friends naman. I think uh, what, you, what you are trying to point out is yung social relationships, it keeps us sane. Yes, actually. And tama naman yun kasi, di ba nga may mga term na sinasabi na in college, we can survive kasi meron tayong Time, uh, friends, friends mm. that will survive with, uh, mm. with Alam us. Alam natin yung struggles na isa't isa. Yes. And sometimes it's really hard for us to take that risk and choose ourselves first. Lalo na kung nagigilty tayo sa mga gawain natin. Pero we have the saying ka, uh, na you can take it one, one day. day at a time. It means that we're allowed to deal with heavy tasks and stuff one by one and not worry too much. And even though we feel guilty about so, uh, taking some time, um, nothing's really wrong actually with putting yourself first. Uh, I agree with that because a lot of times talagang nagilty ako nun eh. Especially during my <laughs> senior high days na parang mm. talagang magpupuyat ako yeah, nun. Uh-oh. Pero right now parang sabi ko, ah, okay, it's more about conserving my energy, yes. uh, knowing when to go full on energy on my at- assessments and try to accomplish the easier ones mm-hmm. first then yung mga hard ones. Medyo pakunti-kunti, breadcrumbs muna. Yeah. Then, tsaka ko sila tututukan sa dulo na. Yes, darating din tayo sa point na we can rest totally. Mm. And actually, that wraps up our episode for today. And to our viewers, I hope you find an extra day for self-care. Treat yourself to a meal, go out with your friends, or just enjoy being yourself and having a pamper day. We want to affirm naman na you can take extra time to rest and it is not, uh, there's nothing wrong and it could actually really help to have a better state of mind. And on that, on that note, we would like to plug yes. in uh, the Counseling and Career Center, particularly our guidance counselors. Mm-hmm. They're at room 200, or oh, 204 rather, yes. at the Health Service Building. And we do, we're, there are others, yung guidance counselors, mm-hmm. and there are specific guidance counselors that are assigned yes. to each college and to our blocks. Please do communicate with them if you want something that's, you want, mm-hmm. want to open, and open up something with them. It would really help a lot to open up things that, you know, nasa loob mo-loob yeah. mo lang. Huwag mong kim-kimin. And actually, 
don't be afraid guys kasi may mga peer facilitators din kayo within mm-hmm. your block you can tell them your problems and on and of course may reach out din yan sa ating mga guidance counselors and don't be afraid to um release everything what's in your mind and seek help then there's nothing wrong with seeking help once again this has been Kolehiyu where we try to understand because we sincerely care, care for, for you. you it is undeniable na, na nga, that UST is a nursery of eminence and even in the field of content creation hindi tayo magpapahuli mm, okay yes, excited na tayo sa next really event. excited for this one because our next guest proves that point known for their rela- rela- relatively um funny skits and exceptional acting, acting they took from TikTok by storm sino kaya sila at kilalanin na natin sa pagbabalik ng Tiger, Tiger Rush, Rush. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. And congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. The UST Engineering Dance Troupe is the recognized dance organization of the Faculty of Engineering and is composed of engineering dimensions. of pride, strength, courage, and humor, the USD EDT is an organization that provides an environment for creative self-expression where the dance passionate students can perform to entertain, refine their talent, and dance to relieve stress.
Tomasians, we hope you are you are all having a great morning because though it's not yet Friday, thank yes. God because it is already the last day of February and time indeed flies kahit na daming nga nagsasabi yes. ang bagal daw na February. But we hope February has brought love a lot of love to you guys and fortune to everyone. But most of all, we are happy because we'll be closing this month with you, dear listeners, here at Trail Blazers. The show where the Mashan alumni tell their stories as pioneers of passion, empowering the future. And actually, today is a very special day. So special that it only occurs every four years. That is right, today is February 29 and it's actually a leap day. And celebrating here with us is also a one-of-a-kind Tamashian alumni of Ryu Scrolls from your For You page. <laughs> and his funny and relatable skits may already show up on your feed. He became an auditor of the CRS Student Council, mm -hmm. a member of the CRS Pool of Talents, and graduated a cum laude in BS Sports Science from the College of Rehabilitation Sciences. But his journey is in the in the world of entertainment traces back to his childhood when he auditioned for Going Bolivie <laughs> and various ABS CBN workshops. Now he is known as the character's girl best friend, strict teacher, and more in his unique skits on TikTok. Talk, garnering more than 1 million followers on the said platform. Without further ado, let us welcome Mr. Hassan Asolaiti. Hi, Mr. Hassan. How Hello. are you? Thank Hello. you for having yes. me here. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's our pleasure yes, to have you here. It's our pleasure. The girl best friend. The OG. <laughs> the <man. laughs> First, starting off, naman, you know, given your scientific background mm -hmm. of coming from a science high school and then pursuing a B.S. Mm -hmm. in sports science. How did you know that you had a passion for media and entertainment? Can you tell us some memorable experiences? Ganun. What was your awakening? <laughs> Actually, bata pa lang din ako, di ba? Parang tulad mm -hmm. nga ng kanina, nag-ano ako, nag-audition sa Going Bulilit, <laughs> nag-acting lesson sa ABS. Yeah. So, me medyo pinalad ako na may stage mom mm -hmm. talaga yung mm -hmm. mother <laughs> <Mommy> ko. <mo. laughs> Kaya nahatak niya ako sa mga ganong uh -huh. racket. Tapos, nung nag-high school ako sa Manila Science, ayun nga, oh. medyo di ba, scientific, oh, science chuchu high. yung mga tao doon. So, ito nga. Na. Hindi siya katulad ng mga ibang science high schools. Mm. Hindi akong babanggit ng name. Pero, <laughs> yung swerte yung Manila Science High School mm. kasi nagbibigay sila ng priority sa mga arts, mm. sa okay. kung gusto mo tahakin yung kunyari, polsai, mm. yung mga, mm. ganong, mga ganong strands. So, ayun. Fortunately, nagkaroon ako ng mga racket nung high school na mag-host. <laughs> oh, that's where it started. Okay. Tapos meron pang... Ay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> meron pang mga racket na... Ano pa yun? Mga gagawa kayo ng films, tapos mm, magkakompete okay. kompit kayo. Mm. Tapos kayo yung lead star. Tapos kayo yung lead star. Yes. Best supporting actor pa ako. Na, ay, wow! Diba? So kaya, nice. Since then, parang ay, medyo masaya ako pag ito yung mm -hmm. ginagawa ko. Kaya... Mm -hmm. Ayun. Yes, actually maganda nga 'yun kasi Manila Science High School. Mm -hmm. Ano kasi pag naririnig mo na talaga na ala Science, science High School. school. Oo, oo. Alam mo na 'yun. Alam mo na science, ganun. Mm. Pero it's good din na kahit na hindi major related 'yung kinukuha mong um, course, mm -hmm. ganun. You still have a passion for media mm -hmm. to explore mm -hmm. talaga the art. Mm -hmm. mm, 'Yun 'yung maganda doon. And naalala ko lang, you opened your TikTok account on October 21. <laughs> so bakit mo na decide na mag-start ng content Creation. Mm. Okay, so ito yan. <laughs> Una talaga, inside joke lang namin magkakaibigan yun. Mm. Okay. Nung first content ko ever is nagdadub lang ako ng mga sounds. Uh -huh. Nung kikreate yun ng mga ibang creators. Siya ay dub pala to. Ganun, di ba? Made Mendoza. <laughs> Kasi nausin dub smash noon. Yeah, <laughs> so yun yeah. sa mga una kong tinaha. Tapos yung ano, nung TikTok, kami-kami lang magkakaibigan ng barkada. Mm. Tapos, sinisend ko sa GC. Ay, tignan mo yeah. to, tignan mo to. Ikaw pala pa si Mundo. Tapos biglang ayun na, may mga nanood. I see. Nagsimula na may mga nanood. Kaya, what if eh, try natin. So, nag- dub ako ng mga sounds hanggang naisip ko si girl best friend, yes. <laughs> naisip ko si mommy, yes. naisip ko yung competitive classmate. Kaya The start of it na. all, yes. Yeah. And ngayon, na naisip mo yun from dubs, ano, like dubbing lang na sounds, mm -hmm. you have over a million followers na. And how wow. does it feel? Ang laki na po ng platform nyo. Did you ever expect na yung content creation nyo is makikilala talaga mm -hmm. siya? Hindi talaga. Hindi. Uh, actually nga, feeling ko kasi talaga, 
feeling ko nga, ano eh, wala lang eh. Kasi nung simula, parang, oh, may mga followers gano'n, pero yeah. parang hindi naman totoo yun sa totoong buhay. Yeah. Parang sa tingin ko sa cellphone lang yun, pero pag lumabas naman ako, Who's wala lang yun. yun. <laughs> oh, diba? Yun yung first time ever. Yeah. Naalala ko, first time ako naka 100,000 followers pa lang yun, mm-hmm. time that time, two years ago ba, mm. yun. Tapos, pumunta ako sa mall, tapos may tumakbo pupunta sa akin. So, hindi ko, hindi ko naman alam na magkapang picture. <laughs> so, parang, ano yun, may, akala ko may sunog or kung ano, kasi may tumatakbo eh. Tapos yun pala lang papapicture pala. Kaya, ay, okay, so, real deal na pala. Wow. Na, may mga nakakakila. So, doon mo lang may realize kasi parang pag sa cellphone lang, parang, ah, hindi naman totoo yan, pero pag sa real world, wala namang makakapansin sa akin. Yun. Yeah. So, doon ko na. Oh, it's a girl best friend! Oh, yeah. Yun tawag talaga sa, oh. sa kanya. Best And ito, may question actually na medyo curious si mga followers mm-hmm. na your contents are mostly skits or portrayals of characters that sometimes hit too close to home. Mm-hmm. So, saan nang kagaling ba yung inspiration ng oh, mga nga. characters? Siyempre sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> ito, <laughs> sa akin din. Siyempre sa mga personal yeah. experiences din. Lalo na siyempre yung ito ha. Yung, mm. yung di ba meron akong... Mm content na competitive classmate. <laughs> oh, okay. Slightly, parang medyo channeling yeah. myself. Kasi uh, galing din ako sa science uh, high school. Okay, na, I see. I, I thought you were referring to someone. someone. Hindi, ako yun. <laughs> Ikaw pala yun. Ako na Natural pala talaga. talaga. Ako lang talaga. <laughs> so, galing ako sa science high school. Yung mga hmm. tao doon sobrang competitive. Hmm. So, kailangan yeah. makipaglaban din. Yes. Sa kailangan makipagsabayan. Oo, so pag may test paper, ang score mo, ganun. Huh? Ako yung, oh, diba? <laughs> Tapos pag ikaw yung mababa, parang iiyak-iyak ka na lang sa labas, gano'n. <laughs> yung kala mo na ikaw yung highest, mas mm-hmm. meron pala. <laughs> Tapos yung mother na sobrang stricto sa grades, yeah. ayun, napagdaanan ko lahat yon. Kaya medyo masaya din Grabe. i-channel yung mga memories. Ang relatable, no? Parang exaggerated siya, pero oo oh, oh, nga, no? Mm-hmm. Parang mapapagano'n ka. Talagang na-experience ko rin yun, na talagang mm-hmm. inupuan ako ng nanay ko, tas kailangan memorize ko yung lahat. <laughs> oh. Hindi ako aalis na kung hindi ko memorize lahat. Yung mga kaibigan mo, alam ng nanay ko lahat ng grades ko. <laughs> Lahat Did you have to go through na. the, ano, pag tinanong ka ako anong grade mo, sabi, parang nahirapan din yung matalino sa amin dyan. Yun yung una ko sinasabi. <laughs> Yun yung una ko talaga sinasabi. So, And what do they usually react on that? Wala akong pakialam sa kanila. Sabi lang ako nakatito. Oh, Ganun yung sinasabi yeah. niya sa akin. Kahit anong palusot mo. Okay. Wala anong talaga. Palusot, okay. Wala talaga. And speaking of experience, man, how about let's talk about your life back as a student here at USD. Mm. Are there any particular events, mm. uh, memories, or mga learnings na... Do you know you're fond of during your stay here sa university? Sa UST talaga, pinaka-favorite ko yung community. Di ba? Uh, Kahit yeah. sobrang dami nating students dito, mm-hmm. nag- nagkakaroon tayo ng way na magsama-sama. Yeah. Yeah. Kaya yun yung pinaka-favorite ko, yung mga Paskuhan, yeah. Agape, yun yung mga favorite ko. Lalo nung first time ko ever. Mm-hmm dito sa UST kasi maliit lang yung school namin dati so wala pang 5 minutes may ikot mo na yung buong school dito parang ang laki naligaw yeah. pa ako ng first day dito kaya ang saya tapos yung mga events din na uh, sa college namin yeah. sa Hi College of Rehabilitation yes. Sciences hi so nagkaroon ako ng opportunity rin mag-manage ng projects oh, wow yeah, so may cool version position auditor mm. right uh, Like, ang ganda nun, no? like, ano, kasi yung community talaga natin, mayroon tayo tayong itatag hug culture. Oh. Yeah. Uh, parang minsan, kahit hindi mo ganun kakilala yung tao, yung parang medyo na, ano mo lang, acquaintance, ganun. Hi! Ganun. Parang, parang, parang biglaan lang yung nangyayari, diba? no? Oo. Oh, oh. And that's so nice here sa, ano, the Mashon community. Like, we really get to interact. Kahit ano, parang hindi mo talaga kilala. Tapos parang isang sabak lang ng event, ganun. Oh. Parang family! Nagkakilala na kayo one time, diba? Oh, one time lang, pero... Uy! Mas madalas pa yung interaction sa pag nagkikita. Oh, kahit iba-ibang college, mm. iba-ibang diwa, saya. But in this interview, hindi mawawala ang excitement if we don't proceed <laughs> with the game. Oh my God. Are That's you our game? favorite part. Yes. So in this game, we will challenge your creativity as a content creator <laughs> in portraying and storytelling. So what you need to do naman is just to choose one of your skits, your mm-hmm. best friend, nanay, tita, competitive classmate, and deliver a few lines telling the audience na ngayon ay leap day and we need to celebrate mm-hmm. it. Alright. This is interesting. Channeling. Uh-huh. I'll give it a few minutes. Okay. Pwedeng mag-internalize. Hindi yes. kaya ko naman i-channel. Okay. <laughs> Madali kasi i-channel si Girl Best Friend. Yes. Uh-huh. Alright. <laughs> kasi siya yung pinakauna kong character. Mm-hmm. So, okay, okay. Siya, Whenever you're ready. Okay. Ready na. On your cue. <laughs> On your cue. Okay. Sige. <clears throat> 
Mark, alam mo ba ko nung date ngayon? February 29. Di ba every four years na nangyayari ito? Anong gagawin mo ngayon? <laughs> so, may ikipagsama ka na naman sa jowa mo. Araw-araw mo naman siya nakikita. <laughs> alam mo, kung ako sa'yo, para hindi ka magsawa sa kanya, mag-me time ka na lang, umalis ka dito, tapos gawin mo yung mga activities na hindi mo nagagawa palagi para maging special yung day. Diba? <laughs> ah, diba ba lagi akong tama, Mark? Kasagot kayo dyan. Tama ba ka, guys? Tama! That's right. Let's go, girl. Best friend. Ang bilis! Like, di ko ma-pick up yun. Paano mo na-process yun? Ano thought process mo nung ginagawa? Wala, ito yung magic ko na yung sarili ko. As ganun. <laughs> Naturally. Grabe Grabing si Mark. Grabing nag-game realization yun. Habang nag-film. Oh. I have one request, though. Can you do the competitive classmate? Yeah! Oh, oh my God. The skin... Competitive classmate. <laughs> ngayon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alam mo ba may quiz ngayon? Kasi February 29. So medyo mahaba yung test natin. Nag-review ka ba? Hindi ako nakapag-review as in! Grabe! Tanungin mo ko, tanungin mo ko, dali. <laughs> oh, tanungin niyo ako, ano, what is the powerhouse of the cell, kunwari? Oh, what is the powerhouse? Minok, ano niya? Pero, pero hindi ako sure ha. Kung, alam ko talaga, baka yung test natin mamaya, baka iba sa inaral ko. Kaya talaga, hindi ko alam kung ang gagawin ko. Ang galing! Ang galing! Oh my gosh! Grabe, parang ngayon ko lang na-realize, may mga ganong moments din ako in life. <laughs> Naging competitive class week oh. din ba ako? <laughs> Kasi actually, parang mental gaming lang talaga yun. Mm, parang parang ipapamake feel mm. sa kanila na parang, ah, hindi mo alam ko. Mm. Oh. So, uh, ganun. Uh, uh, show you, uh, ganun show that you are weak when you are at your strongest. Yes. Ganun. May mga ganun pala. Hala, di ko naisip yun. Ang galing, ang galing. Kasi parang pag naisip ko, channeling may competitive self. Parang ang humble ko pa. Hindi ko ko alam yan eh. Ito, Andrea. Parang pag tinanong ka, di ba? Parang palong-palo eh. Laban na laban. Parang quiz B pa lagi. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for that very witty short skit. Now, we continue naman to a few more questions. So, ngayon, earlier, we mentioned na about your program, which is Bachelor of Science in Sports Science. Mm-hmm. How about can you tell me more about it? Bakit ka napunta doon? And why did you choose it particularly? So, how is it also important to society? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, talaga, nung bata pa ako, mahilig na ako sa UAAP. Ah. Mahilig na talaga ako sa UAAP. Lalo na sa volleyball. Wala pa si Alay sa Valdez. Ay, wow! <laughs> Mga pano nila, oh, Jem Ferrer. Ganun, okay. Jem Ferrer pa lang. Tapos, na- nag-enjoy ako sa sport. Mm. Nag-explore din ako sa sport. Tapos hanggang nakita ko yung course ni Cathy Bersola ng UP. Mm. Di ba bago siya mag-serve sa UAP, pinapakita yung course? Yeah. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Sports yeah. science. May ganyan pala. Anong ginagawa sa sports science? Tapos nag-apply ako sa UST at UP. Ay, wow. Sa course, hindi tayo pinalad sa UP. Kaya tinanggap tayo ng UST. Yes. Kaya maraming mm-hmm. salamat sa UST. <laughs> it's <laughs> kaya, meant to be. Yeah, it's meant to be. Kaya nandito ako ngayon sa UST, tapos tinake ko yung sports science. Mm, kaya. Noon nag-sports science ako, doon ko na-realize yung kagandahan ng program. Mm-hmm. Kasi uh, nagtatakal siya, syempre sa anatomy, sa physiology, kung paano gumala yung katawan natin, hindi lang sa sports. Mm-hmm. Pero kapag, kunwari, nag-recover kayo sa stroke, nag-recover kayo na bumalik sa malakas na katawan, medyo tinatakal din namin. So, naging rehab din. Nag-work kami yeah. together with oh, wow. physical therapies. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Kaya... Masaya, masaya yung course. Yes, talaga. and actually, ano, parang nabanggit niya earlier that you intern, gano'n. Mm. So, ayun, medyo achieved din kasi you work closely with the players. Oh, mm. masaya sa internship talaga. Kasi, hindi <laughs> ko alam na, kala ko dati, dati UAAP lang eh, pero mm. napunta rin kami sa community-based. Yes. Diba, oh! Sa Binangon ng Rizal, oh. nag-take care din kami ng mga stroke patients doon. Tapos nag-take care din kami. Basta iba-ibang yeah. experience talaga. That's so, nice. So, ang saya talaga. Well, just a little trivia for everyone. Other than Leap Day, it's actually Digital Learning Day. Yes, digital. And of course, Rasan, as a digital content creator, how do you think sports science could be learned and appreciated online? Okay. So, pag sports science talaga, maraming tao hindi alam yung sports science mm, talaga. That is true. So, important din talaga na... Malaman din ng tao. Paano ba malalaman ng tao yan? Siyempre, madali na ngayon. Kasi ang dami ng sock meds. Yeah. May Facebook Reels na, may Instagram Reels na, may TikTok pa. So, mm. sobrang daming information na pwede mong masabi about 
the course, about the program. So, ang akin lang talaga is mag-ingat yung mga tao kasi marami din talaga mga tao na nagbibigay ng mga tips. Mm-mm. Kunwari, kahit hindi naman talaga oh, yeah. sila, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Kahit hindi, hindi naman sila, oh, hindi sila yeah, credited. Yeah. So, marami din tao na iniwala. So, para sa akin lang, hanapin nila yung credentials ng tao. Yes. Sa credibility so, ng information. Na kasi ngayon. Mm. Sobrang dami na kasi ngayon na nagbibigay ng mga opinions na kung anong dapat gawin mo, ito yung kainin mo, ito yung yes. gawin mong workouts. Uh-uh. I just want to say then na uh, yung tao kasi iba't iba ng katawan, mm. iba't iba ng adaptations. Yes, so, uh-uh. kailangan pag before kayo mag go on sa inyong fitness journey, Mm-mm. gusto ko lang sabihin na i-check nyo muna yung tao na kakausapin nyo. If Tama. credited ba siya, if graduate ba siya ng, on that field, if may mga seminar siya na atanan about yan. Kung wala, maganda lang yung katawan. Thank <laughs> 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 Grabe. It doesn't mean. So, it doesn't mean. Maling mo nag-work sa kanya, pero hindi mag-work yes, sa'yo. Yes, tama. Every ano, like lahat ng bagay, iba-iba talaga tayo ng ano, parang, ano yan? Iba-iba tayo ng effect. Mm-hmm. Parang ganun. I so, iba. hindi talaga, ano, kailangan prescribe talaga sa'yo yung mga yes. na, ano, bagay-bagay. Mm-hmm. So, syempre, as a influencer or content creator, How would you more ano more likely advocate for sports and physical wellness online? Actually, ang hirap din eh for me mm. kasi iba yung content na yeah, ginagawa yeah. ko, di ba? Para <laughs> imagine mo si Nanay bigla mag-workout. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya for me na lang siguro kapag nakita ko kunyari sa mga videos ng ibang creators na ah medyo parang hindi to yung napag-aralan namin dati yeah. hindi to yung dapat ginagawa medyo pwede tayong mag-comment pero hindi mm. naman to the point na ina-attack mm. mo yung creator pero yeah. pwede tayong mag-comment to educate na ah maybe it works for you pero baka yung mga followers mo no, we have to be yeah. more knowledgeable about para that para maging knowledgeable yung mga followers ng creator na yan that's really good kasi kahit na hindi mo forte yung parang ayun nga physical edu- ano, education or pag-advocate mm. talaga ng sports science mm. at least yung alam mo pwede mo siyang ibigay sa iba mm. and ma-apply din nila to help other people Mm-mm. and to end na Man, do you have a message for our Tomasians who also want to do content creation online, especially in terms of being responsible of their platforms and advocacies? Para sa akin yung mga gusto talaga mag-content creation, just keep going. Yeah. Yun yung pina- first and foremost. Huwag kayo ma-down kung walang nanonood sa simula. Basta just just do it. Kung mm. passion mo yon, kung dun ka masaya, talagang gawin mo yon. Eventually, may makaka-appreciate sa'yo at papanoorin yung content mo. Tapos, it will grow from there. Wow! Yeah. I like that message. Ano, sa buong segment natin to is super happy talaga tayo lahat. Happy! <laughs> <laughs> yes! And we learn to be happy talaga in the courses of life. Of course, sa pagka-content create. Mm. And in our college life din naman. Because we get to spend it with our friends and having many experiences. Nakakatuwa yung humble beginnings niya sana. Yeah. Parang... It, took one TikTok na nag-take out of the storm, tapos parang nagtuloy-tuloy na. <laughs> Nag-snowball siya eh. No? And it made him go back to the thing that he loves doing yeah. as well. Mm. Kaya anyone can do it talaga. Yes. Mm. Na parang hindi mo na maalam na dun ka, pero parang biglang nag-boom. Mm. It's an opportunity na. Kaya nakaka yes. Grab it na talaga. Mm. Yes, and thank you so much, Mr. Hassan, thank for thank you closing so the much. month of February with us. And we wish you, of course, and our listeners, a safe and successful new month ahead as we enter March. And of course, bago tayo mag, ano, mag-stop ng ating segment, we have something for about, you. Yes, how about you show us our ano, tagline? So, you will say this. This is okay, your name. State your name, a pioneer of passion for empowering the future only here in Trailblazers. All right? Okay. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> On your cue. For <laughs> <laughs> MC Oleta. <laughs> <laughs> This is Hassan, a pioneer of passion for empowering the future only here in Trailblazers. Yes! Oh! Thank you Thank so, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you guys. You. Yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Hazard. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Nigerian Dance Troupe is the recognized dance organization of the Faculty of Engineering and is composed of engineering dimensions. With a sense of pride, strength, courage, and humor, the USD EBT is an organization that provides an environment for creative self-expression where the dance passionate students can perform to entertain, refine their talent, and dance to relieve stress. It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! Welcome back to 
Tiger Rush. Rush. All right, we have a long day. Yes, actually, we started from, of course, hashtag OOTD. Mm -hmm. So we talked about um, taking care of the uh, no, Earth and, of course, sustainability. And for, for uh, the Mashians who want to participate, and we ano tayo, nag explore tayo on the world of self care. Mm -hmm. And we have a fruitful conversation with Mr. Hassan as a content creator, sharing happiness to our Tomasha and viewers for today. I think my favorite part of today's episode, mm -hmm. uh, aside from yung girl best friend's kit, yeah. ni Hassan, <laughs> it would have to be learning a lot from Earth US. Yes. Kasi, especially in a time na we we have to be more aware mm -hmm. of our surroundings. It It's nice to know na 34 years, there's someone out, yeah. there's a group of people out there na talagang nag advocate yes. ng environmental awareness for us. And actually, gusto ko yung message natin for today. Na parang, even though, ayun nga, parang we're still talking about boundaries as a student, mm. work-life balance, parang na ano, isip din natin na we can explore naman through things that would, of course, ignite our passion. Mm. So, of course, for Mr. Hassan, yung ginawa niya is media talaga. So, he went back to media from starting as a child na dapat magagawing Lilith, yeah. Yes, ngayon he's back already with content creation. Even though na parang yung course is sports science, he can Very, still ano share mm -hmm. his learnings in sport ano from being a CRS student. So that's really great. Na parang we can step out of the boundary with, of course, being happy and taking care of yourself. And yeah, my two. Ito na hanap ko na term na gusto ko sabi ng ano. My ayun. two cents on this conversation is yung ano yung leap day ngayon. It yes. has been a, a, a recurring theme sa buong yeah, uh, yeah, conversation yeah. natin this show. And uh, a lot of that leap day says a lot on our guest mm -hmm. and uh, as well as uh, our topics kanina, you know, taking a leap yes. and uh, taking care of earth, taking a leap and doing the things that you love for Hassan kanina, yeah. and as well as taking the leap na umalis dun sa comfort zone, uh, sa comfort zone mo yes. na parang ah baka ito hustle culture, I need to do it, yeah. you have to take care of yourself. There's a lot of things that we would do to take a leap and it would help us in the long run. Yes, yeah, so that's actually really a great message. Take a leap mm. because it's leap day and that's how we we should celebrate it. And of course, take ano, parang kailangan talaga natin lumabas sa ating mga comfort zone and take that chance na ano, bigyan yung sarili nyo ng time and may, be happy of course for today because it's an extra day guys. Biyaya natin to and it's a blessing in disguise that we should of course Kahit, ano, take advantage a little bit, but um, mag-aral din kayo mabuti, guys. <laughs> that is right. That is right. <laughs> studies comes, studies first kasi ako eh. Ah. <laughs> wala ka tuloy gusto yung shoutout dyan. Wala, wala, oh. wala. <laughs> 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 I would like to shout out my friends. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jerry, guy. What's up, Frey? What's up? What's up? Oh, yeah. Other than that, though, I think we could plug in our socials. Here. All right. <laughs> so for more Tiger TV content, do follow us at US Tiger TV on X and Instagram and USC Tiger TV on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. I think uh, before I would plug in uh, USC Tiger Radio's official so sock media accounts, I would like to shout out Errol, Yay! Bryce, Franco, and Dre. I think they're watching live in our <laughs> building. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Love All you. Right. Guys, uh, again, do follow us on our social media accounts. That is on X at Tiger Radio USC, on IG at Yes Tiger Radio, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube Yes Tiger Radio, and Mixler Mixler.com slash Yes Tiger Radio. We have other events as well. Yes. You, you could go to the College of Fine Arts and Design. The USD College of Science is holding a painting competition wow. with the theme Expression of Faith through Excellence in Science and Art, which will be open to all the Mashian students up until March 13. Wow. So go ahead in their Facebook pages to know about the details. And yes. that's it Tama for us. Yan. That's it. Oh my gosh, we just ended another thriving Thursday. Once again, here to host your Thursdays, I am Ria. And this is this has been Tiger Jock Havi. And this is the show that completes the R in your mornings. This is Tiger, Tiger Rush. Rush. Catch us again tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. only here at UST, UST Tiger, Tiger TV. TV. Thank Bye. you, guys. Bye. Thanks, guys, man. Thursday. Yeah. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. 
As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. Oh. Post for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go. The front runners. First in line, legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. Curious about what happens behind closed dorms? Welcome to the show that doesn't sugarcoat the tea as we'll let you know what exactly they don't tell you about the reality of dorm life. Here we will unveil some modern solutions to ease all your modern problems in a DIY way. So guys, do not worry about your troubles as your ultimate beginner's guide to dorm living is now here. This is... Dorm It Yourself!
Good day and what's up, dormies? It is indeed dorming season. And we've got a reason to get some big hacks, big tips, and big trips for your dorming journey. I am Joe Santos, your certified cutie and witty host na always G to help, just like your dorm bestie. And I am Diana Igual, your resident friendly and kalog host slash dormer na hindi rin talaga magpapakabog i-offer ang mga hinanda kong pasabog for today's episode. Guys, we are so ready to unveil some thrilling drama, stories, and confessions from our two Thamashian dormers right here, right now, only here on Tiger TV. So now that we are slowly transitioning to a face-to-face -face setup, there's no doubt nga naman talaga na some of us are really excited to move into our dorms and live independently. Uy! Sinong relate dyan? Actually, Joe, as a new dormer din talaga, relate na relate ako dyan. But you know what? There is really so much more to living inside a dorm than what we usually see on the internet and on our TV screens. Siyempre, nandyan pa rin naman talaga yung mga real problems na naranasan ng ating mga dormies, especially sa mga first-timers lang mag-move in. Tama ka dyan, Diana, no? That is why we are here, ready to fix their dorm problems. Grabe, Joe. I really, really, really cannot wait. So everyone, just sit back and relax as we will be guiding you on how to dorm it yourself. Now, before we get into what's in store for this episode, I'd like to ask muna ang ating mga ka-DIY audience. Kamusta naman ang mga dorms nyo dyan? May time pa ba kayo to do the occasional cleaning or is it too much work? Wala na ba kayong ipon kakapadeliver kasi tinatamad na kayong maghugas ng mga pinagkainan? Eh yung mga CR ninyo, kailan nyo yan huling kinuskos? Baka naman nakakalimutan nyo ng alagaan yung mga dorm spaces ninyo ha? Well guys, no worries because that is about to change today. May mga kilala kaming similar din ang mga problems sa inyo. At ito pa nga ang Chica Joe. Mamimit na natin very soon ang ating dormies para ipakita nila kung gaano kamesi ang dorm situation nila right now. Makikita na natin ang ating mga dormies sa pagbabalik ng Dorm It Yourself.
Ayan ako. Ano ba yan? Ha? Nagpasok ka na naman ng sapato sa CR? Hindi naman. Pinag-usapan na natin to ah. Tsaka saan ka ba nang gagaling? Bakit laging maputik yung sapatos mo? Di ka na nahiya? Pati sa CR, nakasapatos ka pa? Ayun ako. Sorry ah. Kung makatalak ka naman sa akin, check mo rin kaya tong tumbler ko. Nakihiram ka na nga lang, di mo pa maugasan ng maayos. Sabi mo, iced coffee lang yung ilalagay mo. E ba't amoy ulam yung takip? Sa cafe ka ba nag-aaral o sa parisan? <laughs> Hello, Uma. Hello, Uma. Be sorry, ha. Eh, sige. Sige na. Pamaya, hugasan ko na lang to ulit. Pero at least naman yung sa akin, be. Low-key lang. Pag hindi mo ginagamit, out of sight, out of mind. Pero pag ganito, oh, be, tignan mo. Tignan mo. Oh, nakikita mo. Pag ganyang maputik na, paano mo nagagawang mag-aral, ha? It's so not slay of you. Anit mo, slave. Pag-usapan naman natin yung book mo. Stress pa ba yan? O sobrang dami na talagang produkto niya nilalagay mo sa book mo? Be, look around you. Sobrang dami yeah, yeah. fall. Wala naman eh, oh. At saka grabe ka naman, be. Idamay mo na lahat. Huwag lang yung buhok ko. Eh, hindi ko ito nakokontrol, eh. It's hereditary. Hindi ko naman pinili yung hair fall, no? Like, ano yung pinili ko? And besides, be, look, oh. It's not that bad. Anong it's not that bad? Be, alam mo ba? Bakit gusto ko na ulit gamitin yung tumbler ko? Eh, bakit na naman? Kasi sa labas na ako kumakain. Alam mo ba't sa labas na ako kumakain? Oh, bakit? Ano naman gusto? Kasi, pag dito, Kita mo yan? Malulumok ko yan lahat ng buhok mo. Hindi naman ako yung aso mo para kainin ko yan. Ayaw mo nun. Chari. O, oh, sige na. Sige na. Sorry na, coach, akin. Hugasin ko na lang mamaya ulit tong tumbler mo. Todo-todo na. Eh, ang hirap naman kasing abutin yung pinakadulo nito. Tignan mo naman. Hmm. Dali mo na. O, oh, basta ikaw, be. Magmap ka naman mamaya. Tsaka tignan mo yung sapatos mo. Sayang. Huwag mong hayaang laging maputikan yan. Oo naman. Sige, sorry. Akin. Pero alam mo, di sana tayo magkakaganto kung hindi tayo always gahol sa oras kakalinis. Oo nga eh. If there was only a way na mapadali yung pag-yasify ng door natin. Sabi, ang intense naman pala talaga ng awayan ng ating mga dormers. Pero bago ang lahat, handa na ba kayong makilala kung sino sila? Ikaw, Joe, handa ka na ba? Siyempre, Diana, handang-handa ako ngayon. No? Allow us to introduce our guests for today. Let us all give a warm welcome to our dormers, starting with Jalen Fernandez. Hi! Hey there! Hey everywhere! Hey there! My name is Jalen Fernandez, but you can call me Jalen na lang, oo. I am 21 years old from the Faculty of Arts and Letters. So as you can see guys, I am a beauty guru by heart who also loves anything related to arts talaga. Kita nyo naman ang arte ko, di ba? But also, kita nyo naman sa video a while ago guys, grabe, least favorite thing to do ko talaga ang maglinis, di ba, Bianca? Falling hair lang naman, pero kung makapag-react si ate girl, sobra-sobra eh. Oy, teka lang ha. Wala pa tayo sa exciting part. <laughs> pero hello, Jalen. Thank you so much for being here with us. No? Now, let us hear for our second guest. Bianca, take it away. Hello, Kadormies. I'm Bianca Abeha, pero Bianca na lang for short. 21 from the Faculty of Arts and Letters. So, I grew up in New York, kaya nakasunayan ko na talaga magpasok ng outside shoes sa loob ng bahay. Even sa CR, ha? Hello, wait, Bianca. So, you're from New York, as in New York? Yes, girl! New York! New York po ba? So, bilang tiga doon ako, guys, nahilig ako sa art, writing, film, Hoy, baka mag-overshare na naman ako ah. Pero nandito kami sa show na to kasi may nakapagsabi sa amin na nandito daw yung answers sa aming dorm problems. Tsaka, Jalen ha, ang ganda mo nga. Pero pag naamoy naman niyang jowa mo yung tumbler mo, just ko Lord, magbababay na yan sa'yo agad kesa sa akin na roommate mo. Grabe ko naman. Oops, oops, oops. Hinay-hinay muna. Huwag muna kayong mag-away kasi 
wag kayong mag-alala. Kami na ang bahala dyan dahil isha-share namin sa inyo ang mga na-source naming products na pwede nyong idagdag sa dorms essentials ninyo to fix your dorming problems, of course. That is right, Joe. Kaya wag din muna kayong aalis mga ka-DIY dahil mayroon tayong special guest na magsisilbing ating mother slash teacher para i-demo ang mga dorm products na pwedeng makatulong sa inyo. At siguradong hindi niya rin tayo chacha routine dahil balita ko daw, effective daw talaga ang mga products na to. Hmm, tignan nga natin. But before that, mga ka-DIY, we'll be having a short break. Grabe, kitang-kita mo talaga ang impact ng problema kapag hindi nag a sa, sa isa't isa rather ang magka-dormates, no Diana? That is right, Joe. Talagang hashtag struggle is real dahil for sure kapag nasa bahay nila ang ating mga dormers, to the rescue palagi ang kanilang mga mommies. Shoutout nga pala sa mga nanay natin dyan. Ba't po alam nyo lahat, no? And paano nyo napapalabas ang hindi makita-kitang gamit sa bahay? Correct ka dyan. And speaking of nanays, may isang full-time mommy and e-commerce professional scroller ang kumontak sa aming team dahil nasa kanya daw ang sagot sa kanilang mga problema. Hmm, legit kaya ang claim ng mommy na ito o gusto niya lang mag-shoutout sa mga kamag-anak niya dyan sa probinsya. Alamin natin yan. Mommy, pasok! Sandali! Nakundahan naman sa katok, Ibo. O, pasok niya yan, tinelas niya. Okay na yan. O, Hello. Welcome to my humble mansion. Oh. Pasok kayo. Pasok. Diyos ko, pawis na pawis kayo. Oh. Juniper! Juniper, pa tuwa nga ng bimpo nang mapunasan ng likod ng mga to? Ay, okay lang po. Pao na lang po na electric fan nyo. Malapit na pong magpurgatorio dito eh. <laughs> Aba, iho, parang ikaw yung nagbabayad ng kuryente namin na. Ah. O siya, sige. O, oh, i-on daw ang golden air. Salamat po. Start na po kayo. Ito na nga. Nagmamaritis kasi kami nung kumari ko si Sharon tungkol dun sa kabatch namin noon. Nako, dili na lang ako magtok, baka masoko pa. Habang nagchichikahan kami, eh, napascroll nga ako dun sa ano, yung post ng Dorm It Yourself PH. Eh, tungkol nga sa problema nung dalawa yung dormers. Eh, syempre, papunta pa lang kayo, pabalik na ako. Lahat na naranasan ko, pati pagpasok sa butas ng karayom, 
Kaya alam ko na nasa kamay ko ang solusyon para sa mga problema nila. Nung nabasa ko yung mga problema nila, Holy hell! Maruming tumbler! Halos mahimatay ako, day! Nagkakagulo na sila dyan? O oh, ito, makakwento ko lang ha. Alam mo ba, sa panahon namin noon, naku, pitong bundok ang lalakarin para makapunta lang ng eskwelahan. Tapos, magiigip na kami ng tubig, pampaligo. Pagkatapos nun, ay lang! Yung solusyon na po sana. Sorry po, mag-overtime tayo pag ganyan eh. Nasa elementary pa po ang kwento nyo. Aabot pa yan hanggang pagkakilala nyo ni Mister. Pasensya na po. Sus, pakanerbiyosong bata nito. Bawas-bawasan mo yung pagkakape. O siya, eto na. Ipapakilala ko na sa inyo, lalo na sa mga dormers dyan, ang mga produktong nagamit ko bilang alilang ina ng mga batang alipin ng online shopping. Ito na nga ang first product. Ang tawag dito, 3-in-1 cup cover cleaning. Pero sa dami ng gamit na ito, dapat siguro 3 to the power of 10-in-1. Dahil lahat ng sulok, ng nangingitim at ng gigitata niyong mga tumblers, makukuskus at matatanggal nitong brush. Tatlong klasing brush na iba't ibang laki at hulma sa halagang 35 pesos lang. Kaya kaysa bumili kayo ng bumili ng pilikmata dyan, ito na lang yung bilhin nyo. Sunod, ito. Ang KS Wipes. Isa ito sa pinapadala ko sa mga anak ko na pinaglihi ko ata sa katamaran. Galing sa putikan, didiretso sa mga kwarto nila ng nakasapatos. Diyos ko! Ako na yung nahihiya sa mga basahan namin dito. Parang nadidisappoint na rin sila sa mga anak ko. Pero panalo ka dito sa KS Wipes. Sa halagang 30 pesos, mamawipe niya yung dumi sa sapatos mo. Siyempre, wipe lang. Alam mo naman maghugas rin ng plato itong wipes. Next item natin ay itong 5-in-1 electric scrubber rechargeable cleaning tools brush for bathroom, bathtub, kitchen with 3 brush. Juniper, pakikuha nga ng BP ko. Sumakit ba ito ko dito sa haba ng title ng product? Ah, okay na? Ah, okay. So, nagbabalik ako. Pasensya na. Ginawa ko kasing oxygen yung inuwing chicharon ni Maring Baby kanina sa sobrang dami nung nakain ko. Anyway, balik tayo sa 5-in-1 electric scrubber. Siya, yung wala na ito. Splash, bathroom, bathroom, bedroom, uno na pang room, kitchen, with three brush. Kaya nyo na yan. Uno kayo ng vitamina at pag-aaruga. Itong mga brush na to, kasing tiba ito ng mga braso nyo pag hinila kayo ng nanay nyo para mag-hello sa mga ninang nyo na never nyo naman nakita. Mapukuskus nito lahat ng kasamaan sa bahay nyo. At masusundan na naman ang pagka-addict nyo sa pagsuscroll sa TikTok dahil pwedeng-pwede mag-phone. Kasi kusa itong umiikot. Kaya yung di nyo pagla-lunch para makabili ng regalo sa mansari. Nako, ito ang bilhin nyo muna. Boyfriend, boyfriend, iiwan ka rin yan kapag amoy panis na toge ang bahay mo. 239 pesos lang. Murang-mura. Free shipping pa at times. Kasi alam nilang di nyo ito papatulan kapag walang promo code. Ito na ang huling produkto na mahahabilin ko ano, sa ating mga dormers na lubos din na nakatulong sa akin. Yung mga anak kong mga babae. Ako! Apakaraming ah, buka na lalagas kahit huminga lang sila in place. Ito ang large floor lint roller na talaga naman sa isang pasada mo lang sasahig. Kagat na kagat na ang mga buhok na parang nag-group meeting sa dami. Sa napakamurang presyo na 31 pesos and 10 centavos, may iba ka ng tagapulot ng buhok maliban sa aso nyo. Ayun lang. Salamat. Cut! Okay, good day. Safety shot naman tayo, ma'am. From the top! Ano? Wow! Thank you so much po, Charut, for sharing those helpful products. Kita nyo naman, guys. Effective na, mura pa! Yes, Joe. Napansin ko nga rin na multifunctional pa ang ating mga products. All-arounder talaga, parang ating mga nanay. Kaya tarat samahan nyo rin kami tignan kung paano nga ba nagagamit ng ating dormers. Ayun, as my bestie pointed out, hindi daw ako magaling maghugas ng tumbler niya. Kailangan talaga todo-todo linis din sa takip. Sorry naman. Pero dahil doon, guys, 
Na-introduce ako dito sa 3-in-1 tumbler brush. Look at this, guys! Look at the carrot design! Oh, ang cute! Design talaga siya para sa mga hard-to-reach surfaces na hindi kaya ng regular sponges. Guys, tignan nyo konti na lang. Gagamitin ko na siya as a back scratcher. Pero speaking of surfaces, guys, ha? Alam nyo na, may problem talaga ang kumari nyo with hair fall. Sorry na, sis. Pero dahil doon, binigyan din nila ko nitong lint roller, guys. Honestly, life-saving talaga siya. Kasi simple roll lang here, simple roll lang there. Tanggal ang hair everywhere. Like, as in talaga, tanggal na talaga siya. Kaya naman, wala na akong mahihilim pa dito sa lint roller na to. Bili na kayo. Sa akin naman, for some reason, talagang may talent ata ako madumihan yung sapatos sa ko anywhere na. I go. Exactly. So, binigyan ako nitong KS Wipes. Pero hindi to wet wipes. Huwag niyo itong gagamitin pag nagpurot kayo dyan. Unless, makatapa kayo ng purot. E di, KS Wipes all the way. Pero you know, heaven sent talaga tong KS Wipes na to. Lalo na ako pag white shoes yung gamit mo. Sobrang nakitan din ako dun sa carrot brush ni Besho. Kanina, muntik ko lang kunin eh. Pero, yung surprise ni naman with this, 5-in-1 rechargeable electric brush. Super nice na to kasi hindi mo na kailangan mag super kayod para matanggal yung dumidumi sa bathroom nyo, kitchen, or any other surfaces with this device. On mo lang tong switch tapos todo na siya sa pag turn around and scrub. Pwede nga rin to sa mga sapatos eh if you're like me na big and down there. Uy sa mga shoes ha. Pero personally, KS wipes lang, sapat na. KS wipes, how to be po. All in all, these products really help keeping our dorm capital K clean. So, hindi lang sila easy to use. They're also convenient at kaganahan ka pa. I know. Agli na agli ako dyan. Tsaka ngayon, feel ko, kaya na namin isingit yung cleaning as part of our routine. Exactly. Tsaka, I think having a cleaner dorm has also made it a much more productive environment for us. Tsaka, Bashi, hindi ko na ma-imagine yung dorm life namin before we had this product. May mga ganitong products pala na pwedeng makatulong sa ating mga dormers. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ito na ang sign para i-add to cart nyo na yan. Also Joe, we definitely witnessed how these products made a huge difference to their dorm space as they now have an idea of what can be their go-to solutions to some of their common dorm problems. And of course, I'm sure na we especially witness Jalen and Bianca have gained a lot of wisdom and realizations from this. Kaya wag muna kayong aalis ha, as we will be back to hear more from them. Kain tayo, may dala ka merienda. Uy! Ang galing. Birthday ng anak ni Maring Nenet. May buwi ako. Gonna keep on going. Let my 
wings to fly I'm ready to go I'm taking control This fire my soul How you like me? Again, I am so glad to hear na nasolusyonan na ng ating mga guests ang kanilang mga dorming problems through DIY. So, before we end, I would like to thank Bianca and Jalen for sharing your dorm stories and experiences with us. Salamat sa pagpapatunay na if there's a will, there's a way. Correct ka dyan, Diana. No? This is also a reminder na do not be afraid to ask for help because there's always someone out there to guide you on dorming your way out of your worries. And if I may ask our guests, is there something that you guys want to share to our viewers? Let's start with you, Jalen. Let ako dun, Joe, ha? Pero thank you for that question. Ako, personally, marami talaga ako natutunang uh, lessons with this dorm experience. Kahit super saglit lang. And uh, lalo na yung dapat magiging considerate ka sa mga magiging karumis mo and makakasama mo sa bahay. There would be times that you have to compromise with each other, meet them halfway, and of course, communicate your boundaries and respect them. Agree ako kay Jalen for the first time, ha? Pero ako naman, I just want to share na you really need to be prepared sa mga struggles na mafe-face mo sa dorming journey mo. Hindi siya palagi IG-worthy, guys. Alright, yee! Mukhang bati na kayo, ha? Medyo, medyo. <laughs> and with that, let's give a big round of applause to Jalen and Bianca. Once again, we thank you for sharing your dorming journey with us. And I would also like to thank our guest, Charuth, our partnerships and sponsors. For our co-presenters, we have RC Cola, Ashtek, and Ready, Set, Glow. Now, for our minor sponsor, we have La Frontera. And for our donors, we have Bistro Noval, Sunday Shots, and Yummy Tokyo. In partnership with UST Community Achievers Association, Accountancy Unit, Streaming PH, What's Up Pilipinas for making all these possible for us. And that is it guys for the first episode of Dorm It Yourself. Make sure to catch us on our next episode on May 10 which will be also aired on the Facebook page of USD Tiger TV as we will have more chicas, more guests, more fun coming your way. Do not forget to use the hashtag DIY with Cube when you post about your DIY experiences. And I'm sure you don't want to mess out of that, so save the date, mga ka DIY. And don't forget, of course, to follow our official Facebook page, Cube Productions, and stay tuned for more updates. See you! Bye! Thank you, everyone!
University of Santo Tomas, ang pinakamalaking universidad sa siyudad ng Maynila at kinikilala sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas kung saan ang mga estudyante ay nanggaling pa sa iba't ibang probinsya sa Pilipinas at maging sa iba't ibang sulok ng mundo. At sa mahigit kumulang na 40,000 estudyante, hindi maikakailan na ang university ay tinatawag na melting pot of cultures. At isa sa pinakamagandang paraan para makilala natin ang mga kulturang ito ay sa kanilang masasarap na pagkain. Sabay-sabay natin kilalanin ang mga food cultures na patuloy na nagpapasarap sa ating Thumashen Experience. What's up, kedo? Salinat samahan niyo kaming pagsaluhan ng mga nakakatakam na kwento ng mga tomasino sa iba't ibang sulok ng mundo. Ako si Marzen. At ako si Kyle. Tara na't samahan niyo kaming maaliw, matakam at mabusog sa programang nagbibigay kwento sa pagkain ng mga tomasino, ang Cider Plates! Bilang isang melting pot of cultures ang UST, hindi natin may pagkakailan na marami talagang Thomasians ang nanggagaling pa sa malalayong lugar, no? Tama ka dyan, Kyle. Hindi lang sa ibang lugar sa Pilipinas, kundi pati na rin sa ibang bansa. Now, speaking of melting pot of cultures, no, may naalala kong lugar na mayaman din sa kultura at tradisyon. Ay, balita ako, Marzen. Doon daw nang galing ang mga sikat na pagkain tulad ng shawarma, pita, hummus, at kebab na lagi kong hinahanap-hanap. Totoo yan. At dahil sa pagsama-sama ng mga kultura ay nakatikim na tayo ng mga masasarap na pagkain lalo na galing sa ay, Middle East. Alam mo Marzen, dahil sa mga pinag-uusapan natin, parang nagugutom tuloy ako. Nako, don't worry Kyle dahil susubaybayan natin ang sarap ng Middle East kaya dyan lang kayo dahil magbabalik ang Tiger Plates! Always on the move. Always on track. And in full swing. Serving the Thamashian community by creating. Grow and growl with us. We are in full swing. We are the Tiger Media Network. We are savvy. We are more than just content creators. We are storytellers. We tell the Tomashian story. Stories of victories. Stories of inspiration. And the story of unending grace. We are 360. It can be found here, here, and here. 
We have industry standard equipment and facilities for hands-on use. These equipment also enable us to service people by producing a myriad of content. We don't just share stories. We engage people. We are professionals. who take our craft seriously by transforming crazy into impressive side by side with our student volunteers we hone we cultivate we are committed to truth and kindled by love we are the USD Communications Bureau Ngayon nagbabalik na ang Tiger, Tiger Plates. Plates. Nako kaya this is it. Matitikman na natin ang tunay na lasa ng Middle East. Oo nga Marzen, alam mo na alala ko yung first time kong makatikim ng Middle Eastern dish and I feel like it would be really nice kung malaman natin kung paano lutuin yung dish na yon. Nako, don't worry kaya dahil nandito si Chef Resident Dos from the College of Tourism and Hospitality Management para turuan tayo magluto ng napakasarap na putahe ng Middle East. mabusog sa mga kwento ng masusustansyang pagkain sa Tiger, Tiger Bites! Bites. Hello, Kidos! I am Chef Dos from the College of Tourism and Hospitality Management. I've been a chef for almost 10 years and I'm also part of the academy for almost 3 years. So, please come with me as we cook a classic Middle Eastern dish. This is Tiger Bites! Ngayon ay ibabahagi ko kung paano gumawa ng isang national dish ng Saudi Arabia. Ang napakasarap at hindi nakakasawang kabsa. Para sa akin, yung kabsa, ito yung pinaka uh, isa sa mga flavorful na dish, lalo na kapag yung mga spices na uh, doon talaga lumalabas yung amoy and yung aroma niya. So yun yung mas nagpapasarap sa kanya. Tara na, huwag na natin patagalin to. Simulan na natin ang pagluluto. So ngayon, unahin natin yung puting sibuyas, no? Hiwain natin siya ng maliliit lang. Choice nyo kung gagamitin nyo is red or white. Pero ako, ang preferred ko dito sa dish na to is white. Bakit? Kasi yung onions na white is much on the sweeter side. Kapag ginamit natin yung kulang sibuyas, baka mag ano na siya, contradict na siya with the spices na meron tayo. So ngayon, yung next natin is yung anim na piraso na garlic or yung garlic cloves. So... Let's chop the garlic ng maliliit. So, minced garlic lang siya. So, next natin yung kamatis. So, at least uh, anim na piraso. Pero kung gusto nyo mas konti, wala namang problema. Tapos, hindi nyo kailangan tanggalin yung buto dito. So, next natin ngayon yung carrots. So, i-grate natin siya. Pero hindi naman siya kailangan uh, i-grate palagi. Pwede siyang i-chop ng maninipis. So, next step natin, nandito yung mga spices natin. Ano ba yung mga spices na meron tayo ngayon? Meron tayong nutmeg, allspice, cumin, paprika, turmeric, saka syempre meron tayong asin at paminta. So, pagsasamasamahin lang natin sila. So, ito, sobrang hirap i-harvest nitong saffron. Pero yung flavor nito, lasa niya somehow earthy, pero... Once na ilagay nyo siya sa dish and i-grate natin siya or i-toss natin siya, mas makakapagbigay siya ng magandang flavor sa dish na. So next natin ngayon, ito-toast natin yung ating mga spices. So ano ba yung meron dito? Cinnamon bark, cardamom, meron din tayong coriander seed at cloves. So ito-toast lang natin siya. para lumabas yung aroma at yung flavors niya. Once na maamoy na natin siya, Ayan, that's the time na okay na siya. Pwede muna natin siyang iset aside. So, unahin natin, of course, yung butter. So, mas maganda kung mas mahina yung apoy kapag magtutunaw tayo ng butter. Then, next natin is yung white onions. So, at this point, pwede nating lakasan yung apoy. Tapos, next is yung garlic. Then, next is yung kamatis natin. Continuous lang natin siyang haluin. So, once na mahalo na natin siya, mag na lahat. 
next natin is yung chicken. So, medyo papainitin ko pa yung pan natin. Ha? So, dapat, unang-una, dapat tuyo yung mga manok natin. So, since medyo mainit na yung pan natin, pwede na natin ilagay yung chicken. So, hintayin lang natin siya magkulay brown. Tapos, once na magkulay brown siya, uh, pwede na natin i-add yung mga spices natin. Since makikita nyo, nag-brown na yung chicken natin, silalagay na natin yung mga spices. Unahin natin yung tinos natin kanina. Then next, yung remaining spices niya na ground. Tapos, saluhaluin lang natin siya. Meron tayong tomato paste dito. Add lang natin siya. So, mas okay to kung niluluto nyo habang nagsisear or nagigisa kayo ng mga ingredients para kumapit yung flavors niya. So, ngayon, since nagmix naman na yung ingredients, pwede na nating lagay yung water. Ayan, from this part, pwede na nating lakasan yung apoy. Meron ako dito ng nakaprepare na chicken stock. Then, pakuluin lang natin to. Uh, let's say, 30 minutes. Then, i-add na natin yung next ingredient or remaining ingredients natin. At least 20 minutes, nakapakulo na siya. So, next na gagawin natin is, tanggalin natin yung chicken. Kasi, iniiwasan lang natin siyang ma-overcook. Tapos pala, meron tayong mga ibang ingredients dito, kagaya ng laurel, sa yung cinnamon bark. Pwede na natin siyang tanggalin kasi yung flavors niya most likely na-absorb na. Then, once na matanggal na siya, pwede na natin i-add yung basmati rice natin. So, bakit ba basmati rice? Hindi siya ganun kabasa. Buhaghag siya once na kainin natin siya. Pwede na natin i-add yung grated carrots natin kanina. Add ko muna yung half. Pakuluin lang natin hanggang maluto yung bigas. Takpan lang ulit natin for at least 15 to 20 minutes. So, i-check na natin yung kanin natin kung okay na. Kung makikita nyo ngayon, medyo nagda-dry out na siya. Kung naaalala nyo yung kaninang iniwang kong carrots, pwede na natin siyang ilagay. Ibalik natin yung chicken para hindi siya mag-dry out. And of course, siyempre para at least mainit pa siya. Pwede pa ulit kayong mag-add ng saffron. Para once na maluto siya, mas mabango. Pwede kayong mag-add ulit ng butter. So ngayon, tapos na yung 5 minutes natin. So it is ready to serve. At ayan, tapos na ang ating kabsa. Tara, tikman na natin ang ating niluto. So tikman na natin siya. Ako yung nararamdaman ko ngayon, yung flavors niya nandun. Sumasabog yung flavors niya as in yung Middle Eastern flavors and aroma. Ramdam na ramdam mo kasi sobrang tagal pinakuluan. Yung iba, tinos pa. So ngayon, para sa akin, recommendable talaga tong dish. Madaling gawin, mabilis lutuin, and sobrang sarap. Sana nagustuhan nyo ang ating recipe for today. Muli, ako si Chef Don, at ito ang Tiger Vibes. Thank you, thank you so much, Chef Dos. At marami akong natutunan, lalo na sa kung paano pa mas pasasarapin ang special kabza ng Middle East. And dahil yan sa combination of spices na parang mas naging buo yung lasa ng dish na to. Alam mo, balita ko ay mahirap daw hanapin yung saffron, pero talaga nga namang worth it ang paghahanap ng spice na yon kapag natikman na natin. Yes, at dahil sa pag-share ni Chef Dos ng kanyang recipe ng kabza, makakagawa na rin tayo ng sarili nating style ng Middle Eastern dish. Pero mas marami pa tayong malalaman at matututunan about the Middle Eastern food culture because today we have a guest who was born and raised in the Middle East. She lived in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia for 12 years with her family before coming back here in the Philippines. Yes, makakasama natin si Ira Kamid, a second year political science student from the Faculty of Arts and Letters para ibahagi ang kwento ng mga Tomasino na lumaki sa Middle East. Alright, hello Ira. Welcome to Tiger Plates. It's a pleasure to have yes, you here. Yes, welcome Miss Ira. Kumusta ka naman Today. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Thank you also for making time for yes. us. That's right. Now, we heard that you grew up in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. No? So, what was your favorite food back in the Middle East that you'd like to share with the Thamashian community? Katulad din ba ito nung kabsa na niluto ni Chef Dos? Ayun, so definitely, I can only speak for Riyadh kids. Ang favorite talaga namin ay shawarma at kabsa. Ayun. Alright. Alright. Well, do you have any personal experiences with the food having grown up in Riyadh? 
Yes, definitely. Um, favorite memories ko is after na yung grocery na family namin, bibili kami ng shawarma for all oh, of us. Shawarma na. Balita ko, no? magkaiba daw ang local shawarma yes. dito sa UST, sa shawarma sa Middle East. Mm-mm. Can you share more about that? So definitely, my new discoveries coming here is instead of garlic sauce, mas common yung cheese or cheesy sauce sa shawarma. Mm-hmm. Tapos ngayon ko lang din na-discover yung shawarma rice. And I think Ooh. yung mga variations na yon, it's to cater the Filipino palate, ganon. Mm-hmm. So shawarma rice, hindi siya uso sa Middle East talaga. Like, mm-hmm. pauso lang natin siya sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Oo, not at <laughs> all. Not lang. at all. Kasi ang shawarma parang street food siya doon. I think kasi nga... Mahilig tayo sa ulam, so kahit Mm-mm. anong uulamin. Oh, kasi lahat nilalagyan yeah. natin ng kanin eh. Um, exactly. Overall, what makes the Middle Eastern food different from our local cuisines dito sa UST or sa buong Pilipinas rather? Mm-hmm. So yung mga spices nila, they use for flavor, di ba? Yung mga spices nila, it's not common sa pantry natin. Like for example, turmeric, yung paprika, yung coriander, yung mga ganyan, parang sa atin, parang social yung ano, di ba? Parang pakinggan. Kasi mm-hmm. yung sa atin, di ba, um, may pepper lang, bay leaf, Ganon. Tsaka with dairy products din, for cooking, gagamitin natin is coconut milk. Tapos sila, gagamitin nila for cooking is yogurt. Ah, so, Ganon. hindi sila takot talagang mag-try ng iba't ibang spices. Yes. Yes. Unlike well, here na meron tayong parang mga common uh-oh. na ingredients for our food. Well, um, we're already talking about food, no? Pero let's talk about drinks. Okay, What's your drinks. favorite or go-to Middle Eastern drink. Mm-hmm. Okay, so since coffee is of Arab origin, iba talaga yung coffee nila. Um, yung iced coffee, kasi ngayon lang siya nauso sa atin, di ba? And mm-hmm. meron din tayong kapeng barako. Pero um, my experience is very specific sila, or sa Riyadh, sa, sa coffee. Like yung coffee beans. Tapos they drink their coffee hot. Like, ga- ka- kano- ga- gano ka init? talagang dapat sobrang init din ng kape. Ganon. Ay, oh grabe. Gosh. That's so interesting. Alam mo, mm-hmm. as a coffee lover, parang gusto ko biglang yeah. pumunta ng Middle East para matikman yung hot <laughs> coffee <laughs> doon. <laughs> Balita ko kakaiba nga daw. Um, oh. Now, what do you do, no, when you miss the flavor of the Middle East? Siyempre, lumaki ka doon. So, mamimiss mo talaga. So, anong mga usual na ginagawa mo pagka nafe-feel mo yon? So, thankfully, around UST, hindi mahira maghanap ng mga Middle Eastern food, like cuisine. Di ba? May shawarma, yes. may kabsa, and then may kebab. Then, so, yun, sinusundan ko lang yung mga trending ng mga joints, restaurants around UST. All right. Well, thank you so much for your insights and for being with us here today, Miss Ira. Do you have any um, last message sa ating mga audience today about the Middle Eastern food culture in general? So, just from ano, uh, Middle East kids in general, uh, don't uh, be afraid to try anything new. Mm-hmm. Diba? Lalo na shawarma trending siya ngayon. So, just go ahead and try. Diba? Ayun All right. lang. Right. Well, don't for sure, afraid. mas naliwanagan ng ating mga kiddos about the Middle Eastern food culture today. So, thank you again once again, Miss Ira. Thank you so much, Miss Ira, at kung nami-miss din ninyo ang authentic flavor ng Middle East at wala na kayong time para magluto sa inyong mga tahanan, don't worry kiddos dahil mararanasan nyo na uh, Middle East flavor dito lang sa Manila. Yan ang kailangan natin abangan sa pagbabalik ng Tiger Plates!
are always on the move, always on track, and in full swing. Serving the Tamashian community by creating. Grow and growl with us. We are in full swing. We are the Tiger Media Network. We are savvy. We are more than just content creators. We are storytellers. We tell the Tomashian story. Stories of victories. Stories of inspiration. And the story of unending grace. We are 360. We can be found here, here, and here. We have industry standard equipment and facilities for hands-on use. These equipment also enable us to service people by producing a myriad of content. We don't just share stories. We engage people. We are professionals. Who take our craft seriously. By transforming crazy into impressive side by side with our student volunteers. We hone, we cultivate, we are committed to truth and kindled by love. We are the USD Communications Bureau. Tiger Plates. At dahil sa sinare sa atin ni Ira ng mga experiences niya about the Middle East food culture, mas na-excite na akong matikman ang authentic flavors ng Middle East. Yes, kaabang-abang nga naman talaga yan, Zen. And dahil isa talaga to sa mga paborito kong puntahan every time na namimiss ko ang Middle Eastern food. Tamang-tama dahil dadalhin tayo sa tunay na lasa ng Middle East kasama ang ating resident. Chigadora, Angela. Yes, tara na at makichika at makitikim sa Tiger Pounds. So warm ba ang hanap mo? Meron yan dito sa Asturias. Masarap na, authentic pa. Kaya naman pala ang daming customers. At ito ha, balita ko yung customers dito dumadayo hindi lang from around Manila but from all over the Philippines, lalo na ang mga UFW at Saudi kids na miss na miss ang legit shawarma ng Middle East. Lalo sama talaga yung pagka Middle Eastern. Serving chicken, very juicy. Very authentic. Resident Chikadora. At kung gutom na kayo ngayong lunchtime, don't worry because I got your back. Sambahan niyo ako as we found sewers at this Middle Eastern restaurant, Saffron. Pagpasok pa lang, you can already feel the Middle Eastern vibes. Makaamoy mo na agad ang savory scent ng food na talaga namang nakakagutom. At kitang-kita naman from the design pa lang ng interior with the walls and the pictures para talaga ako na doon sport to another place. Parang dinala talaga dito sa dapitan ang Middle East. Hi guys, I'm Elzar Marcuta, aka Rigor, and I'm the business owner of Saffron Middle Eastern Restaurant. Saffron was established around 2018, June 2018, so that's about five years already. Dahil nga sa unique flavors of Middle East, talaga namang binabalik-balikan ng Saffron. Makikitang patok na patok sa mga tomasino ang food place na ito. Naging go-to place na talaga ang Saffron pag nagkikrave ng authentic flavors ng Middle East. This Saffron was motivated by me and my father because we're both chefs in Riyadh. Me and my siblings were born and raised. So that's where we got our idea of bringing Middle East here in the Philippines. 
makikita nyo naman na only fresh and legit ingredients ang ginagamit para i-prepare ang dishes ng saffron. Di katulad sa shawarma na nakaguyan ng marami, ang shawarma ng saffron has only fries, garlic sauce, chicken, and pita bread. At ang kanilang chicken capsa is cooked to perfection. We're now ex-OFW. Uh, we have a really good relation with our ex-bosses back in Korea and Saudi Arabia. So every time that we need stuff like basmati rice or any spices, we are just one call away. Saffron is the most expensive spice. Naisip namin ng dad ko na ito yung gawin nating pangalan para mas may value, mas may importansya yung pangalan natin. Saffron is a really unique Middle Eastern restaurant at kitang-kita naman. Unique din ba sa lasa? Tignan natin! At ngayon, tinikman na natin tong chicken shawarma! Sobrang sarap guys! Nakikita niyo yung laman niya? Chicken, rice, and garlic sauce. Pag pinagsama yung taklo, sobrang perfect. Talagang very authentic yung ingredients. Hindi ko nasa Middle East ako ngayon guys. Ready na kayo guys? Ito na ang taste test. Magkakaalam na na kung ano nga ba ang lasa ng chicken capsa ng sapon. Okay, big bite! Sobrang flavorful guys. Literal na flavor bomb dito sa loob ng bibig ko. Grabe! Salt na salt talaga ng Korean day sa yung lunch dahil sa saffron. Pasag na sa shawarma at kapsa. Pasag pa sa kwentuhan. Perfect! At babalik-balik ka talaga ng saffron. Maraming salamat niya ako ngayong lunchtime.
Magandang tanghali mga Tomasino Ito na Thursday na alam kong lahat ay minamata na ang papalapit na weekend Dahil ilang tulog na lang, Sabado na naman ulit Pero bago pa man tayo tumungo sa weekend, syempre dadaan mun, dadaanan muna natin ang Thursday at Friday Natin na maiiwasan yan May alam ba kayo na pwedeng gawin on those days except for doing ACADs or org works? Yep, you guess it right, Damasians. Ano pa nga ba ang pwede nating gawin bukod sa kumain at syempre, tumutok sa ating Lobby's TV screens. Again, this is Patrick Mejia and welcome to a new episode of Streak, ang larong tersubok sa inyong pagkatumasin. Before we formally begin, we would like to make an announcement to all. Bring on the roar, to all bring on the roar applicants, head on to USD Tiger TV and USD Tiger Radio social media pages because the results are now officially out. Again, for those um, applicants of bring on the roar, head on to the social media pages of USD Tiger TV and USD Tiger Radio because the results are officially out. Hashtag work with TMN, guys. Congratulations to all the Um, winners or the applicants na natanggap dito sa atin sa TM and congratulations to all of you guys I'm so excited to work with all of you I'm sure the organization welcomes you all to our um, lovely organization syempre there are a lot of things to do here at sana marami kayong matutunan because we would love to learn with all of you guys congratulations to all who made it and we would like and we would also like to congratulate The winner from our yesterday's episode, who is Abby from Engineering. Again, congratulations. We would also like to thank our sponsors for today's game. So, katulad lamang na mga nagdaang mga episodes, super simple lang ating mga mechanics for the game. I bet almost everyone, if not all, is familiar with Kahoot, hindi ba? You guys just have to go online, access kahoot.it, and enter the game by using our pin shown on the screen. And the pin is 6536178. Again, the pin for our today's game is 6536178. Or you may auto scan the QR code which is also shown on your screens. Whatever is more feasible for you. Then kindly set your name to name. Dot faculty dot ka- college so we can easily distinguish and verify your identities in in case you win you will win at the end of our program please be mindful not to use any necess- any unnecessary root or unprofessional names and only follow what's instructed earlier And para naman sa, manana- sa mga mananalo ng ating prize, please go to the Communications Bureau on the 12th floor here on BG Pop near the Pinoval Gate. And please present your USD ID and the screenshot of you winning our Kahoot game. For easier confirmation and verification na kayo ang player na nanalo sa ating episode today. And to remind lang din everyone, the last opportunity for claiming your prize is only at 3pm on the same day, guys. Reminder, only at 3pm on the same Day. So, we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 players already Pero we still give time to those na gusto pang sumali sa ating game Kaya sa mga viewers natin, invite ng inyong mga classmates, friends, and orgmate na sumali sa ating episode for today Again, you just go, you just have to go to kahoot.it and enter our, pli- our pin flash on your screen The pin is 6536178 Or scan the QR code and set your names to name.faculty or college. So guys, it's name.faculty or college. Avoid natin yung mga unnecessary or rude um, statement dahil hindi tatanggapin yan sa ating game. Pero oops, teka lang. Before we proceed to our game today, syempre magkakaroon muna tayo ng mga recap session from yesterday's game. Pinag-usapan lang naman natin kahapon ang history ng UST Hospital and UST Health Service for which we hope ay natuto kayo ng, dag- ng dagdag facts about these faculties. Ngayon naman, ang ating set of questions for today will rely more on the high school setting. But wait, hindi lang siya basta-basta about high school dahil facility, this facility rather, also serves as a training ground for education students. Well, if may idea na kayo kung ano ang topic natin for today, For sure, ay easy-peasy na lang ay inyo maka-catch up sa set of questions natin later on. So again guys, just use the ha- just use the pin on our TV screen 6536178 or 
use the QR code flash on your screen. So our topic for today will rely more on USD Education High School and the College of Education. Medyo, medyo related sila with each other, may mga pagkakaiba, pero malala through, through these questions, malalaman natin yung kanilang differences, yung ano, kanilang mga um, core values, dahil may differences din yan guys. So again, I'm um, just... Join our game for today and tinan natin, malalaman natin ngayon ang inyong talino when it comes to USD Education High School and College of Education students. Ayan, let's see kung ilan na ang ating mga players. We now have... Okay, medyo marami na na ating mga players. More than 10 players, I think, and everyone is all set. Good luck sa ating mga Tomasino players for today. And let's play Streak, ang lalong susubok sa inyong pagka-Tomasino. Question number one. The Education High School is the same institution as the USD High School. Is it true or is it false? Again, the Education High School is the same institution as the USD High School. Is it true or is it false? Okay, tinan natin ang inyong mga kasagutan. So, malalaman natin dito kung same institution nga ba talaga ang educational high school sa UST High School. Siyempre, katulad ang sinabi kanina, meron sila mga ilang mga differences, pero kailangan natin malaman kung same institution nga ba sila. So, the answer is... False. The UST High Schools and the Education High School are different institutions. EHS was founded to provide deserving students who cannot afford to pay fees required by other schools and to provide them with a high-quality Catholic education. Additionally, it acts as a training ground for College of Education fourth-year BSE students. Okay, congratulations! So, for question number three, number two rather, all of these belongs to USD EHS core values except for the first, is it unity, is it dignity, is it honesty, or is it respect? So, kagaya ng sabi kanina, merong pa differences din sila. So, when it comes to core values, meron din ilang sila mga differences. So, is it unity, is it dignity, is it honesty, or is it respect? The answer is unity. Unity is out because the core values of USC Education High School includes number one, dignity, honesty, justice, piety, respect, responsibility, and simplicity. Bukod pa rito, these core values are also the names of the sections for grades 7 to 10. Okay, leading sa ating scoreboard si Jappy.05. Okay, for question number three, he is the patron of USD Education High School. So, sino nga ba ito? Is it St. Joseph of Cupertino, St. Joseph Cafaso, St. Joseph Calasanz, or St. Joseph or Ar of Armatia? So, sa listahan ng ating mga choices, sino nga ba ang patron of USD Education High School? Take note, may pagkakaiba ito sa ating different organization. So, the correct answer is... St. Joseph Calasan. So, besides the fact that he is also the patron of USD College of Education, St. Joseph Calasan is also the patron of USD EHS. The Education High School commits itself to the task of participating in the evangelizing work of the church by providing students with quality Catholic education and by imbuing them with the virtues of truth and in love. For question number four, when the Education High School was first established, how many sections were there in high school? So, how many sections were there in high school? The choices are, is it 11? Is it 12? Is it 13? Is it 14? So, yung different sections na ito, medyo marami sila, no? 11, 12, 13, 14. So, malalaman natin kung ilang sections ba noong in-establish ang Education High School. So, is it 11, 12, 13, or 15? The answer is 14. So, the answer is 14 when the first set of classes commenced the USD Education High School accommodated 10 sections in the first year, 2 in the second year, and 2 in the third year as well. So, for question number 5, girls attended the first half of the Education High School in the morning and boys attended the remaining half when? Is it morning? Is it noon? Is it the afternoon? Or is it at night? So, when girls attended the first half of the education high school, is it in the morning, the boys attended the remaining half when? So, is it the morning, noon, afternoon, or night? So, the answer is 
the afternoon. Half of the sections of the first batch were attended by girls in the morning and the other half were attended by boys naman in the afternoon. Now, before we proceed to the next set of questions, let us see the scoreboard muna para malaman kung sino ba ang leading sa ating this game. So congratulations to Andy.ofad, you are leading the scoreboard. Ellie.ab, the second place, and the Angie.ofad for the third leading place in the scoreboard. Tingnan natin kung sila-sila pa ba ang hanggang dulo o may iba pang makakahabol sa ating leaderboard. Let's continue playing street. For question number six, the Education High School is the training ground for fourth-year students from this college. Is it the College of Education? Is it the College of Nursing? Is it the College of Accountancy? Or is it the College of Rehabilitation Sciences? So, the Education High School is the training ground for fourth-year students from this college. I think medyo natanong na to last questions, pero tinan natin kung talaga na-maintain yung inyong street. So, the answer is... Siyempre, the College of Education. The USC Education High School serves as the training ground for fourth-year BSE education students. For question number seven, the Education High School consisted of 370 students on its first enrollment. So, with the question, is it true or is it false? The Education High School consisted of 370 students on its first enrollment. So, the answer is false. There were only 361 students in the first enrollment of the Education High School. There were 10 sections in the first year and 2 sections for the second year and the third year. For question number 8, where is the Education High School located inside the university? Di natin malalaman kung alam nyo ba well ang ating campus. So, is it Albertus Manus Building, Piato Angelico Building, or St. Martin de Porres Building, or Roque Ruano Building? So, itong sa mga building na to, saan nga ba matatagpuan ang Education High School inside the campus? So, the answer is, together with the College of Education, the USD Education High School houses inside the Albertus Manus building located near the Laxon Gate. Okay, for question number 9, when did the USD Education High School commence? Again, the question is, when did the USD Education High School commence? Is it 1950? Is it 1960? Is it 1970? Or is it 1980? Malalaman natin ang kasagutan sa itong tanong. So dito, more on history to guys. So when did the USD Education High School commence? Is it 1950, 1960, 70, or 80s? So the answer is... 1950. So, classes in the Education High School commenced on the August 1, 1950 during the time of Rector Magnificus Reverend Father Angel de Blas OP through the help of the Dean of the College of Education Reverend Father Arielo Balbuena and Mrs. Caridad Z. Sevilla, the EHS principal and the different critic teachers of the College of Education. And it is now time for our USD related news question for the day. Three students from the College of Blank reaped distinctions in the 20th Mark Crofts Marketing and Sales Program. Is it the Education, Accountancy, Commerce and Business Administration, or the Tourism and Hospitality Management? So which from the three students from the College of Blank reaped distinction in the 20th Mark Crofts Marketing and Sales Program? So the answer is they are from the... College of Accountancy. On February 24, 2024, three students from the USD Alfredo M. Velayo College of Accountancy reaped distinctions in the 20th Mark Crofts Marketing and Sales Program after the eight-week boot camp. Okay, tina natin kung namaintain nga ba ng ating mga players ang kanilang streak. Malalaman natin yan sa ating scoreboard maya-maya lamang. I hope nag-enjoy kayo at nalaman nyo ang inyong mga different facts and informations para sa ating USD Education High School at College of Education. Siyempre, with streak, malalaman natin yung different facts with different um, universities. So, malalaman natin, kagaya ngayon, College of Education, tsaka USD Education High School, nalaman natin kung saan nga ba sila located, 
ano nga ba yung nagsisilbing kanilang mga core values, ano nga ba yung kanilang mga differences, at the same time, ano nga ba yung kanilang mga similarities. So, with a set of 10 questions kanina, tingnan natin kung talagang napatunayan nyo na, na, kaya, na alam na alam ninyo ang different facts and informations about a college of education. So, that is indeed a streak of wins for our Tamashians. Kakaiba talaga ang spirit and aura ninyo when it comes to games. Talagang laban, laban kung laban. We hope you enjoyed this day's episode. But before we end, let's give a big round of applause to our incredible contestants who brought their top tier game today. Congratulations to all of you guys. Let's rev up our excitement as we unveil who dominated the scoreboard. So, congratulations for the third place, Tim.ab. For the second place, Angge.ofad. And for the first place, Tinan natin kung sino ang nag-streak, Andy.ofad. Congratulations for scoring 7 out of 10. Again, congratulations, Andy.ofad, for getting the highest points among all of our players today. Again, you may claim your prize at the communications bureau that's on the 12th floor of BG Pop. So, reminder lang ulit na the claiming of prize is only until 3 p.m. within the day. Please take a screenshot of your Kahoot win ngayon and present it along with your USD ID for confirmation and verification. Again, congratulations to our winner, Andy.Fan. So, guys, congratulations sa mga nanalo. Make sure to tingnan natin ang ating mga um, next episodes of Streaks along the week. And syempre, next week, abangan din natin ang ating mga Mananalo. So guys, abangan nyo lamang ito sa ating mga TV screens across different lobbies around the campus. Tinan natin dahil mananalo kayo ng different prizes dito sa streak. So pwede nyo yain yung mga friends, inyong family, pwede nyo ilibre. So kayo lang ka mag-claim ng prize dahil kailangan ng inyong mga ID for verification. So yain ninyo ang inyong mga friends, org mates na maglaro ng streak sa different campus around UST. So malalaman natin ang winners next tomorrow sa susunod na mga araw ito. Guys, if you guys want to be our next streak live winner, make sure to tune into your lobby's TV screens and in your respective colleges or faculty buildings and make sure to participate in our Kahoot game every day. Super easy, super simple and super dali lang manalo ng mga papremyo. And again, to all bring on the Roar applicants, head on to USD Tiger TV and USD Tiger Radio social media pages because the results are already out. Hashtag work with TMN. Congratulations. So guys, sa mga nanalo, sa, sa mga nanalo at nang, ang natanggap na applicants for um, the recent applications for TMN, congratulations. We can't wait to work with you guys. Siyempre, maraming mga hinandang onboarding activities ang aming organization to welcome you all dito sa atin, sa Tiger Media Network. Maraming mga um, fam organizations na nakakatang... Maraming mga organizations ang kagaya ng TMN pero nothing is like TMN. So congratulations. Hashtag work with TMN. Once again, I am Patrick Maya and this is Streak, ang larong susubok sa inyong pagkatomasino. See you tomorrow, Tigers! Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> it's uh, exhilarating. And <laughs> congratulations! Host for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy Drew Time. This is Tiger TV's The Country's Mind.
reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. dance organization of the faculty of engineering and is composed of engineering to machines. passionate students can perform to entertain, refine their talent, and dance to relieve stress.
So, kung nangyayin na ba yung palaging growing na some group and food trip dates with your friends? Well, nakulayan man yan, o hindi, wouldn't you guys want to experience another super sarap at super sulit na kainan near USD? If your answer is yes, well, do I have good news for you? Because for today, mayroon tayong babalikan. But wait, last season, nakayating na tayo dito para tigman na kaya lang kung yung meals. But for this episode, get ready for a mouth-watering experience as we continue to explore what they have to offer. But before anything else, I'm Kyle Victoria. And I am Alexandria Brilla, and we're bringing you back to Sura Korean Unlimited GUI for the first episode of Saan? 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 Saan tayo kakain? By the way, I'm Chef Christian. Isa po sa chef dito sa Sura, sa Pinobal. Ang ang tinasilog po namin is cheaper at saka pinaka-twist po namin sa silog po is pouch egg po siya, kaya po healthy po yung silog po namin. Yay, Alex! And dito na naman tayo sa favorite nating port. And as you can see, I'm really excited to try out the food that we have right here. From their 99 peso silogs to their kimchi fried rice and chicken wings. At makakalimutan ba natin ang all-time favorite samgyupsal? Talaga namang mapapangiti ka sa sarap, di ba? You're right. And you know what? Just by talking and thinking about the food, it's already way enough to fill my heart and my tummy. So ano pa bang hinihintay natin? Tara! Kain tayo! Kita mo, Kyle, di ba? They use poached eggs instead of sunny side up eggs para sa silogs, which is healthy. Yeah, which I find really unique. It's not like the first time I see a top silog with that. And you know, the seasick is really, it's really meaty and it's kind of crispy to the touch. You know, after the second bite, that's where you break down how it actually tastes like. It's kind of spicy, but it's not that spicy, you know? So brown meaty ng kanilang samgyupsal and you can really taste the distinct taste of sesame oil and sesame seeds above it. It's very savory and hindi siya maamang. Sweet and just enough uh, savory flavor. Right. And you know, I transfer it to the bacon. It's really crispy and it's really kind of sweet. It has a very great aftertaste, you know. It's not like every bacon that we try. It, it has this Korean mix into it, which I find really great. Especially if it's a Korean place, right? It kind of just makes sense. Again, their sausage is very tasty because they put it on the sesame oil, which is very distinct, not the oil flavor. And now I will try also this beauty. Oh, I'm going to be trying this one with Lisa. And let's see what's in it. The kimchi fried rice is very spicy and you can really taste the pagka fermented ng kimchi because it's not the maalat. It's very sour and it matches the taste and spices used here in their kimchi fried rice. And you know what, Alex? I tried this longanisa and all I can say is that it's busted, you know? It's my favorite one so far. Okay, so I will try this in it. So, Alright, I'm gonna be trying the poached eggs now because you know I find it unique, like I said, and it's like my first time trying this with something else. So, crispy on chicken and so buttery flavor, na to. very tasty, and it really matches the kimchi fried rice. Wow, that poached egg—it's really new to my palate, but it's really nice, you know. This place gives you a lot of options for new things to try. So, ito yung tasu na naman nila. Mmm! It's sweet, but not too sweet. Sobrang sakto niya lang again with their silog rice. I'm gonna try the chicken now. Mmm! It's really crispy. And the nunuot yung lasa niya. Especially if, especially if kahit onti lang yung kadat mo. It's really tasty. At may hita mo naman, di ba? Sobrang meaty ng kanilang shomai. So, we're gonna try it. Oh, matas na understand sa shomai, especially for USD people, right? Yes. Mahilig ka shomai rice. But this one, di ba? Sobrang meaty again. And let's taste if it matches their silog rice. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be trying another kind of chicken. You know, they have a lot of chicken here. And so far, sa lahat ng natikman ko, lahat sila masarap. And let's find out about this one. 
kanilang somay is saktong sakto sa silog. It matches the fragrance and of course, again, matches well with the post. The chicken, all of the chicken that they have is really consistent, you know. There's this aftertaste that's gonna be having you to eat some rice so that you can remove it. It's really great. So far, it's my favorite one. So far, I really like the Angarisa. It got me saying the word buzzing. <laughs> I love it. It's really soft and the taste is... It's gonna, it's giving me flashbacks from my province and stuff like that. I'm really this Samgyeopsal because, of course, this is a Samgyeopsal place. And fusion of Filipino cuisine and Korean cuisine with some gipsal and the fried rice. And again, instead of sunny side of eggs, they use both eggs. And that's it for another Sulit Syrup Meal for us here in Sura. Talagang mapatanong ka na lang talaga kung saan ka madadala ng 99 pesos mo. Ikaw ba, Alex? Sure ako hindi lang ako yung nabusog at nag-enjoy for today's video. So, what if let's just tell our fellow Tabashites our verdict? Talaga namang swak na swak at sulit na sulit kumain dito, especially this season of love, di ba? You can bring your family, friends, and loved ones here. Kaya naman, we believe that Sura Korean Unlimited Gooey deserves a saan tayo kakain na proof sticker. Well, because the place is incredibly comfortable. It also feels like home, especially when you're eating the rice meals. It feels like it's homemade. And it gets better when you're eating with the people you love the most. And of course, if you want to satisfy your Korean cravings, not super sarap, at for an affordable price, you can visit Sura Korean Unlimited Goon. So, ano bang hinihintay niyo, Sebastians? Visit Sura here in front of USD Gate 7. Take note that they are open from 10 a.m. to 12 midnight every day. Kita kits, Tabashans! See you again for another episode of Sulit Sara Food Trips Around USB. Once again, I am Alexandria Virilia. I am Kyle Victoria. At ngayon, alam niyo na kung saan! 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 Saan tayo kakain! It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> it's so <laughs> exhilarating. <laughs> Congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not 
use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! We all know what a fire is, don't we? Yeah. It destroys properties, it harms people, it can even claim lives. Not cool, right? So the question is, how can you protect yourself from fires, especially when you are inside the campus? The answer? Fire extinguisher! But the big question is, do you know how to use it? There are typically four different types of sources of fire that you need to be familiar with. Type A involves the combustibles like wood, paper, and cloth. Type B involves flammable liquids. Type C involves live electrical and electronic equipment. And Type D involves the combustible metals like aluminum. So let's cut to the chase. Here's a how-to-do video on the proper use of a fire extinguisher just in case you know. First, make sure you stand 6 to 8 feet away from the fire. That is in order to protect you from the heat and possible burns. Follow this 4-step procedure which we call PASS. Letter P is for PULL. Pull the pin to unlock the operating lever. This allows you to discharge the extinguisher. Next is the letter A for AIM. Make sure you aim the extinguisher nozzle or hose at the base of the fire. The first letter S is for squeeze. Squeeze the lever. This discharges the extinguishing agent and releasing the lever will stop the discharge. The second S is for sweep. Keep the extinguisher aimed at the base of the fire and sweep left to right until the flames appear to be out. Once the fire has been extinguished, make sure to watch the fire area. Again, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, and S is for sweep. Oh, by the way, make sure to always check the tag and expiry dates of each extinguishers before using them. So in times of fire, just stay safe and calm. Because now more than ever, you already know what you're supposed to do. Now how cool is that, huh? Here are some fire safety tips in the event of a fire.
Grab the closest fire extinguisher available in your area. Just make sure that it is the correct type and class appropriate to extinguish a fire. Be vigilant. Always report incidents of fire, whether big or small, to your dean's office, security, or the facility's management office. If you think it already seems uncontrollable, call for help and activate the fire alarm systems which will sound the building siren. After which, evacuate immediately. In an event that your clothes catches fire, stop what you're doing. Drop to the ground and cover your face if you can. Roll over and over or back and forth until the flame goes out. Do not run. Running will only make the fire burn faster. In case you are trapped in a room, feel the doorknob with the back of your hand. If it feels hot, fire may be on the other side of the door, so keep it shut. Retreat away from the door. Close as many doors as possible between you and the fire. Seal cracks or any other opening from the door to prevent the smoke from coming inside your room. That is to avoid suffocation. Try to communicate using your phones or any other means to inform others about your situation. Signal for help by hanging or placing an object on the window that can attract responders' attention. When evacuating, walk quickly but do not run. Never use the elevators. If smoke, heat, or flames block exit routes, stay in the room with the door closed. If you get caught in smoke, get down and crawl taking short breaths through the nose. Cleaner and cooler air will be near the floor, so get low and go. Do not lag behind or return to the room to get your personal belongings. Upon exiting the building, follow the instruction of the marshals and immediately proceed to your assigned evacuation area. Report any missing or trapped person to the authorized emergency personnel. And report any injured person to the Crisis Management Committee, First Aiders, or the Security. Remember, fire safety is of utmost importance and being prepared and knowing what to do can save lives. Stay safe and alert to Mashins! My name is Brian Comarsi. And I am Justin Jan H. Rosales. And I am Steven Dominguez. And we are from USC Golden Sharks. And we are here to play This or That. This, this. early morning. Early morning. Um, sa akin, ano, kasi maraming time. Para sa akin naman, early morning kasi mahirap mag-training ng gabi. Uh, halos walang makita, tapos eh, yung sa USD pa, walang lights to, to, to train in the night time. So, 
Sa akin din, uh, morning training kasi kapag gabi, parang pinatamad na ako. Gusto ko na lang matulog. Tama. So, mm, this ako, para sa akin. Para sa akin. Sa akin. Para sa akin, kaya ako gusto ko sa pitch kasi masaya eh, para sa akin. Tapos mahilig kasi ako parang pag ganun, nagmamind games. Parang nilalaro ko yung kalaban, ganun. Tapos wala lang, interesting para sa akin yun. Ikaw, sa akin ano? That. Kasi mas challenging pag nakakatsyo ng ball. Sobrang parang may lagi nilang may highlights pa doon. Mind games. Uh, sa akin din, uh, that. Kasi marami na akong experience na winning catch of the game. So, yun. Yun. So, um, yun. Tama. <laughs> highlights na. This. That ako, that. This. Ay! Championship ko yung this, no? This. This. <coughs> sa akin ano, this. Kasi... Mas mahalaga yung championship kasi para sa team yun. Compare dun sa MVP. Nagyaw ko naman yung sasabihin ko. Uh, no, championship. Yun rin yung para sa akin. Kasi pagka championship, syempre, parang nanalo yung buong team. And mas masaya para sa akin yung ganun. Kasi kung MVP, edi ibig sabihin, ako lang nanalo. Pero ayoko naman ang ganun. Uh, sa akin, this, kasi hindi naman ako makasarili. Uh, gusto ko pare-pares kaming panalo. <laughs> Eh, kasi okay. pag nag-champion ka, parang kang naging naging MVP nyo. Tama. Parang nakikihigo po lang nyo ng MVP. Tsaka <laughs> pag champion lahat tayo MVP. Bawo. Ang ating naman nun. <laughs> oh, may paksiw. Ay, ang... Um, Yung sa akin nilang ano? Jersey kasi. Jersey na lang. That. Ah, hindi dati. Kasi yung ano eh. May hirap yung amoy. May paksi na yun. Ang hirap na amoy, ano na yun, kinabukasan eh. Sa akin. This. This ako. Fast rally speed. Strength sa akin. Or ano na eh, parang endurance din. Pero tatagal ka sa game pag malakas ka. Saka, kaya mong sumabay kahit ganyan. Para sa akin naman, faster running speed kasi may importante sa baseball yung maliksi gumalaw eh. So, pag mabilis ka, kahit, kahit hindi malakas braso mo, basta mabilis ka or maganda rin timing mo, makokompensate. Parang ano, panampalo ka. Akin mo. Sa akin, uh, faster running speed kasi sa baseball, mahalaga yung speed kasi uh, pag mabagal ka, parang wala, doon ka na lang sa team B. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Tapos ka talaga. Takbo ka na lang papunta doon. That ends our fun game of this or that. Once again, my name is Justin John H. Rosales. I'm Steven Dominguez. And I am Brian Comarsi. If you want more sports-filled fun and action, do not miss the chance and tune in at UST Tiger TV. Experience great is here at the USS Premier Sports Show, The Front Runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! Ah! Congratulations! 
host for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar, USD Tiger Radio. The USD Engineering Dance Troupe is the recognized dance organization of the Faculty of Engineering and is composed of engineering dimensions. of pride, strength, courage, and humor, the USD EDT is an organization that provides an environment for creative self-expression where the dance passionate students can perform to entertain, refine their talent, and dance to relieve stress.
in the previous episode of Hometown Vlogs, we embarked on a journey to explore the four corners of USD. After we started the latest season by going to the bustling streets of the Pita. In this episode, we will move towards a more harsh side of our university. Moving from the place she's known her whole life to the looming towers of Manila, Colleen shares with us how she navigated through her university life as someone who lives near the university. This is Hometown Vlogs. Growing up in Taytay, I had many firsts na nangyari doon. And sa bawat sulok ng Taytay, uh, meron akong memory. Something memorable na babalik-balikan ko talaga. Memories like nung high school talaga, nung teenager talaga ako. Talagang I was out there with my friends, uh, exploring all kinds of stuff. Quite formally, Taytay is the garment capital of the Philippines. So, Ang daming murang damit, ang daming murang tela, ang daming murang table runners and stuff. But uh, recently lang, uh, dumadami yung coffee shops actually na nagbubukas sa Taytay. And kahit saan ka talaga tumingin, merong either may cafe, may nagbebenta lang ng coffee, or kahit, you know, like online orders. Ang dami talaga, they're everywhere. But for me, what I think about, what I think, stands out the most sa Taytay is the culture and the oneness of the people there. And that's why uuwi at uuwi talaga ako sa Taytay. Colleen is someone who enjoys socializing outdoors with her peers. And she uses this as a way for her to adapt to the stark differences between her hometown and Manila. Yung pagiging gala ko every after class, sometimes during class. But, yeah, uh, kung anong ginagawa ko dati, nung high school ako, talagang nadala ko siya dito sa ngayong college na ako. And, yeah, siguro lumayo lang. <laughs> I moved last August 2023, so recent lang. And although I can live alone, I can attest to that, I just can't. Stay still, I guess, doon sa dorm ko kasi I, I keep going back home. Nakapag-adjust ako in a way na 18 years old pa lang kasi ako. Actually, teenager pa lang talaga ako. Tinatrain ako ng mother ko na maging independent, living alone, uh, doing house chores, doing all, respons uh, doing all responsibilities, ganun. And ay, nadala ko talaga siya dito. And kahit, yes, I can hold myself up. Uh, I still want to go home, actually, <laughs> every time. Quiet, but accessible to essentials, Laxon is actually a place that covers all your needs. True enough, Laxon, ano nga naman siya, it's a peculiar place. Talagang iba siya compared dun sa tatlong corners ng USC. But I like Laxon kasi tahimik siya. And compared dun sa tatlong corners ka naman, na medyo busy talaga, medyo mas busy talaga. Sa Lacson, mas malawak yung pathway mo, yung walkway. And sa Lacson, mas tahimik, although ang daming ambulansya kasi may hospital. Um, yeah, it's, it's I, I would choose Lacson actually over any of the three, any of the four uh, corners of USP. It can be a pain to be away from the place we call home, especially one that we've known for most of our lives. But that doesn't mean that we cannot find a sense of belonging in other places we live in. Laxon may not be the most frequented side of USD, but it certainly has that quirkiness that has grown on its residents, allowing them to appreciate solitude by living there. In Lacson, although hindi pa ako gaano katagal na nakatira dyan, uh, it became my home kasi there were times talaga na pagod na pagod ako from school. And yun talaga yung mga vulnerable moments, you know. And 
having to go to my home in Lacson during those moments na hindi ko na talaga kaya umuwi doon sa bahay namin sa Taytay. It's just, parang it gives you a sense of comfort, gives you a sense of home, and mag-aibo sila ng Taytay, yes. But they're both home to me. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar, USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. Santayo kakain. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy through time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio. It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself 
by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! We all know what a fire is, don't we? Yeah. It destroys properties, it harms people, it can even claim lives. Not cool, right? So the question is, how can you protect yourself from fires, especially when you are inside the campus? The answer? Fire extinguisher! But the big question is, do you know how to use it? There are typically four different types of sources of fire that you need to be familiar with. Type A involves the combustibles like wood, paper, and cloth. Type B involves flammable liquids. Type C involves live electrical and electronic equipment. And type D involves the combustible metals like aluminum. So let's cut to the chase. Here's a how to do video on the proper use of a fire extinguisher just in case, you know. First, make sure you stand 6 to 8 feet away from the fire. That is in order to protect you from the heat and possible burns. Follow this 4-step procedure which we call PASS. Letter P is for PULL. Pull the pin to unlock the operating lever. This allows you to discharge the extinguisher. Next is the letter A for AIM. Make sure you aim the extinguisher nozzle or hose at the base of the fire. The first letter S is for squeeze. Squeeze the lever. This discharges the extinguishing agent and releasing the lever will stop the discharge. The second S is for sweep. Keep the extinguisher aimed at the base of the fire and sweep left to right until the flames appear to be out. Once the fire has been extinguished, make sure to watch the fire area. Again, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, and S is for sweep. Oh, by the way, make sure to always check the tag and expiry dates of each extinguishers before using them. So in times of fire, just stay safe and calm. Because now more than ever, you already know what you're supposed to do. Now how cool is that, huh?
Here are some fire safety tips in the event of a fire. Grab the closest fire extinguisher available in your area. Just make sure that it is the correct type and class appropriate to extinguish a fire. Be vigilant. Always report incidents of fire, whether big or small, to your dean's office, security, or the facilities management office. If you think it already seems uncontrollable, call for help and activate the fire alarm systems which will sound the building siren. After which, evacuate immediately. In an event that your clothes catches fire, stop what you're doing. Drop to the ground and cover your face if you can. Roll over and over or back and forth until the flame goes out. Do not run. Running will only make the fire burn faster. In case you are trapped in a room, feel the doorknob with the back of your hand. If it feels hot, fire may be on the other side of the door, so keep it shut. Retreat away from the door. Close as many doors as possible between you and the fire. Seal cracks or any other opening from the door to prevent the smoke from coming inside your room. That is to avoid suffocation. Try to communicate using your phones or any other means to inform others about your situation. Signal for help by hanging or placing an object on the window that can attract responders' attention. When evacuating, walk quickly but do not run. Never use the elevators. If smoke, heat, or flames block exit routes, stay in the room with the door closed. If you get caught in smoke, get down and crawl taking short breaths through the nose. Cleaner and cooler air will be near the floor, so get low and go. Do not lag behind or return to the room to get your personal belongings. Upon exiting the building, follow the instruction of the marshals and immediately proceed to your assigned evacuation area. Report any missing or trapped person to the authorized emergency personnel. And report any injured person to the crisis management committee, first aiders, or the security. Remember, fire safety is of utmost importance and being prepared and knowing what to do can save lives. Stay safe and alert to Mashins! Exploring and embracing different cultures is truly a way to live and grow as an individual. By stepping outside of our comfort zones, we get to see so much more. Hey Tigers, I am Casey Turtem and welcome back to another episode of Culture Shock. College is a place for studying and gaining new experiences. But as they say, true learning begins outside the four corners of our classroom. Or for those who still study online, the four corners of our laptops. And of course, through connecting with other countries, we can unleash our fullest potential and celebrate our cultural diversities, which can certainly make us grow. Now, with brave hearts and souls, today's guests grabbed the once-in-a-lifetime experience and became exchange students in the United States. Through the help of the Fulbright Scholarship, they embarked on a new journey, broadening their horizons and discovering the beauty of learning and life outside the country. With much joy, today we have Laika Gabriel Terado and Paolo Alejandrino, Global U Grad Scholars of Fulbright. So hello guys, kamusta naman kayo? I know it's been a while since you guys came back here in the Philippines. So ano ba yung pinaka-na-miss nyo about our country? 
Well, for me, of course, I missed everything in the Philippines. Pero while I was in the United States, since I'm in an exchange program, sabi ko sa sarili ko, Pilipinas, babalikan naman kita. So while I was there, I was cherishing every single moment. For me, I really missed the warmth of the Filipino culture and the Filipino family. But then, when I was there, I was just savoring the moment and feeling gratitude for all the experiences that I experienced in the U.S. Yeah, those are very nice experiences. Like, parang ramdam ko kung paano yun at cherish and na enjoy yung experience nyo in the United States. And I can't wait to hear more about it. But of course, starting off, can you give us a brief description or background of what the Fulbright Foundation is para mas malinawan tayo today? And of course, I know that all of our viewers are very much curious about it since we all know studying abroad can be very costly and of course, a lot of sacrifices, di ba? So, ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng Fulbright and ano-ano ba ang mga scholarships na meron sila? I think one of the scholarships is the Humphrey Fellow Scholarship, the Foreign Teaching Language Assistance Scholarship, and one of them is the Global Undergraduate Scholarship where, where we're part of, the, the Global Undergraduate Exchange Program. Um, the Fulbright Commission is actually the Philippine American Education um, Associate, uh, Foundation. And the Fulbright Commission is actually from all over the world. Even the U.S. have Fulbright Commission. While well, the Fulbright Commission accepts the applications and they process it, and then they submit it to the U.S. Department of State who will fund our scholarships. Wow, so it means that there are a lot of different scholarships available for different people with Fulbright. So following up on that, what made you choose the scholarship that you guys applied to? Did you guys always eyed and waited for it? Or parang biglaan lang siya and ginrab nyo na lang agad yung opportunity? Ako, my experience why I chose to become part of the Global Undergraduate Exchange Program of Fulbright Philippines and the United States Department. Um, I think I was just scrolling through Facebook and I saw this post that says, uh, we're looking for um, scholars, undergraduate uh, students in the Philippines. So, baka uh, pwede ka dito. So, I looked at the eligibility requirements um, and I fit in in every single thing. So, um, with the Global Undergraduate Exchange Program, like and I are both part of that, it is for undergraduate uh, students. Unlike the other programs of Fulbright Philippines, they're more geared towards uh, masters, PhD, and visiting researchers. Wow, so you just happened to stumble by on it by chance. Yeah, that's... that's I guess it was meant to be for you talaga, I ba? guess, I guess. Mm -mm. How about you, Laika? In my case, uh, a friend sent me uh, an application for YCLE. When I looked through the application, uh, it was already ended. It was not even extended, so I was like kind of sad about it. But when I scrolled through the YCLE uh, Facebook group, I saw that there were accepting applications for Global UGrad, and I tried to look into the eligibility criteria, and I fit in, and then I went for the application. What's meant for you will definitely find you nga naman. <laughs> oh, talagang, wow, it, it just happens by chance nga talaga. No? It's not something that you always kind of uh, take a look at, na parang abang-abang ka, pero it's something that you just saw and maybe why not go for it, diba? And here you guys are with more experiences and of course memorable experiences pa nga from uh, outside our country, diba? So now, since of course we are on the topic of applying for it, for of going for it and applications, ano naman ang qualifications na kinakailangan yung mamit and what requirements were asked of you? Let's start with you, Pao. In the case of Global U Grad Scholarship, for us, very easy lang yung criteria. Number one, you must be a Filipino citizen, bawal yung dual citizen. Number two, you must be um, an undergraduate student and kailangan meron ka pang pagbalik mo sa Pilipinas meron ka pang remaining semesters at hindi rin pwedeng fresh ka uh, kaka uh, punta mo pa lang sa college uh, third you must have um, character references recommendation letters you must have good academic standings and it varies from various programs uh, this is the global u grad scholarship requirements and um, aside from that, you must accomplish the essay and then the application itself. It's very easy. Wow, it's very easy. But for me, parang, hala, parang nahihirapan ako din sa mga qualifications. Um, uh, do you guys have 
uh, similar requirements considering that you guys come from different programs? Is is it just similar? Kahit na it's, a, it's a similar requirements. Um, the Global UGRAD is open for any kind of um, college programs. So I am a medical technology student. He's a communication arts major. So um, they try to match you in the universities that could um, cater to your interests and to your program. They try to match your credits as much as possible if they allow it. Um, and it comes to requirements, I would say it's straightforward. But personally for me, um, it was kind of challenging trying to acquire a personal recommendation letters and academic recommendation letters from professors, especially when we applied it was during the online classes and the professors didn't really know us. So what I did, I emailed all of my professors containing my draft of the recommendation letter and my CV for the reference. And I was really thankful that two of my professors replied and they um, answered to my request and thankfully I'm here because of their help. Yeah. So despite those parang very challenging and considering nga talaga na it was during the pandemic so it was really hard to connect with your professors and gather uh, character references as you stated. So now aside from the qualifications and requirements what were the other things that you needed to prepare in order to become an exchange student with the help of Fulbright. So can you walk us through the process of what did you what else did you do other than the qualifications and requirements? So um apart from if you heard the, the first selection screening process once you've submitted everything from the application forms, the the, the grades, the transcript of records, the references from your professors or advisors, and then you accomplish the essay. Then they select it, and then after your interview, dito yung medyo crucial na part because this is where they ask tough questions. If you if you're a leader, if you have the potential to become one, what what are your plans with this program? Do we align with the program objectives, with the goal of Fulbright Philippines, of the program itself, of Global UGrad? And I think that's one of the crucial parts. But aside from that, once you go through that process, the interview process, and then and then they select you again, parang they also have this um, TOEFL, the T O E F L. It's an English proficiency um, examination to test your English abilities if you can converse in English once you go there. So that's the technical aspect of it. But aside from that, um, it's more of the the mental, emotional preparations, I must say. I agree. <laughs> it was kind of hard, especially. Um, you were trying to build your character, even though you're not in the U.S. yet. Um, you, you process your medical examination, your medical clearance. You try to message people, can I ask for um, your help in order to get an institutional support letter? And of course, like transcript records is not very easy. I mean, it's easy to get, but it's... Um, you have to patiently wait for your papers. Um, and also, I think trying to run and sweating can build your character that, okay, I have the tenacity to get through this. And once you get to the U.S., um, you get, you're get you more grateful for the experience. You know what you came from. And you came from trying to run from different buildings just to finish your papers. Yeah. So it's more of ano talaga, mental, emotional, everything. Not just the physical list of requirements that you mo off the box. So Fulbright Philippines is really helpful with, with that aspect as well. Wow, so here am I uh, thinking that the essay and you know the gathering of character references was challenging, but it becomes even more challenging in the interview process and of course the technical aspects of it. And as you guys have said, the emotional and uh, the emotional and mental preparation. So Grabe. And I believe it was all worth it, of course, deba. So, all right. Thank you so much, Paolo and Laika. Now, we have a better understanding about what is Fulbright and how one becomes a scholar like Paolo and Laika. But this doesn't end here because later, we will talk about their memorable experiences in the U.S. during their term. So, don't go yet and keep on watching.
York City. back and you guys are still watching culture shock and we are still with our full bright scholars paulo and laika so after learning the requirements and the process it's time for us to know the fun stuff or yung mga naging experiences nila so let's talk about your learning experiences first so for laika Um, how different is the curriculum and teaching methods in the U.S. compared here in the Philippines? So, may difference ba, especially with your program? And are there any learning or teaching practices that you think would be great if we apply natin dito sa Philippines? I think in uh, in my case, I took uh, since I am a medical technology student. There, I major in public health. I took classes in laboratory medicine and biology. Um, I think the classes there are more lenient. The professors are more lenient. They are more understanding when it comes to emailing like, Sir, I'm not really feeling well today. Even though it's not physical wellness, you're talking about mental well-being. Um, also, they, they mentor their students generously. And they have career fairs wherein you, um, students, even though they haven't graduated yet, they can go there, have a handshake interview with their um, potential um, employers, and they can hand in their resumes and try to see if this um, company fits for me or something like that. And also, I think um, in some of my subjects, um, they invite speakers over uh, that are uh, professionals. For example, they invite the speakers in histotechnology and uh, endocrinology, and they talked about about their career paths. And if we're interested, then they're willing to mentor us and allow us to shadow them for a while. So yeah, it was really nice. So I guess in short. The professors there are very much hands-on, not only academically but also with the well-being of the students. And of course, um, it doesn't stop there. They even go uh, as far as you know, giving you guys the career opportunities for your field. So that's very nice to hear. Now, for you, Paolo, may we get a glimpse of what happens in the life of a Fulbright scholar by giving us something like. A day or week in your life during your stay in the U.S. So, what are the highlights? So, go off your stay. Okay. Um, I must preface this by saying that it varies from person to person, from your college or campus. Because, uh, for like and I were in different states, different schools, kanyan. But um, a day in my life, it's not all glitz and glamour. Parang kasi ang perception pagka na sa Pilipinas ka, ah, na sa ibang bansa ka exchange student ka. Uh, siguro puro aral ka lang, ang uh, galing-galing mo na, parang wala kang inatupag kundi uh, mag-aral, ganyan. But I think a day in my life or a week in my life is a balance of um, academics, extracurriculars, as well as having fun, learning cultures. Because the program of Global UGRAD isn't just an academic, um, yes, it's an academic endeavor, but it's not only that, it's also a cultural Um, exchange between the United States and the Philippines. So, in a way, we're cultural ambassadors of the Philippines. And I'm glad that um, in a week or a month uh, that we're there, na parang share namin yung culture namin to other people. So, my program, it's a term. So, four or five months, usually. So, in that uh, span of time, I was able to cook for them. Uh, I was able to to share a few words, phrases in Filipino. I was able to to share um, my culture um, in Bulacan, ano yung mga delicacies, ano yung mga ginagawa natin dito sa Philippines. So that's probably the highlights. That's what I do apart from academics. So you get to share our culture and of course, um, have a glimpse of the culture of others who yes. whom you're with, diba? So how about you, Laika? Do you have any other experiences that you'd like to share with us? Um, I would say I also cooked for one um, one dinner. It was an international team dinner. And for that night, we had Filipino. I volunteered and I cooked for like, I think, eight hours, like two days, kind of, sort of. Um, I cooked palabok. 
because I thought like, okay, something unique because you always knew adobo, pancit or something like that. So I thought like, okay, I'll do palabok. And then I went, I mean, Lupiang Shanghai, of course, and then palitao. And then when I search what palabok means or pancit luglug means or like what palitao means, why is it called like that? I learned so much about my culture and I appreciated more. And when people are like, who, oh, what? That is what it means. Like pancit luglog is because of how it was cooked, it was blanched, or pancit palabok because because of the toppings, or palita because you allow it to float for it to cook, and it's really nice because even though I left the U.S., I think I'm still a cultural ambassador because online my friends would see ah you went to this uh uh tourist spot, what do you think about it? Oh come over if you're here in the Philippines or to I'll tour you around or something like that. So it's a continuous process, and you have like long lasting and long Long-lasting friendships, yeah. Wait, so I was interested in you cook palabok? Yes. So did you know how to cook palabok when you Not were here? Not at all. I think Simple wow. Kitchen for Uh-oh. teaching me how to do it. Mm. And I actually surprised that I nailed it. <laughs> Yeah, because of course, as students, not all of us really learned how to cook, especially as Gen Zs. Yeah. So how about you, Paolo? What did you cook? Um, it's not the best adobo or sinigang, but adobo and sinigang, of course, they're very much staple Filipino food. Pero just like what Laika said, uh, let me just add na parang it's not us just learning about American culture just because we're in the United States. We I also gained parang a deeper appreciation of my own culture because. I am able to share it. Because pag dito sa Pilipinas, parang there's cultural exchange, paren, of course, but with fellow Filipinos. But when you exchange it with other nationalities, such as Americans, as well as with other international students, parang nagakaroon ka ng deeper appreciation, understanding of what being a Filipino means. In our case, cooking Filipino food, yeah, such as sinigang or adobo. I actually appreciate how like cooking in the kitchen brings different cultures and nationality together because when I volunteered to cook Filipino night, um, some of my international friends volunteered to help. Like I have a Mexican friend from Dominican Republic and it was really nice because they tried to learn and see the different the differences and the similarities in our cuisine and in their own, especially they're also Hispanic. And also I have a friend from Hong Kong and China who also helped out and they say, oh, we also have spring rolls in um in, in our country, so it was nice. Yeah. That is so nice. And I just want to say that I want to taste what you guys cooked for them as well, okay? So let's set that up for another time <laughs> because that is so interesting. And you know, when you're here in the Philippines, you really don't, don't get to cook much because you have our lolas, our titas, and our moms to do that for us. And when you're there, it's like you are really a representative of our country and you have to you know, do what we do best, which is, you know, cooking. One of the things that we do best. So with that, summing up our interview for today, can you guys give any last tips or messages to the Thamashians who are aspiring to be a Fulbright scholar? So let's start with you, Laika. I think I would always go back to what my kind friend always told me, that you have to conquer your two mountains. So the first mountain is like... um recognizing your weaknesses, overcoming your struggles and your fears, and uh, recognizing your potentials and working over with your strengths. And the second uh, mountain that you have to conquer is the impact that you want to create with the world. So I think that applies for my whole experience, that I have to overcome my fear of rejection, self-sabotaging, and perfectionism in order to give back to people, especially that I have so much time and talent and treasure to offer to other people. Wow, and I think that advice does not only apply to those aspiring Fulbright scholars, but to everyone who just simply wants to go out of their comfort zone, right? So how about you, Pao? Ako naman, uh, parang same thing with her. Pero this one, I tried to apply it same with my life. Parang to those who want to become a scholar, not just global undergraduate exchange program, um, know your purpose because knowing your purpose, uh, not just in this scholarship but in life, it will drive your ambitions, your aspirations, and even your day-to-day life. And in this application, because it's not just again the technical requirements, not just that, pero it's more of mental, emotional uh, preparations of conquering your fears, of of hurdling no, yung mga challenges along the way. So knowing your purpose will 
will drive your success in in this scholarship and in the exchange program itself. So I think that's my one piece of fi- one piece of advice if I can give to to someone. Yes, of course, because knowing your purpose, as you've said, it's your drive, it's your motivation to do it, to go and strive for it, right? So those are very nice tips and messages. And I think I myself would be remembering and using them as well in my life. So once again, thank you so much, Paolo and Laika, because your answers indeed help a lot of Fulbright scholarship aspirants. And as I've said, not only... Fulbright scholarship aspirants, but I guess all the Mashians in general, you know, those are great life advices. And now, of course, to let our minds digest all the new learnings we gained, let's have a short break and we'll be back. Hello, hello, Tigers! You guys are still tuning in to Culture Shock. At syempre, para sa mga nabitin, marami pang gustong malaman, don't worry because we got you dahil it's time for us to play Cultured or Shocked! So the mechanics of the game are super easy. You just need to raise the boards with the tag cultured or shocked after the question. So you put up the board with the word cultured if you agree with a statement and shocked if otherwise. And of course, after that, you guys will explain your answer. So are you guys ready? Ready now. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I think you guys are very much ready. So let's start with the first statement. Studying in the U.S. as a scholar is truly a transformative experience. Cultured or shocked? Cultured. Cultured. Okay. I think we all know the answer to this, but why cultured? Uh, Transformative experience because as an early career professional, as a student, undergraduate, uh, dito sa UST, it's parang a time for us to explore more, gain new friends from, from other international um, backgrounds. It was a good experience to meet long-lasting friends, but at the same time, strengthening your character as a student, as a professional, and of course, as a human being. Yeah. Wow, I really love those answers. Parang gusto ko na rin tuloy maging Fulbright Scholar. But of course, let's move on to our next statement. So, with the different ethnicities and cultures in the class, the learning experience becomes more interesting. Cultured or shocked? Culture. Cultured. Why culture? Cultured, yeah. Uh, for me, um, as a student and as an international student, actually you'll be surprised that your professors actually value your, your uh, opinion on things, especially that you come from a different perspective and you see things on a different lens of how they, how they see theirs. Um, so also interacting with different ethnicities that um, can open, broaden your mind to their own cultures. Yeah, really, diversity, inclusivity uh, goes a long way, especially in academia, because it kind of enhances and enriches the conversation, the discourse. Mm. Wow, so your learning experience is very much more open, and you get to, I guess, learn outside the realm of academics yeah. as well. So, let's continue with our third statement. The pressure of being an exchange student is higher compared to when studying here. Cultured or shocked? Mm, cultured. 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 Why cultured? Did you feel much more pressure when you were there? While I was there, medyo. Because again, as I've said, we're um, cultural ambassadors. We're kind of representing our country, the Philippines. And especially when you come back to the Philippines. Because there's this perception of you, ah, uh, naging scholar siya ng Fulbright Philippines. Dapat everything perfect. Dapat every word that this guy says means a lot. Very interesting dapat all the time. Dapat A-game. So parang yun lang yung medyo pressured on my pressure I remember on that stigma you mentioned a while ago yes, that yes. they thought that you guys are more into studying because you're an international yeah. scholar and that kind of yeah. um, perception no how about you Laika? I think one of the challenges for me is trying to maximize everything that like life there has to offer especially we only have four months in order to to seize the moment 
Um, but one of the things that really pressured me probably when I returned, I left all the opportunities there behind. That once I got back here, um, they'll be I'm more limited. But then I tried to prove that wrong otherwise. So yeah. Wow. So I guess that's another mountain for you to conquer, Deva. Right? So those are really, really nice answers. I really love, I really am loving our conversation. So with that, let's proceed to the fourth statement. So Fulbright helped me build connections that can benefit my personal life or career. Cultured, Cultured or yeah. shocked. Cultured. Cultured. So I guess all of our statements are very much agreeable, Deva. Right? All are cultured. So why? As for me, um, Fulbright Commission sometimes hosted events wherein you can um, talk to different professions that align with your interests. And I'm fortunate enough that I met some people and they said, oh, maybe we can aid you in that uh, circumstance. Just let us know or something like that. It's very helpful, especially if you're a first generation doctor, probably in the future. Um, you don't have that much connection and you need that much mentorship as you could. So, yeah. Same thing with Laika. Fulbright Philippines has been really helpful in networking events because um, the Global UGrad Scholarship doesn't end when your scholarship uh, term ends. Para pagbalik ko sa Pilipinas, tapos na hindi. It's actually just the beginning of what the program objectives and goals are because once we got back, we got so many opportunities like networking events, uh, receptions and connections with other Fulbright scholars and other industry professionals who are connected with Fulbright Philippines and the U.S. Embassy here in the Philippines. So parang it's more of um, parang industry connection na talaga. So that's what I'm really, really grateful for. Your opportunity with Fulbright is just the beginning. Yeah. Na naman. I really love that. And I guess that's to all of us. Uh, to all of our viewers who are currently watching us today, I guess this is your sign to go and conquer your mountains and find your purpose with Fulbright. So what a very entertaining yet informative segment. I really love their conversation and I could not stress that enough. So I know everyone was curious on how to be a Fulbright scholar. And for those who still want to know more about it, you can check their website on fulbright.org.ph. Again, a huge thanks to our guests today, Paolo Alejandrino and Laika Gabriel Terrado for enlightening us and sharing their experiences. Also, to to everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Culture Shock. Hit the like button on our Facebook page, UST Tiger TV, if you enjoyed today's episode and to see more of our future shows. You can also give us a follow on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok via at UST Tiger TV. That ends our episode for today. We hope you take the leap of faith to explore the possibilities beyond our classrooms and, of course, the Philippines. Thank you once again for being with us. Once again, I am Casey Turtam, your host for the show that embraces change and new experiences. This is Culture Shock. It's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. Hey, 
to Mashan's Back to School na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock! As a New Yorker, Cheris! <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain! Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's so exhilarating. Congratulations! Host for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go. The front runners. First in line, legacy through time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind. Reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is the only station where you can hear the celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the only on the station where you hear the roar, USD Tiger Radio. The UST Engineering Dance Troupe is the recognized dance organization of the Faculty of Engineering and is composed of engineering dimensions. sense of pride, strength, courage, and humor, the USD EDT is an organization that provides an environment for creative self-expression where the dance passionate students can perform to entertain, refine their talent, and dance to relieve stress.
is a biological imperative. Ibig sabihin nito, kinakailangan natin magmahal upang mabuhay. Kaya nga di ba nung sanggol pa lang tayo, kinakailangan na natin ang pagmamahal ng ating mga magulang? Tama. At sabi nga ni British psychologist na si John Bowlby that intimate attachments to other human beings are the hub around which a person's life revolves. Meaning yan, na doon tayo kumukuha ng lakas at ang enjoyment kasama ng mga kaibigan natin at yung mga relationships natin. Ngunit hindi ibig sabihin neto ay pare-parehas tayo magmahal. Kaya nga meron tayong tinatawag na different attachment styles. Ngunit ano nga ba yung mga attachment styles na ito? Well, ito yung mga specific patterns or behaviors na ina-exhibit natin sa ating mga relationships kung saan nadidiscover natin siya or nade-develop pa lang during our early childhood days. Pero si John Bowlby nakadiscover siya ng apat na klaseng attachment styles na tatalakayan natin ngayon sa episode na ito. Hey there, fighters! How are you holding up? I am Alexandria Varelia. And this is Liam Recaccio. And welcome to the Conscious Minds Super Science! For this episode, we will give some general information about the four different attachment styles. So, ang gagawin natin, Liam, is bubunot tayo dito at huhulaan natin kung anong attachment style ito. So, ready ka na ba? Ready na ready na ako, Alex. Kaya naman, bunot ka na dyan. Huhulaan ko na kung ano yan. Whoa! Drum roll, please. <laughs> Parang ang haba neto, ah. Laki nga ng papel, eh. Uy, haba definition. Okay, let's read. For this attachment style, these people find it easy to get close to others and don't fret about getting too dependent or being abandoned. As lovers, they enjoy a secure, committed relationship and their relationships tend to be satisfying and enduring. So, parang green flag naman tong attachment green, style. Green flag nga. Okay. So, ano hula mo dito, Liam? Ano hula ko dito? Doon pa lang sa word na secure, alam ko na agad kung ano yung sagot na ito. Siyempre, walang iba kundi ang secure attachment style. So, ang secure attachment style is, for example, merong mom and anak. So, syempre, there are times na nag-work si mom and, of course, kapag umaalis yung mom, that child would feel na distressed. Mm. Pero once they reunite, that child will feel relaxed or secure. Kaya nga, tinatawag siyang secure attachment style. Mm, okay, gets ko. Kaya nung kapag lumaki na sila, pagdating nung bata na yun, kapag meron na siyang partner, mas secure sila, mas comfortable sila, at mas nagkakaroon sila ng trust sa partners nila, di ba? Tama. Okay. Okay, so tignan na nga natin kung ano nga ba ang susunod na attachment style na mabubunot natin dito. Ready ka na ba, Alex? Ready na. Ikaw ang dapat kong tanungin. Ready ka na ba? Ready, ready na ako, syempre. Kaya naman, bumunot na tayo dito sa ating fish bowl. So, okay. Oh, medyo may clean ang ata ito ngayon, di ba? Oo. Oh, balik Baliktad. Na. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Sige. So, ready ka na, Alex? Ready, go. Let's go. So, these people with this attachment style are scared of closeness. And they tend to be less invested in relationships and are more likely to leave them. Ano hula mo dito, Alex? So, you said scared. So, feeling ko, this is the avoidant attachment style. Tama! Ang galing talaga ni Alex, no? So, the avoidant attachment style is actually the general name given to two different attachment styles under this. Tama! Because as babies when left alone, kahit medyo kabado sila, di nila pinapakita yung emosyon nila. When they are reunited with their mothers, parang dead malang, no emotion is shown. Though the avoidant attachment style is developed when a child's needs are consistently not met. So makakadevelop sila ng trust issues and they avoid relying on others and a compulsive self-reliance. As adults, they are also more fearful to engage in uncommitted hookups. However, they are more likely to be sexually unfaithful to their partners. There are two subtypes of avoidant attachment style. So if you identify with the phrase, I am uncomfortable getting close to others, baka naman you have the fearful avoidant attachment style. That is also known as the disorganized attachment style. And if you identify with the phrase that I want to feel more independent, I want to be more self-sufficient, then you must have the dismissive avoidant attachment style. So as for our last attachment style, no kaya to Liam? Puhulaan mo to eh. Kinakabahan na ako. Ano ba yan? So, as adults, they are less trusting, more fearful of a partner becoming interested in someone else, and therefore 
are more possessive and jealous. So, ano bang hula mo dito, Liam? Hula ko dyan, red flag. Hindi, eme. Pero, <laughs> yung hula ko sa attachment style, kahit yan yung pinakahuli, mahuhulaan ko pa rin kung ano yan, syempre, yung anxious attachment style. Pero kasi, parang siyang similar sa avoid attachment style, no? So, yung difference niya is more on the relationship, on dependency. Kasi, yung anxious attachment style, they crave dependency from their partners while the avoided attachment style, kaya nila maging hyper-independent or kaya nila magsarili, they don't need their partners all the time. As babies, they are more likely to cling anxiously to their mother. If she leaves, they cry. When she returns, they may be indifferent or even hostile. Nadadevelop to kapag inconsistent ang parenting. Minsan, nami-meet naman yung needs nila, Minsan naman, hindi. Minsan supportive, tas minsan hindi. So, in the end, nalilito yung bata dahil sa mixed signals. As adults, when discussing conflicts, they get emotional and often angry. And their self-esteem is dependent more on the feedback from others, especially from romantic partners. Their eagerness to form relationships can hamper their efforts because others perceive their anxiety and the interaction becomes awkward. So, all in all, we have four different attachment styles, which are secure attachment, fearful avoidant attachment, dismissive avoidant attachment, and the anxious attachment. Pero if meron nga kayo isa sa mga tatlong insecure attachment styles na ito, huwag kayo mag-alala, it's not the end of the world. Kasi yung road to self-healing comes with self-realization. Tama, hindi mo kasalanan na meron kang insecure attachment styles. But of course, you can always achieve that secure attachment style by... Building your self-esteem. Working on yourself. And learning how to express your emotions in a healthy manner. Although sobrang general lang ng tips na binigay namin sa inyo, I hope you can use it to become the better you. And that concludes our episode. Kita kits na lang tayo next time kung saan tatalakayan natin ang MBTI or ang Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. See you next time kung saan i-explore natin at i-explain ang ating minds. This is UST Tiger TV's The Conscious Minds Super Science. At ito ang kalamang Super Science! Hater fighters, how are you holding up? We all have trouble staying focused sometimes. Not everyone is aware of or familiar with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, which you may also know as ADHD. Most of the time, it is misunderstood as a mood disorder, and people with ADHD may be mistaken as lazy for not having structure in tasks and called disrespectful, for they always forget what they are told to do. Now is the time to raise awareness about this disorder. I'm your host, Noemi Ross Linda, and all of your questions will be answered in this episode. This is The Conscious Mind, Living Life with Serenity. So today we are joined by none other than one of University of Santa Tomas's finest, Mr. Jade Ibarco Ambot of the Department of Psychology, with a master's in science in psychology, majoring in clinical therapy, as well as being a registered psychologist. He will be helping us demystify some misconceptions about ADHD and help us understand more on this disorder. So, hello po, Sir Jade. It's very nice to meet you. Kamusta naman po kayo ngayon? I'm I'm good, thank you. In fact, thank you for having me here. Yes, yeah, so, you know, as a mental health professional, I've been meaning to ask, what do you think of the ADHD Awareness Month this October and its relevance in today's society? Well, on a personal note, I'm very happy about ADHD Awareness Month. In fact, with the current time right now, people are becoming more aware of the importance of mental health um, in general. So that alone is really thrilling for me uh, personally on a, and also on a professional note. Yes, Tama. It's nice that we're destigmatizing mental health nowadays. So, you know, we're so excited to have someone here with your expertise to help us teach the masses about such a misunderstood condition. So, our first question for today's discussion, we want to ask, what is ADHD? And can you provide a brief overview of the symptoms of ADHD? 
Uh, well, about the H ADHD, um, which is basically about attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, according to some literature, according to some books, um, it is mainly about a neurodevelopmental disorder. In fact, right now, it is one of the most common neurodevelopmental disorder among childhood mm -hmm. or children nowadays. Um, in terms of symptoms, it is mainly about uh, two things inattention and at the same time hyperactivity and impulsivity mm -hmm. um, so and, and at the same time it can also be a combination of both yes. so when can i say that i exhibit symptoms of adhd or if you know your misconceptions if i'm just naturally forgetful or all over the place on a logical note that's really quite hard and difficult to answer um it's like double-edged sword mm -hmm. if i answer this particular question a lot of people might self-diagnose already that's why we really really need to be careful about it but if i'm going to be technical if i'm going to be clinical at the same time uh, like what i said earlier it can be a pervasive inattention mm -hmm. meaning to say a lot of people having or suffering from adhd are really having a difficult time concentrating focusing their attention um into uh, a very in, into a task that requires um, focus yes. and, atten and attention on that particular note. Um, the other aspect of the symptom of ADHD is about pervasive hyperactivity and impulsivity and or impulsivity. Yes. So meaning to say um, there are some children, there are some people suffering from ADHD um, having difficulty controlling their energy. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of children in the school suffering from this disorder, um, they find it so difficult to sit down, to sit still, and listen on their t uh, to their teachers. Um, usually, you will be seeing them running around, <laughs> climbing, yes. climbing cabinets, climbing windows, and so on and so forth. And at the same time, like what I said, it can be a combination of both. Mm. So earlier, you mentioned about misdiagnosis. So how is one formally diagnosed with ADHD? That's tricky. It really depends on the mental health professional. Uh, as you know, um, the common mental health professionals that we have are your psychiatrists, yes. on my end, psychologists. So on my end, being a clinical psychologist, I cannot speak on behalf of the psychiatrists yes. because the way they diagnose uh, a child or a person with ADHD is totally different from the manner of uh, or approach of a psychologist. But on my end, um, we usually start with a thorough intake session. So meaning to say, we interview the client, we interview the person, um, ask questions whole roundedly. Uh, so not we're, we're starting with the demographic profile, the possible symptoms, family history, possible genetic conditions about the disorder. And it doesn't end there. We also provide psychological assessment. So uh, sometimes we provide a full battery of psychological tests in order for us to fully corroborate the information that we have gathered during the intake session and also the information that we will be gathering from the psychological assessment. Um, on my end, sometimes those two are not enough. I usually even consider discussing and interviewing the parents of the client and even the teachers of the client if it's necessary. So there. So yun, hindi po simple task yung pagda-diagnose ng ADHD. Yan. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> mahirap, mahirap talaga. Because like what you have said, Naomi, um, misdiagnosis is a common thing that might happen if a mental health professional will not be very thorough yes. and careful and we do not want to misdiagnose a client mm -hmm. after all once the diagnosis have been given it will be in the permanent record of the person and not to mention um, improper diagnosis will pro uh, proceed to a, uh, a bad uh, psychological intervention as well so we have our next question. What are the other stigmas associated with ADHD? But before you answer this question, sir, let us have a short break. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is 
Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar, USD. 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 Tiger Radio. All right, and we're back. And again, the question is, what are the other stigmas associated with ADHD? Um, no, me, I may echo out what you have said earlier, that a lot of people may think that people suffering from ADHD ay nag lang, perhaps. <laughs> but a, a very common misconception about ADHD, especially among children, is that people usually think that since bata sila, they are just simply energetic. Yes, that's right. No? And, and, and that usually leads, of course, for people not really seeing the disorder beyond simple gestures of being energetic. So yeah, it's important for parents to be attentive towards their children, to tend to their needs. Ano po. So, ako, if as an adult, I exhibit symptoms of ADHD, when should I seek assistance? And how do we start to begin the process of seeking professional help? All right, Naomi. Um, in order for me to answer that question, I believe it's very much um, vital for us to also be aware of the necessary conditions, things that we need to be aware of para malaman natin if what we are experiencing or going through is actually clinically significant. Um, in my field, I usually identify four Ds. That is distress, deviance, dysfunction, and also danger. No? So, kapag yung mga apat na ito ay nakikita na natin due to the symptoms of ADHD, possible ADHD, it is already a sign that we need perhaps professional support or professional help. Um, some people might be asking, kailangan ba yung apat na yon? Mamit natin bago tayo mag-seek na professional help? Not necessarily. The fact that a person is already suffering from significant distress due to the symptoms of possible ADHD, that's already a sign now for us to seek professional help. So I hope other people who are watching here, no mental health professional, like take note. So for Disney Sir Jade, because it can help you with your clinical practice. So let's move on to the next question. Are there any advices that you can give to the families or guardians of people with ADHD to, you know, help them better manage and cope with the condition? Well, the first thing is awareness. Mm -hmm. Kailangan ng mga guardians, families, even the friends of mm -hmm. people suffering from ADHD to be highly aware of the nature of the condition. Kasi paano natin sila maiintindihan? Paano natin sila matutulungan if us ourselves are ignorant and unaware of the condition itself? Uh, that's the first step. It's all about awareness. And um, from there, malalaman natin kung saan tayo susunod. Um, perhaps the, the second thing that I can give or provide as an advice is uh, for the family, friends, people, significant individuals from the family of the lives uh, of this particular individual suffering from possible uh, disorder, not only ADHD on that note, yeah. but the, but the various disorders that we have right now is for us to seek professional help and see it as a, as a regular checkup. Mm -hmm. I guess seeing a professional help, a professional uh, mental health professional is something that we need to normalize in this current, uh, in this current time. No? Kasi a mental health in general, and dami pa stigma dyan. I, I bet you know that, yeah. no me? Um, maraming stigma in a sense na kapag pumunta ka sa isang mental health professional, iisipin ng mga tao, oh, may, may, may something sa'yo, may condition ka, nababaliw ka na ba? Yun yung mga usual things na naririnig natin. And that is stigmatizing people suffering from mental, uh, from disorders, which makes them discouraged to actually, to actually seek professional help. So that's right. That's why we're here to destigmatize not only ADHD, but also mental health in general. And of course, I hope we help provide support to the people who are suffering with ADHD. So that will be the last question for today. Thank you so much, Sir Jade, for being here with us again. And you know, with professors like Sir Jade paving the way for our future mental health professionals, I believe the future of the Philippines is looking very bright. So, whether you have a single task you need to be doing or an entire list you haven't done, just remember that you'll meet your goal one step at a time. 
Everyone has their own way of doing things, and nobody has a right or wrong way. Feeling occasionally overwhelmed is valid, and your worth isn't measured by your immediate productivity. So it's okay to take one step back so you can take two steps forward. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and to believe healing comes from within. This ADHD Awareness Month, we want to make sure that people with this condition are seen and heard in a respectful manner. We hope that by giving a platform to this condition, people might better understand others and possibly themselves. Here's some more opportunities to explain our mind. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind reminding us to live life with serenity and to believe healing comes from within. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. Back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy through time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly, the ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authority. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashans! We all know what a fire is, don't we? Yeah. It destroys properties, it harms people, it can even claim lives. Not cool, right? So the question is, how can you protect yourself from fires, especially when you are inside the campus? The answer? Fire extinguisher! But the big question is, do you know how to use it? There are typically four different types of sources of fire that you need to be familiar with. Type A involves the combustibles like wood, paper, and cloth. Type B involves flammable liquids. Type C involves live electrical and electronic equipment. And Type D involves the combustible metals like aluminum. So let's cut to the chase. Here's a how-to-do video on the proper use of a fire extinguisher just in case you know. First, make sure you stand 6 to 8 feet away from the fire. That is in order to protect you from the heat and possible burns. Follow this 4-step procedure which we call PASS. Letter P is for PULL. Pull the pin to unlock the operating lever. This allows you to discharge the extinguisher. Next is the letter A for aim. Make sure you aim the extinguisher nozzle or hose at the base of the fire. The first letter S is for squeeze. Squeeze the lever. This discharges the extinguishing agent and releasing the lever will stop the discharge. The second S is for sweep. Keep the extinguisher aimed at the base of the fire and sweep left to right until the flames appear to be out. 
Once the fire has been extinguished, make sure to watch the fire area. Again, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, and S is for sweep. Oh, by the way, make sure to always check the tag and expiry dates of each extinguishers before using them. So in times of fire, just stay safe and calm. Because now more than ever, you already know what you're supposed to do. Now how cool is that, huh? Here are some fire safety tips in the event of a fire. Grab the closest fire extinguisher available in your area. Just make sure that it is the correct type and class appropriate to extinguish a fire. Be vigilant. Always report incidents of fire, whether big or small, to your dean's office, security, or the facility's management office. If you think it already seems uncontrollable, call for help and activate the fire alarm systems which will sound the building siren. After which, evacuate immediately. In an event that your clothes catches fire, stop what you're doing. Drop to the ground and cover your face if you can. Roll over and over or back and forth until the flame goes out. Do not run. Running will only make the fire burn faster. In case you are trapped in a room, feel the doorknob with the back of your hand. If it feels hot, fire may be on the other side of the door, so keep it shut. Retreat away from the door. Close as many doors as possible between you and the fire. Seal cracks or any other opening from the door to prevent the smoke from coming inside your room. That is to avoid suffocation. Try to communicate using your phones or any other means to inform others about your situation. Signal for help by hanging or placing an object on the window that can attract responders' attention. When evacuating, Walk quickly, but do not run. Never use the elevators. If smoke, heat, or flames block exit routes, stay in the room with the door closed. If you get caught in smoke, get down and crawl, taking short breaths through the nose. Cleaner and cooler air will be near the floor, so get low and go. Do not lag behind or return to the room to get your personal belongings. Upon exiting the building, follow the instruction of the marshals and immediately proceed to your assigned evacuation area. Report any missing or trapped person to the authorized emergency personnel. And report any injured person to the crisis management committee, first aiders, or the security. Remember, fire safety is of utmost importance and being prepared and knowing what to do can save lives. Stay safe and alert to Mashins! Sports psychology is an interdisciplinary science that I work with the principles of psychology in sports. Sports psychology also acknowledges the importance or the impact of emotional and psychological well-being. We help athletes in terms of their performance. So we help them in terms of their mental training, their ability to bounce back or resiliency, their ability to concentrate, their confidence, their motivation, and also help them in terms of their ability to handle pressure. Actually, in 2007, sports psychology is relatively new, so that's why I became interested with the field 
because I saw the opportunity in terms of experts in sports psychology. So I worked with Ms. Heidi Lindias even before she won the silver medal in 2016 in Rio Olympics. So we work with her mental aspect with regards to her resiliency, her ability to bounce back. Another is also her self-talk. Very important that uh, there is no doubt whenever she's lifting. We also work with her ability to improve 1% every day. And then during the pandemic, um, the mental health was also a big factor in terms of her preparation for the Olympics Tokyo in 2020. Sports psychology is different from other therapy because we work with athletes, so we go with them anywhere. So there is no technically clinic. We use our clinic very less. We work with them uh, in the field, so we go with them during competitions, during training camps, as well as during training. Mental training is very important in terms of performance because we already uh, realize no, or know the um, formula for performance. It is mental training, um, technical training, and physical training. So without uh, mental training, the success or the performance of the athlete is not 100%. So basically, mental training will help the athlete perform their best during competition. For sports psychology, we use peak performance. We use the four C's. So first C is the composure, their ability to be composed during crucial time. Another C is concentration, and then confidence as well as commitment. There's a misconception in terms of sports psychology that it is only for athletes. But basically, when we talk about uh, sports psychology, you can use it uh, with military, um, dancers, uh, performers, or anyone who is uh, into performing. For sports psychologists, um, the field is very relatively new here in the Philippines. We are looking for more sports psychologists to help our athletes, our coaches. And then for athletes, it's always good to engage in sports because your ability um, to develop your character as well as discipline is very important. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. Back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> it's <laughs> exhilarating. And <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy through time. This is Tiger TV's The Country's Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio. Engineering.
Dance Troupe is the recognized dance organization of the Faculty of Engineering and is composed of engineering dimensions. With a sense of pride, strength, courage, and humor, the USD EDT is an organization that provides an environment for creative self-expression where the dance passionate students can perform to entertain, refine their talent, and dance to relieve stress. Dubbed early on as a superstar in 1979 by the Time magazine, for his incredible charm and magnetic personality, Pope St. John Paul II is undoubtedly one of the most prominent and influential figures of the 20th century, not only by the Catholic Church but around the world. Born on May 18, 1920 in Wadowicz, Poland, to a deeply religious family, Karol Joseph Vitola lost his mother 
father and older brother by the time he was 21. This experience instilled in him a profound understanding of human suffering and a determination to bring hope to others. In 1942, he felt a calling to the priesthood and secretly began his seminary studies during the Nazi occupation of Poland. He was ordained in 1946 and went on to earn a doctorate in theology at the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas, more widely known as the Angelicum, run by the Dominicans in Rome. As a young priest, he engaged with young people and intellectuals as he worked at various universities and parishes. In 1958, he became an auxiliary bishop of Krakow and later became Archbishop of 1964. His leadership skills and intellectual prowess gained recognition and played an important influential role in the Second Vatican Council where he contributed to key documents on religious freedom and the role of the Church in the modern world. In 1967, he was elevated to the rank of Cardinal and on October 16, 1978, he was elected as the 264th successor of St. Peter, the first non-Italian Pope in over 450 years. Taking the name John Paul II, he quickly captivated the world with his charisma, warm and deep love for humanity. He fearlessly spoke out against injustice and oppression, championing human rights and the dignity of every person. He condemned totalitarian regimes and played a pivotal role in the fall of communism in Eastern Europe. Recognizing the importance of interfaith dialogue and unity, he made significant strides in fostering relationships with other religions, promoting understanding and respect different faith traditions. In 1981, he was shot by an assassin but he attributed his miraculous survival to the Blessed Virgin Mary to whom he had a tender devotion. As the third longest reigning Pope with a term spanning almost 27 years, he visited a total of 129 countries, wrote 14 encyclicals, declared 1,338 blessed and 482 saints. He assured the Church into the third millennium with the great jubilee of the year 2000 and pioneered the World Youth Day, which has become the biggest international gathering on the church calendar. He also initiated the updating of the Code of Canon Law and publication of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. He visited the University of Santo Tomas twice during his pontificate. His first visit took place on February 18, 1981, when he called on Thomasians to follow Christ as their model and be true to their identity as students of the Catholic University. He visited the UST again on January 13, 1995, presiding over the Mass of the UST Grandstand and bequeathing a challenge to all Filipino youth. Young people of the Philippines, the modern world needs a new kind of young person. It needs men and women who are capable of self-discipline, capable of committing themselves to the highest ideals ready to change radically the false values which have enslaved many young people and adults. All this is possible with trust in the Lord and with the help of good teachers in the university and in your parishes and groups. The church and the world mourned his death at the age of 84 on April 2, 2005, the Vigil of Divine Mercy Sunday. He was beatified by Pope Benedict XVI on May 1, 2011, and canonized by Pope Francis on April 27, 2014. St. John Paul II Pray for us.
Angel Nikki K. Betty, Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn Angel Baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar USD. 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 Tiger Radio. Back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> hey, Sebastian! Back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. <laughs> it's <so> exhilarating. Ariel, <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go say, go say, go say, go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, legacy through, through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is the only station where you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019 This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar USD Tiger Radio It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. 
Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! We all know what a fire is, don't we? Yeah. It destroys properties, it harms people, it can even claim lives. Not cool, right? So the question is, how can you protect yourself from fires, especially when you are inside the campus? The answer? Fire extinguisher! But the big question is, do you know how to use it? There are typically four different types of sources of fire that you need to be familiar with. Type A involves the combustibles like wood, paper, and cloth. Type B involves flammable liquids. Type C involves live electrical and electronic equipment. And type D involves the combustible metals like aluminum. So let's cut to the chase. Here's a how-to-do video on the proper use of a fire extinguisher just in case you know. First, make sure you stand 6 to 8 feet away from the fire. That is in order to protect you from the heat and possible burns. Follow this 4-step procedure which we call PASS. Letter P is for PULL. Pull the pin to unlock the operating lever. This allows you to discharge the extinguisher. Next is the letter A for aim. Make sure you aim the extinguisher nozzle or hose at the base of the fire. The first letter S is for squeeze. Squeeze the lever. This discharges the extinguishing agent and releasing the lever will stop the discharge. The second S is for sweep. Keep the extinguisher aimed at the base of the fire and sweep left to right until the flames appear to be out. Once the fire has been extinguished, make sure to watch the fire area. Again, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, and S is for sweep. Oh, by the way, make sure to always check the tag and expiry dates of each extinguishers before using them. So in times of fire, just stay safe and calm. Because now more than ever, you already know what you're supposed to do. Now how cool is that, huh? Here are some fire safety tips in the event of a fire. Grab the closest fire extinguisher available in your area. Just make sure that it is the correct type and class appropriate to extinguish a fire. Be vigilant. Always report incidents of fire, whether big or small, to your dean's office, security, or the facilities management office. 
If you think it already seems uncontrollable, call for help and activate the fire alarm systems which will sound the building siren. After which, evacuate immediately. In an event that your clothes catches fire, stop what you're doing. Drop to the ground and cover your face. You died, Jesus. But the source of life
Come arts and it's rarely that you yeah, need to do that. Yeah, birthday na ngayon. Wow. Birthday na ngayon. 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 Birthday Yeah, I agree, I agree. And aside from that, since napag-usapan na nga natin ngayon, di ba, na marami tayong pag-uusapan and marami rin tayong ginawa nung February, apart from the things that we actually did is yung mga ginawa natin sa Tiger Radio. And mm-hmm. di, hindi lang naman no, during February yung ginawa natin ng Tiger Radio. Since mm-hmm. 15 years na nga natin sinaselebrate ang yes. Tiger Radio, I'm sure maraming marami na rin tayong ginawa sa Tiger Radio. Mm-hmm. Na we had a lot of airings, we had a lot of TR caravans, mm-hmm. special events, special projects. Mm-hmm. Marami na tayong naging um, head para yes. tayo ang mga nakasamang naka-work sa Tiger Radio mm-hmm. na yung iba alumni na, yung iba uh-huh. nag-work na, yung iba um, nasa ibang field na ngayon. Radio jobs pa rin sila pero mm-hmm. nasa ibang field na sila ngayon. Pinopursu nila or hindi man nila pinopursu. We still, mm-hmm. you know, acknowledge everyone na naka-work natin dito ngayon. It's so good to see them grow talaga. No? Yeah, it's, Nag-persevere it, sila sa mga uh-oh. fields nila. And speaking yeah. of this topic, gusto ko lang din matanong sa'yo, Shem, since, mm-hmm. you know, you started as an intern jock last yes, summer, last, right? Just season, last summer. Season Sa BTR, yeah. BTR. So, mm. ano, ano na ba yung pinaka-memorable experience mo sa Tiger Radio ngayon? Alam mo, hindi sa pagiging ano, sa pagiging cute or what. Pero, every, every day na nakapag, like, nakapag-TR ako, it's mm-hmm. like it's always improving. Laging, laging, I, I would say yung favorite na moment ko with TR is like, nung kahapon, yung last, last day ko because I was really parang nagigets ko na yung jive nagkukuha ko na yung jive ko nakapag nakapag banter ako na parang hindi ako nahihiya on camera and on the air wow well, that's great to Uh-oh. know alam mo actually yun din yung isa sa pinaka na excited akong ma-witness sa inyo because mm-hmm. Aside from the fact that you're already a senior, senior, <laughs> right? Graduate na siya. Yes, na hindi na tapagal. Nakatuwa lang din makita na yung, you know, the last mm. months na pwede pa siya maging jock is na yes. nagkakaroon siya ng growth, na enjoy niya that's experience right. niya. And that's what we aspire. Ko. And th- that's mm-hmm. what we encourage. Ang tawag dito, that's what we goal for mm-hmm. every volunteers that's mm-hmm. masala sa Tiger Radio. No, to know, di ba, para mag-grow sila sa sarili nilang that's craft, right. maybe oh. as a Tiger Jock, as an executive producer. Mm-hmm. You know, yung, the people behind the camera or the people in the camera or yung mm-hmm. mga nag-air. It's, it's great yes. to see that. And aside from that, actually, hindi lang ikaw, I think marami rin mga nag-input sa IG yes. story ko. So actually, nag-post kasi ako It's sa IG that. story ko mm-hmm. nung tinanong ko sila what their favorite TR memory is or are and babasahin natin sila ngayon. So actually, medyo okay. madami-dami to. And usually, yung mga naglagay dito is halos siya eh. Merong mga nasa TR pa rin ngayon. Meron mm-hmm. naman mga nasa TR dati. Ang dami ko nakikita uh-huh. na may mga taga-BTR. Yung jocks natin ngayon. Uh, mga ngayon. BTR yung mga gusto nilang experiences. Yes. No? Ito sabi niya dito, sabi ni Kyla Lapena, which is Tiger mm-hmm. Jock Rosie, sabi 
giving you the my first ever Tiger Talk over airing. Learn so much from Ate L and now mm. I feel so comfy, diba? Katulad nga nung sinabi mo, diba? So, wow. it really takes time and it really, you know, takes a lot of experiences yes. to be comfortable in this type of setting. But at the same time, you know, hindi naman din mangyayari na forever na tayong manghihiya. So, magkakaroon That's talaga right. tayo ng time na ma-enjoy natin yung ginagawa natin. That's and right. yun naman yung pinaka-goal natin. At saka ang important talaga, lalo na sa aming mga BTR, nagsimula sa BTR and parang mm-hmm. walang experience sa radio booth, is the courage to take the f- the first step. Kasi yes. sunod-sunod yan, it falls into place. Yes, the courage mm. to take the first step because at the same time, may times na madali tayo matakot, no? Yes. Pero we really have to be brave enough yes. to, you know, to... Um, and like, overcome those yes. challenges, overcome those fears that we mm-hmm. have. And ito naman, sabi dito, sabi ni Cheska, sabi niya, BTR met the TR team for the Those's first BTR. time and immediately realized how oh. I wanted to spell to mm-hmm. spend all my four years with them. Ah, mm-hmm. katawa naman yun. Si Cheska is our Tiger Jock Blair. Tama ba? Yes, Tiger yung Blair? sa, uh-huh. nung nag-TR Live, Love is on Air. Yes, siya, TR Love siya. is on Air. Mm-hmm. Siya rin sa mga jock nun. So, nakakatawa yes. nga talaga. Actually, parang puno common denominator ng mga sagot nila dito, BTR. BTR, BTR eh. no? Alam Pero mo sige, ba, sige, as sige. nag-participate ng BTR, hindi ko ina-expect na ganun yung magiging setting. Ay, like, ano ina-expect mo? Ang ina-expect ko lang talaga sa BTR is parang, alam mo yun, parang online audition, ganun. Pero ginawa nyo ah. pang ano, anong tawag doon may term doon eh? Like, parang reality show. Reality show, yes. yeah. Like, hindi ko talaga ina-expect. Alam mo, hiyang-hiyan na ako magpakita on cam. Mm-hmm. Tapos, sinalang nyo pa sa ganong situation. So, it, it was really parang who shivers down well, my spine. Well, alam mo yun, kaya yung nakaka-excite sa behind the roar ng Tiger Radio. Because mm-hmm. at the same time, it's not just, you know, the same old parang online audition. That's at the same true. time, may mga challenges. Uh-huh. And habang nag-audition ka pa lang, uh-huh. diba, natatrain ka na kaagad mm-hmm. and you get to know what to improve on. That's right. Kung ano yung pwede mo pang gawin in case na matanggap ka as intern jock mm-hmm. and at the same time as a Tiger Jock. Uh-huh. So, So, basa pa tayo ng ibang comments dito. Sabi ni Ate Mads. Wow, si Ate Mads. Sabi ni Ate Mads, Every airing, to be honest, TR Caravan 2022, back in December 2022, mm. I miss TR. Tapos sabi niya, when airing with you. Wow. The favorite ko ko yan dati si Ate Mads. <laughs> <laughs> hindi kasi ako, parang halos ata halos lahat ata ng airing ko dati nung parang mas mah- mahilig ako mag-sub kasi dati. Uh-huh. Parang ko siyang nakaka na, nagiging co-joke nun. So nakaka-miss din talaga kasi pag nagsasama kami ni Ate Mads, parang nagchichikahan lang kami ganun. Mm-hmm. Parang ano lang talaga as in normal na talks, banter ganun. lang, you like know, casual oh, conversation. Oh, normal na casual conversation. And that's what we're all about sa Kwento Masino. Yes. Yes. Nakakatawa sabi niya TR Caravan because you know, ngayong bumalik tayo sa F2F, mm-hmm. you know, um, nagbabalik tayo sa mga on sa mga on-site um, uh-huh. activity activities natin hindi hindi hima, or, ang tawag ito hindi bago sa atin na mas, mas marami pa tayong TR Caravan for this upcoming term and for this whole year and for yes. the next years to come so there's more to come talaga kayo sa mga yes. upcoming TR Caravans natin kasi usually we have TR Caravans for events that are yung mga malalaking events sa USD mm-hmm. like Bachmas Paskuhan yes. Agape and a lot more and mm-hmm. pati yung hindi ko lang sure kung meron sa onboarding pero if gusto nyong malaman just stay tuned and yes. just stay on the loop with all of our social media accounts And siguro basa na lang tayo ng last one. Sige. Sabi ni Maz. Ayan, si Something Maz, which is Tiger Jock Sage. Ano ba sabi ni Maz? Sabi ni Maz? Ni Maz. Ayan, ah, ni, ni Maz. Tiger Jock Sage. Welcome party, got to host. Got to host. Mm. Uh, I agree. Uh, actually, ayan na tayo yung first time na magkaroon ng TR. Welcome... First time na magkaroon ng parang Thamashan Welcome Party Backstage Access nun. And dun lang din first time na binalik Wait, yung Thamashan Welcome Party. Yes, last oh, year. Oh, the one with the Bini concert? Yes, the one it? with oh. the Bini and the one okay. with BGYO. Oh. And actually, ayun, co-host ko si ano nun, co-host and co-jack slash co-host ko si Maz nun or si Tiger Jack Sage. And nakakatuwa lang din nun actually because ayun nga, natuwa daw siya na nakapag-host siya because you know, hindi lang naman tayo nag-jock here. We also have other experiences to yes. experience. Marami mm. tayong may encounter dito and hindi lang naman more on the radio side but yes. more on how we project in the camera since mm. nakikita na tayo ngayon sa television. That's right. Hello guys. And how we, you know, how we express our mm. personality on air, mm-hmm. how we talk to other people especially when we have guests. And ngayon yes. may guests kami guys so abangan nyo na lang kung sino yung special guest Uh-oh. namin later. For a small ano lang, for a small teaser. Uy, small teaser. Ano siya? Uh, actor siya sa Ay, ano? Actor. Jamie's Black Uh-oh. Rider. Ang first Uh-oh. name niya ay nagsisimula sa letter R. Uy! <laughs> <laughs> charing lang, charing. Tapos yung uh. pangalan niya na uulit. 
<laughs> the joke lang. Ano yun? Baka mag-explain kayo, the joke lang. Hindi, pero <laughs> ano, basta sure ako, Pogi to. Pogi to, mm. ano natin. And oh, posting oh. namin to dati sa Tiger And very video. talented. Oh, and very, very talented. Yeah. So, alright. So, ayun na nga, since nabasa na natin yung ibang mga, ang tawag dito, ibang mga entries ng mga kasama natin sa Tiger Radio, why not we actually congratulate some of the new TMN recruits as well? So, since Uy, yeah. pinag-usapan natin yung mga, ano tawag dito, yung mga dating experiences natin, why don't we talk about our our current experiences, mm. Hmm. Diba? So, Charat. <laughs> Para Pero ano, current experience, I, like I said before, like I'm really happy na I'm able to do this again and again and again. Wow, again and again and again. Kasi I'm, I, I, I'm really growing as a jock dito sa Tiger Radio. And mas, siguro mas na-enhance ko yung ability ko to communicate with people and mm-hmm. be on the camera, which is really something that I've never experienced ever in my life. Wow. De, pero oh, oh, pero it's it really is a big deal for me and I'm still I'm still happy that I'm a part of TR and I'm able to volunteer. Wow. Mm. I love that. I love Ikaw that ba? na enjoy mo naman siya. Pero ayun nga, actually gusto ko lang din ulitin na I want to congratulate all of the new TMN recruits yes. because actually sa TMN sobrang very very ano siya, very critical. Hindi naman critical pero critical pa rin tamang term. Basta parang ano maraming set of drills, Kung maraming may set standards. of interviews, Uh-oh. screening sessions mm-hmm. bago makapasok and Uh-oh. na nalagpasan niyo lahat 'yon, 'di ba? So congratulations. Mm-hmm. Actually nalabas na yung results mm-hmm. last I don't know if last two, ano basta this week na, this, this week lang, this week lang din na labas na siya and ayun if hindi pa kayo aware guys baka meron sa inyo mga nakapasa pala so Uh-oh. punta lang kayo sa page ni USC Tiger TV and USC mm-hmm. Tiger Radio and baka nandun yung mga pangalan nyo sa mga accepted applicants yes. natin and now we congrats would, sa inyo guys congrats sa inyo guys and now we would just like to again promote our upcoming TR15 our 15th anniversary mm-hmm. here in Tiger Radio so stay tuned for big surprises yes. for a lot of things to happen because marami kaming pakulo marami mm-hmm. kaming hinanda para sa inyong lahat and marami kaming gagawin pa para mas makomemorate natin and mas celebrate yes. pa natin yung 15 years yes. ni Tiger Radio on air and sa mga TV screens nyo dito sa USC Tiger Radio and mag- USC mag- in general mag-teaser ka naman anong pwede nila, anong abang nila for TR15 for TR15 mm-hmm. marami tayo actually I'm, I'm not yet really sure kung ano bang gagawin natin Ay. pero basta make sure uh, sure ako na may excite kayo sa gagawin namin kasi kahit ako na excite ako ngayon oh hindi ko pa sure kung ano yung mga mangyayari pero basta sure ako na we will be having you know alumni marami mm-hmm. kami mga activities marami kami mga sessions mm-hmm. booth and a lot of things to come so aside from that gusto ko lang din i-introduce yung topic natin so ikaw na pala Shem ano bang topic natin well yung topic afternoon? natin for today since in relation siya with our anniversary eh, yes Wow, well, anniversary. Yung 15-year anniversary ni TR, mm-hmm. syempre, magkukuha tayo ng, ano, kumbaga, ng parang from the previous, what do you call this? From the previous generation. Yes, oh, from the yes. previous generation. So, so it's uh, about, ano, yes. uh, Tiger Radio Alumni Homecoming. Grabe ka naman sa previous generations, parang yung mukha niya nag-ulat siya. <laughs> last parang, year lang, parang, parang last year lang din eh. Grabe, sobrang tagal na ba ako sa Tiger Radio? <laughs> parang, parang ancestor naman ang dating ko dito, di ba? Pero hindi, totoo ayan. So our mm. topic will be back in the booth, a Tiger Radio alumni homecoming. Yes. So we will be showcasing the journey of our very own Tiger Radio alumni here yes. on our episode of Kwento Masino. But before we mm. proceed with our next song break, I would just like to plug our TR socials on X. We're at Tiger Radio UST on our... IG, we're at Tiger, we're, we are at US Tiger Radio on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. We are at UST Tiger Radio and on Mixler. We are Mixler.com slash UST Tiger Radio. And now for our next song, sana hindi pa kayo inaantok, guys, because this next song is Antukin by Rico Blanco, only on the station, where you hear the roar, UST Tiger Radio. Hey, Sebastian's back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Oh, it's ecstatic. So exhilarating. And <laughs> congratulations! for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. 
This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Hey, Sebastian! Back to school na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! Post for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Hey, Sebastian! Back to school na naman! This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline, where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is 
the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, Charis. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. Santayo kakain. Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. USC Tiger Radio, the only station where you hear the roar. And that last song was Jaron Jefferson Ocampo with yes. his song, Bright Star. So if you want to listen to more of his music and if you want to follow him on all of his social media accounts on Facebook, he is at Jaron Jefferson Ocampo. On Instagram, he is at GRN Ocampo. And on YouTube, he is Music GJO. So ang Jaron niya, ang swali ng Jaron niya is G-E-I-R-O-N. Then Jefferson, mm. then Ocampo. All right, yes. so... You are still tuning in and you are still listening to us here on Quenta Masino with your caffeinated Q year Tiger Jock Toby. And this is your Chicky Chit Chatter Charlie. And pag-usapan kanina pinag-usapan mm-hmm. natin yung uh, yung mahabang history ng TR and we're going to celebrate niya yung 15 year anniversary. Yes. And now we're going to bring back someone from the dead. Whoa. <laughs> 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 like it's like a bit of a past generations. <laughs> Hindi, kasi <laughs> alumni siya. Kasi ex, ex, let me explain myself, okay? Let me explain myself. Alumni na siya, so okay, I have to sige. take some creative liberty, kumbaga, di ba? So parang we're gonna rise someone from that. <laughs> no, hindi ako na yung. Hindi ko na ako two points kana sa kanya. Past generation, that's bring back from the dead. Anyways, uh, naman yun tao. Pero anyways, our guest for today is a Tiger Radio alumnus. Dati siyang on air head ng Tiger yes. Radio and dati rin siyang executive producer ng mm-hmm. Tiger Radio so let us all welcome to Quento Masino Mix Mix or Mr. Mr. Aris Gala Hello Hello Ed Kaya Vito Hello Ayan amazing <laughs> Hello guys Hello. Hi Kuya Aris Kamusta ka naman? Okay lang uh, Galing lang work class kahapon mm-hmm. tapos ngayon may mga hinahabol lang din ayun okay naman <laughs> Same same. No, no, same same. Hindi you naman know, sa malayo sa ano, sa mga ginagawa niyo din. <laughs> para 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 lang proud para lang. Naman, no? proud Pero sabi ko sa inyo guys, eh, sabi ko talaga sa inyo na yung guest natin ngayon is Poggy and sa oh. R nagsisimula yung pangalan niya kasi kung hindi niyo man alam si Euro Madrid to guys. <laughs> Naka mask lang siya. Oh. <laughs> Magalit si Kuya. <laughs> Alam ba ka nanonood pa yan? Hindi, pero baka busy yun sa Black Rider. <laughs> May Black Rider pa rin ba ngayon? Ko? Yeah, oh, ongoing yung ano. Panood kayo guys sa mga nandiyan. Yeah. Panood kayo sa every weekend, eh, week, weekdays mm-hmm. from 8pm to uh, 8pm sa GMA then 
sa GTV 9:40 PM. Ano plug? Plug. All right. Papanood rin ko 'yan, kaya. Yeah. Maganda naman siya. Papanood rin. Maganda naman siya. Maganda naman siya. Pero sige, baka may tanong ka kay ano, kay Kuya Aris. Ah, uh, sorting yung question natin. Wow. First question. Yeah. So, Antahin what do you have box. going on today? <laughs> today as in today as in right now. Are, today. So may mga ano ako, backlog so from work. Mm. Pero uh yun, hinahabol ko siya. Actually during yung first talk niya, ina-edit ko yung kailangan kong edit dito. Ganun uh, multitask. multitasking. Grabe, no? So sabi ko nga, yun, same old same old lang na parang ano. So after today, ay after this airing siguro catch up with some friends here. Dito ni Kurt kanina, 'di ba? And yeah, uh, tomorrow work again and ayun. Nandito ka na rin naman, di ba? Might as well hit up mm. with a few friends here. Oh, baka mm. mm. makasalubong pa. Salita na yung oras, baka marami ka pang makita dito ng mga <laughs> alumni dati. Oh. Wala, sa, wala, wala nga. Eh, wala ko nung last. Actually, hindi kasi ito yung first kong balik. Na, ano, di ba, nag-guest ah, din ako last. Ah, nag-tiger rush ka rin. Oo, oh, oh, no, sa kapatid ko naman. Kailan yan? Last week. Ako lang yan. <laughs> last, last <laughs> ako lang out of the loop. Last, last, last week siya. yung ano nun, yung EP nun. Oh, SP. Ah, SP. Siya SP ng ah, okay. uh, Trailblazers. Trailblazer. Ah, kaya ikaw yung tinap niya. Oo, oh, sabi niya, ganyan, ganyan. Nalate ako doon. So, last week, ayun, na, na, nakita ko na ba yung friends, ganyan. And mm-hmm. then, uh, ngayon, yun, 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 si Kurt, yung mga kayo, yung mga oh. students pa rin, wala rin naman ako friends na students pa rin. Mm-hmm. So, sana may makita ko, makasalubong mamaya dyan, ganyan. And, ayun, catch up. Sana lang hindi multo yung makasalubong. Sana, sana lang. Sana. sana. Oo, kasi Baka parang minumulto na rin kasi ako nung kutsak mo kanina eh. <laughs> so, uh, ginagawa niya na ako multo. <laughs> um, um, ginagawa ka niya back from the dead na. Pero sige, yung next question ko lang sa'yo kuya is since ayun nga, kakabalik mo lang dito sa Tiger Radio. Yeah. Pero yes. technically, nga, sabi niya nga na hindi naman daw siya, hindi niya naman daw first time bumalik dito kasi nag Tiger mm. siya. Pero, ano yung feeling na, you know, nandito ka na ulit, you're here with us. <laughs> but, but as a guest, hindi naman muna, asa muna <laughs> nagmamonitor, di ba? Uh, ano ba ang feeling? Iba eh. Iba yung... Kasi diba... Iba yung nag-contact. Iba pag kinokontak ka nung... Ano eh. Mm-hmm. Nung parang EP or nung relations. So, kailangan ka dito. Ganyan. So, iba yung feeling niya na nag-monitor. Kasi dati, parang chill lang. Ganun. Yeah. Uh, okay lang. Uh, no oras ka pumunta. Ganun. Pero ngayon kasi parang you have to respect the time ng airing. Ganun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And personally... It's great to be back. Hindi ko masyado ma-differentiate pa kasi yung feeling. Kasi hindi naman ganun katagal nung previous kong uh, last year siguro July or parang mga ano dito pa ako. So, pero iba pa rin talaga kapag nandito ka. It feels like home then. So, parang homecoming. Tamang-tama nga yung sinabi nyo. It's, uh, it felt like homecoming kasi for the longest time kahit naman na hindi ako uh, on on site lagi noon yes. or diba, uh, great a uh, chunk ng college life namin ay hindi naman on-site. Pero yung feeling lang na makita ka ng mga fellow uh, volunteers mo, uh, it's nice to see na pinagpapat... Tinutuloy nila yung somehow yung mga sinimulan nyo or yung mga tinuloy nyo lang din from previous uh, generation nga. <laughs> ng Tiger Raid. <laughs> Lagi nila pinapush. So, ano, from generation. as someone na parang marami kang experience with TR, let's try to go back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ano yung naging experience mo as someone na recruit mm-hmm. ng TR? Like, Bukata ano yung mga pass. initial experiences mo with TR? Okay, so, mm-hmm. ito, fun story. Ito fun, pero ito yung lagi kong kinukwento. Paano ko napunta ng TR? Actually, mm-hmm. uh, it goes way back senior high. And hindi ako from UST uh, senior high. So, Uh, ito, ito uh, another uh, great alumni ng Tiger Radio, si Ate Gail. Yes. Mas nauna siya sa akin. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm sure na, ano siya, na-feature na rin siya sa TR nung TR caravan. Uh, nag, may nag-viral na video niya na parang uh, audition reel yata niya. Tapos tinag kami ng friends namin kasi initially gusto ko maging joke. Tapos doon ko, doon ko unang, di ko na-realize, yun yung unang beses ko nakita yung booth dun sa video na yun. Mm-hmm. Then, nung uh, nag-ano ko, nag uh, atag ito in-interview ako for TMN for Tech Ops yun mm-hmm. and uh, actually sinasabi ko gusto ko mag Tiger Radio and ninote niya dun sa mismong paper uh. na nakalagay sa taas uh, 
transfer or refer to Tiger Radio. Pero uh, hindi ako nag-audition or na parang nag-apply for Tiger Radio. Actually, tinap kami ng pandemic uh, mga volunteers or mga remaining volunteers to uh, join TR kasi nga nagkakaroon na ng shortage, kaya niya kulang na yung mga tao, which is always naman. <laughs> so, sinag kami, mga EP na, ay, ano kayo, EP kayo, ganyan. So, yun yung sabi ko, sige, try ko. And kahit hindi ako maging jock, at least naging part ako ng family. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yun na, hanggang sa kumuha ko ng maraming projects, special projects, mga shows, and naging head, ganyan. So, in a weird way, para na-fulfill ko yung dream, pero hindi kasi, I mean, I mean hindi, yun, yun yung sinasabi, yun yung parang sinasabi nila na hindi ka i- pupunta ni God dun sa gusto mo lang. Kailangan dun din sa parang plan niya for sa you. Sa plan niya. Yeah, kasi parang dun, ano, it's not the way that you expected but still you enjoyed the experience. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow, ang lalim naman. Na. Pero, <laughs> actually, itatanong ko nga sana sa kanya, kay Kuya, kay Kuya Aris, kung plinano niya ba talaga na mag-join ng Tiger Radio. Pero since nasagot niya na nga na, yes. ayun nga, na-top siya. So, Tech Ops, di ba? Tech Ops, ang oh, unang mang in-apply yan. Uh, yes, from Tech Ops ako, then tinap ako ng Tiger TV, tapos, kulang din sa TR so sabi ko sige pagsabay natin TR TTV di ba <laughs> since naman. pandemic no since pandemic mm, siya since so, pandemic paano kaya nag-function yung TR nun uh, ano kami online tayo online setup online. oo yes. uh, parang hirap nun oo gamit mm-hmm. talaga ng jack lahat mm-hmm. kung gamit Laptop mo mic mo talaga mo, namin oh. mic yeah, namin na. mixler okay. may mix, yes. lahat kami binigyan ng uh, lahat kayo binigyan ng jack pinag-download ng Mixler. Yes. Then, there's a lot. Siyempre, may mga hindi compatible mm-hmm. na ano, internet. So, yung struggle doon iba. Dito kasi, I mean, uh, yeah, struggle pa rin naman mag, ano, mag-onsite. mag Pero, iba yung kailangan yung sarili mong gamit, Totoo. internet mo. Yeah. Ibang Grabe, struggle din yun. Ibang na-alaki demonyo. Yung, naalaki stress ng pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Ito na, naglalabas na tayo ng ano. Yun, kasi BTR yun, first time ko mag-audition mm-hmm. nun. Oh. Tapos, last challenge na yun. Tapos nagloko yung Zoom ko. Diyos ko. Yan. <laughs> Grabe <laughs> yung stress yun. ko nun talaga. Uh-oh. Sabi ko pa, kung hindi ako makapasok ng Tiger Radio, sana sa next life ko na. <laughs> 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 next year naman. May next year I mean, naman. Next year may next year naman. But next year pa lang. <laughs> masyado lang akong, masyado lang akong na, nag-panic ng time na yun. Pero, <laughs> sige, thank you so much for answering our questions, Kuya Aris. Maraming pa kaming questions later on, but for yes. now, we'll go on to our next song break. So, ano bang next song break Uh-oh. natin? So, for our next song, tayo ay mananalangin. Uy, well, Uy. with Apo Hiking Society's Panalangin on Whoa. the only station where you hear the roar, USD Tiger Radio. Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot. Turn angel baby Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kara, your traveling sportscaster turned podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar, USD. 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 Tiger Radio. This is the only station where you can hear the roar. Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio.
It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authority. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition. Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar, USD. 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 Tiger Radio. USD Tiger Radio, the only station where you hear the roar. And now we're back. And before we're back, I just want to uh, inter to plug uh, Benchfly's uh, social media accounts in Facebook, Instagram, X, and YouTube. We have Benchfly Music in Spotify. They're also in Spotify. We have Benchfly, and that song was Sushi. And now. So now we are back here on <laughs> Hashtag TR Quentum is here again If you want to follow all of their social media accounts On Facebook, Instagram, and X Benchfly is Benchfly Music I know Spotify Benchfly yeah, Benchfly Maganda ka talang yun guys So ayun We're now back here on Hashtag TR Quentum Asino And ngayon naman Since napag-usapan na natin kanina yung mga Some past experiences ni Kuya Aris Or ang ating former on-air head here sa Tag Radio We still have some questions here For Kuya Aris So ready ka na ba? Yes, yeah, you ready oh, yeah, na Ready daw siya Alright, so for our next question here Ang pinakagusto lang naman namin malaman Actually, baka maging applicable din to for some of the listeners kasi feeling ko na nanonood yung mga TR ngayon eh. Mm-hmm. Ang gusto ko lang tanong sa is what were your biggest challenges during your stay in Tiger Radio? Like, can you provide different POVs from behind the scenes ng EP ka pa lang tapos uh-huh. naging tech ops ka tapos naging on-air yeah, head ka ng Tiger Radio? So, what were the different the challenges saga. that you had? Uh, okay, so challenges, no? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, una challenge siguro is uh, proving na dese- deserving ka sa spot mo sa TR, no? Kasi, syempre, a lot of uh, great people 
came yeah. from this station then diba so uh, siguro yun yung uh, struggle yun yung naging struggle ko nung ay oh, nung pandemic ay nung pumasok ako sa TR yun yung naging struggle ko sabi ko uh, parang kaya ko ba panindigan yung pagiging EP EP ako nun eh so kasi kahit naman sabihin natin na uh, you do lang yung prog flow Uh, it's still ano a uh, uh, very important task no kasi uh, hindi magra-run yung show nang wala ka yes. so yun yung pressure sa akin noon sabi ko kaya ko ba magpatakbo ng show every week ganoon so uh, nung na-overcome ko yun sabi ko okay kaya pala and uh, gets ko na kung paano then uh, nagtake ako ng iba't ibang projects initiatives ng Uh, previous administrations. Administrations. <laughs> administrations. Uh, noong una, uh, tinry kong mag-special projects. Like, mm-hmm. yung podcast, ako yung podcast uh, uh, director, mm-hmm. then podcast... Uh, Ay, nakapag-podcast director ka rin, Kuya. Oo, yun yung ano ko. Uh, yung kapatid mo ngayon, podcast director. Kasi director, director kapatid ko, di ba? Sabi ko lahat ng hindi ko natupad. <laughs> Siya magtutupad. <laughs> Pero, uh, yun, naging... Tag- tumanggap ako ng dalawang agad na projects podcast and BTR mm-hmm. uh, and I'm telling you guys yung unang BTR na pandemic sobrang hirap niya gawin uh, kasi syempre yung editing nun, yung shooting mm-hmm. kailangan in, la- ano, uh, in line lahat gigising kami ng around 5.40am para lang umupo sa screen then mm-hmm. watch a bunch of people talk di ba? so after nun hindi pa rin naman dun matatapos mag E-edit pa, mag-sort pa, and everything. Season ano yun, kuya? Two? Mm-hmm. Yung Kayla Saber? Yung Kayla Saber, ah, oo. Okay. And, yan, yung season na yun, actually, proud ako sa season na yun kasi ang daming na-produce na great jocks yes, din. Yes, diba, super. Uh, then, ayun, uh, yung hirap niya kasi online, narinasan namin lahat online. So, ang hirap niyang i-manage kasi hindi mo ma-force yung people to yes, do things kasi true. nga, limited sila by gamit nila, di ba? Mm-hmm. And nung nag face to face na kami, ibang ano na naman 'yon, ibang klasing hirap din 'yon kasi uh, during our first days na mag uh, face to face, yung threat ng COVID nandoon pa din. So hindi kami magpa kaya hindi namin kaya magpapasok ng maraming tao dito to do volunteer works. Kailangan pa rin namin sila i-monitor and such. Pero nung lumuwag-luwag na siya, uh, doon na namin uh, nakit nakuha yung groove and everything. And then, uh, fun story then. nung tinap ako ni Mom Faye na mag-on-air head, uh-huh. nasok ako. Tinawagan niya ako sa IG. Tinawagan niya ako sa IG. Sa IG ako tinatawagan ni Mom mm. for some reason. Aris, ikaw na to. Ikaw na mag-on-air head. Ganon. Talaga ano na? Sa ikaw na. Lang, no? oh, 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 ikaw na to. Kayang-kaya mo na to. Gawa ganun siya. Mm-hmm. Kailan niyo naman si Mom. Yes. Uh, so, ayun. Sabi ko, nasok ako. Kasi nag-aayos kami ng Quill Awards nun. Ay, Quill uh-huh. or basta ano. Uh, IBC yata nag-aayos kami ng mga ano ko co-heads ko nun tapos nagulat sila wala na ako sa call tapos sumusuka ako kasi nouna ang problema ko kaya ko ba magpatakbo ng show ngayon ang problema ko na kaya ko ba magpatakbo ng isang station na diba kasi ang laki na ang laki na ng scope and, and coordinate with other people and it turns out kaya naman pala <laughs> Kaya naman, mm-hmm. kaya naman. Siyempre, uh, nakakuha ka nga ng award eh. Uy, bossing namin ito. Di ba? As in, aside from the awards mm-hmm. na nakuha ng station and individually ng mga ano, it's the friends na yes, nandun. Yes, so ito. Uh, mm-hmm. Sobrang ganda. Ewan ko ha, for the me. The relationships. Ko, mm-hmm. that, yeah. Siyempre, hindi naman ako pwede magsabi ng self-serving. Pero, mm-hmm. I feel like I have a good relationship with the people I worked with. Mm-hmm. And, until now, nagkasabi sila sa akin ng mga ano, may mga friends pa rin ako. Actually, yung mga kasama ko dapat na guest dito. Friends ko sila, sabi ko na di-disappoint ako kasi para sila dito, parang reunion sana namin. Pero, oh. ayun, uh, yun yung uh, hirap. Uh, hirap is to, ha, paano mo papatakbuhin yung isang station? Na parang, mm. na parang hindi ka naman din ganun ka sure kung kaya mo, di ba? And kung meron kang talent or skill to ano, lead them. And they're all trusting you na ikaw yung magde-decide for them, for this station. Uh, kinaya naman, and... Uh, ayun, yun lang. <laughs> Alam mo, Toby, napaka-spontaneous nung nangyayari kay Aris, yeah. no? Like, <laughs> wala nga siyang choice, well, parang binibigyan oh, lang sa well, kanya. Well, yung... actually, mas masaya pag sponti, no? Like, di mo in-expect, but at the same time, magugulat ka na lang in, in the future na, na, na overcome mo na pala yun, na you're already done with that uh-huh. phase. And nakaka-enjoy. And actually, kung hindi niyo man alam, sobrang bossing talaga namin. Sobrang <laughs> idol talaga namin, tasi Kuya Aris, as in dati. As in, 
Ako personally na natakot ako sa kanya dati. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit? Oo, oh, oh, nagkaroon ng face na natakot ako kay Alex. Mm-hmm. Especially nung first time ko siya makita on air. Kasi? Wala lang. <laughs> natatakot ako sa aura mo dati. Um, yung time na hindi ko pa masyadong alam na very joker-joker ka ng time na yun. Kasi, <laughs> kasi, kasi syempre nung pandemic, pag pag messenger hindi mo naman talaga alam kung ano yung totoong tono ka ba <laughs> so <laughs> hindi mo talaga masyadong nakakapa yung person Hanggang pero text lang eh. pero nung mm-hmm. FT promise super super fun kasama super approachable as in lahat-lahat na mm-hmm. kulang na lang pagawa na namin siya ng rebulto dito sa loob <laughs> Tiger Radio <laughs> for the future generations uh, ano <laughs> oh sige pero for our next question naman since nasabi mo na nga yung some of your past challenges na na-experience mo dito naman how's the radio organization changed since time then. So, yung time mm-hmm. mo kasi dati, di ba, nagkaroon ng, naranasan nar- 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 mo rin pre-pandemic, di ba, kuya? Pre-pandemic, tas pandemic, tapos uh-huh. nag-ano ulit. Mm-hmm. Yung pre-pandemic TR, na sulipan, sulipan ko lang dyan. Napapadaan lang ako, napapasilip lang ako. Mm-hmm. And, yung, pre- yung pandemic talaga, doon ako pumasok. Pero based sa story ng mga previous heads ko and previous co-heads ko is, ibang-iba talaga noon. Kasi, mas, ano noon eh, mas strict sa English. Actually, hindi tayo pwedeng magtagalog dito ganun. Ganun yung alam ko ah, based sa uh, ano, based sa super, oh, mas, strict. Mm, super strict. Mm-hmm. Siguro ano rin 'yun, dala rin 'yun nung uh, hello. Dala rin 'yun nung uh, kung ano rin yung norm or meta yes. sa F- FM radio. Oh. Kasi noon, 'di ba, more on uh, easy rock uh, vibes na bosses, yung mala parang modulated mm-hmm. ganun. Parang very radio And as time goes by then Na-realize namin na Di mo na ma-hook yung audience Sa ganda ng boses din eh So nung pandemic Tinry namin mas maging talk show din Parang luglabas din ang podcast di ba So mas maraming Mas madaldal Mas ka- mas ponti na people Mas pasok Mas ano namin So nung after pandemic Doon din namin uh, Nakuha yung mga people na Kaya rin to do multiple stuff, no? Hindi lang basta magto-talk, ganun. Uh, ayun, siguro, yun yung nag-change yung meta or like yung norm sa radio from uh, song-centric na shows, yung patugtog lang, paganda ng playlist, from uh, talkative talaga, like paganda ng content naman, mm-hmm. ng mga sinasabi, pagalingan ng mga guests na kinukuha, or palakihan ng mga guests na kinukuha, uh-huh. then, pagating sa mga pub mats, pa, ano man, pamparami na alam I mo mean, yung ganong klase ng ano so it changes then based sa norm din ng society mm-hmm. ko ano yung hinihingi ng people kumbaga naggo-grow yung TR talaga yep, and that's how it grows it mm-hmm. nagche-change siya through time uh, hindi siya tulad lang ng stick tayo sa ganto if may bagong format na available then uh, adapt tayo diba okay. ganun naman yung Uh, dapat in every siguro organization pero in TR ganun yung naging ano natin yung naging ano ko before like kung ano yung bago yun yung ano try natin mag-experiment ganun. buti nagkaroon ng shift sa TR na ganun kasi as TR ang main audience natin is Tomasians mga medyo bata ganun uh, 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 and uh, uh, uh. you can't really hook everyone na puro easy rock yung malamodulated yung bosses dapat uh. you introduce a lot of things talaga mm, mm. to keep it fresh wow. to keep it dapat kailangan fresh lagi yung binibigay mo sa audience mo para yes. hindi rin sila magsawa ganun mm-hmm. yeah, because at the same time di ba yung mga thumbashans ganun parang iba-iba yung mga gusto nilang naririnig yes. iba-iba yeah. yung trends iba-iba yung demands ng Melting mga tao so you really mm-hmm. have to you know adjust with them as well kasi yes. sila yung nakikinig sila yung you know nakikinig sa mga pinapalabas nyo sa mga content mm-hmm. na nilalabas nyo. So, you really mm-hmm. have to adjust with them. And at the same time, I agree yung sinabi nyo dun sa radio na kasi dati nga talaga, yung mga bosses very modulated na parang ang lalim-lalim talaga ng bosses. Yes. Like, very announcer vibes talaga yung mga uh, ano nila. Three points for a mag- <laughs> LeBron <laughs> James! Ano nila. Pero no ngayon, di ba, ngayon kami parang kaming baliw dito. <laughs> parang kami ano dito. Parang kaming mga nagchichikahan na. Yes. Like, ano. And it really depends baliw. with, you know, the, the course of time. Kung ano ano ba yung mga gumagana ngayon sa mga mm-hmm. listeners, sa mga mahilig makinig sa mga radio. And with that, um, we would just like again to plug all of our socials. So on Mixler, we're at mixler.com slash UST Tiger Radio. On X, we're at Tiger Radio UST. On IG, we're at US Tiger Radio. And on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, we are at mixler.com. We are mixler.com slash UST Tiger Radio. Now we will be moving on with our next song, which is a song from our Thumashian artist. This hey. is Bad Nikat with Shift dot esc only on the station where you hear the roar usd tiger radio this is the only station where you
you can hear the Celebrating 2009 to 2019. This is the station where you hear the Only on the station where you hear the roar. USD Tiger Radio. It's another fine day. Everything just seems okay. You are either having your classes or simply hanging with your friends in the lobby. When suddenly... The ground begins to shake. What should you do? First things first, stay calm. Don't panic. Then follow these important tips. Perform the duck, cover, and hold procedure during the shaking. Start evacuating only when the shaking stops. Protect yourself by putting your hands on your head while evacuating. Use the stairs and do not use the elevators. Never re-enter your building unless you are given the green light by the authorities. Walk at a fast pace and do not run. In the same way that you should not push or overtake the person ahead of you. Watch out for falling debris and objects that are made of hardwood, concrete, and glass. Phones, such as landlines, can only be used by authorized university personnel. Go check yourself and your companions for any injuries sustained. If ever you are trapped inside an elevator, press the alarm button to notify the people outside and immediately call for help or notify anyone of your location and condition.
Once you reach the evacuation area, try to do a roll call to ensure that no one is left behind. In case anyone is missing, immediately notify the field marshal in order to conduct a search and rescue. It is the sole responsibility of the university's facilities management office to determine if it is already safe to enter the buildings. Nobody is allowed to leave the evacuation area unless instructed to do so. Keep these things in mind because your safety is our utmost priority. Always stay safe and alert, the Mashians! The USD Engineering Dance Troupe is the recognized dance organization of the family. USD Tiger Radio, the only station where you hear the roar. You are still tuning into hashtag TR Cuento Masino. And that last song was from our very own Tomashan Artist of the Week, Band Nikat, with Shift.ese. And that, also, that last song also, yung pinatugtog kanina, was Smooth Operator by Sadie. And again, you're still Shade. tuning in. Ah, it's Shade. It's Shade. <laughs> and you're still tuning in to me, your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock, Toby. And this is your Chicka Chit Chatter, Charlie. And once again, if you want to tune in and if you want to listen to more of Bandicat's song, if you want to follow them on their social media accounts on Instagram, they're at Bandicat Official 169. And on X, they're at Cat But Public. Again, that's Cat mm-hmm. But Public public all right so actually itong top ito is our last top point already oh, yes. so sana like enjoy ka naman kuya Aris. but we still have some questions left for you mm-hmm. if you don't mind answering don't them mind. all right so medyo naputol to kanina pero gusto namin itanong sa iyo kanina is what do you miss most about tiger radio being tiger radio working for tiger radio mm-hmm. ano ang pinaka na miss mo Oh, kayo. Kasi, madalas kayong... Uh, yung iba dito, ano ko pa rin, sobrang friends ko. Ayan, si Ma'am Dang. Yes. Uh, diba, kita nyo naman yung ano kanina. <laughs> sobrang nakakamiss yung people, yung uh, vibes, no? Every time na after airing namin, kakain kami sa J. Allen's, ganun. Sabi-sabi kayo pa ba elevator? And, uh, kasi, uh, kaya ako ka nami-miss kasi nga, syempre, uh, once you uh, stop, being a student, no? Medyo lumalaki na rin yung agwat nyo with your other friends. Yes. Uh, swerte pa rin kami kasi we still have uh, some time na parang nakakapag-usap, ganyan, and hindi na siya tulad din ng before na, no? Sobrang dalas namin mag-usap, ganyan. Uh, kasi dati, kap- mandatory mag-usap kayo, eh. Kasi, syempre, you work in one organization, eh. Mm-hmm. And now, hindi naman na kayo obligated na mag-reply lagi. Totoo. Pero, Ayan, yun yung nami-miss ko is it's the people talaga. Uh, Siyempre, iba, iba pa rin yung nami-miss ko rin naman yung mag-air or mag-monitor, mag-isip uh, ng contents. Pero, ano eh, iba pa rin yung mga tao. Kahit siguro wala na yun, makasama ko lang ulit yung friends ko dito mm-hmm. and to catch up with them, to talk with them. Ganun. Kahit casual lang eh. Yeah, casual so, Speaking lang. of airing, di ba mag- nagkaroon ka ng Tiger Jack name, di ba? Ash, Ash <laughs> ba? Oh, Tiger Jack Ash. Tiger Jack oh, Ash. Oh. Ash. Actually, kay, nat- natawa ako dun kasi music marathon yun, di ba? Tapos uh-huh. bigla kang nag-special airing kasama uh-huh. sila nun. Tapos sabi ko, sino si Tiger Jack? At sila nasa, tapos magkarinig ko, ay si Kuya Aris! Ang pogi ba nung, ang pogi nung pangalan? <laughs> tapos yung ano? Si Kuya Aris pa Uy, na to. Tiger Jack Ash. Pero di ba pangarap mo rin talaga mag-Tiger Jack uh-huh. dati? Oo, oh, oh, yun talaga yung ano ko, goal ko. Actually, yung mingle mo with joining mm, me, di ba? Joining, yeah, oh. Gusto ko mag-Jack, gusto ko mag... Kasi, uh, fun fact, nung bata ako, li- radio listener na ako ever since mm. grade 8. Mm. Uh, kaya sabi ko so maging kailangan lahat ng gagawin ko towards to being a jock mm-hmm. kaya nag ano ko yun nga yung tinaga ko sa sa nung friends ko di ba tapos uh, ano yung sobrang sobrang hindi ano parang hindi ko inexpect din na mapapasok ako ng TR mm-hmm. just Uh, hindi nga ako naging jack hindi ko na try kanya mm. pero yun nga sabi ko na misdirect na misdirect na redirect ako towards uh, another position wherein I can do both mm. content producing tapos being a jack di ba nakapag jack ako syempre ako yung bahala sa sino oh, mag-air oh. eh di ba <laughs> so ako na yung mag-air wala na mo di whatever you want <laughs> oh magbibita yeah. kayo ako gusto ko lang eh <laughs> <laughs> kaya uh, mm. 
Pero ano, di, yung Tiger Jack name ko, madami yan. Madami yung Tiger Jack name. Talaga? Oh, 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 oh. Yung Ashley, yung isa Facebook, marami. Kaso hindi siya pwedeng sabihin on air. Ah, uh, so official yung Ash. Official yung Ash. Hmm. Ash or... Uh, alam ko kasi si... Si Glad Mabel. Uh-huh. Ah, Mabel. Oh, alam ko, okay. ikaw, may, basta Mabel siya. Tapos, dapat ako deeper. Kasi nga, di ba, parang Mabel bestest kami. Deeper. Mabel uh-huh. and deeper sa Gravity Uy, Falls. Sa, no. Di ba, ang cute. That's Kaso cute. sabi ko, sige, mag-ash na lang ako. Para mas mabilis. Yeah. That may Tiger Jack Pikachu rin tayo. Dami, dami syllables eh. Sabi ko, Ash from Pokemon? No. Parang yun ba ang ano? O, naisip mo lang Ash talaga. Oo, oo. Mabilis lang kasi, di ba yung marathon, TR marathon kasi one week lang siya kinonceive sa ano eh, conceptualize eh. So, wala na akong time mag-inarte pa sa pangalan. So, mabilis din yung pangalan Ash. Ash. I'm Tiger Ash. Ash. Hindi, favorite yung Tiger Jack Ash talaga dati guys. Pinin yung pinakamagandang Tiger Jack name talaga sa TR. Huwag din na ako yung bossing mo. Tatan na ng Tiger Radio talaga. <laughs> But I think, ano, I think it's now an opportunity for Ash to say kung ano yung mga iba mong Tiger jock names sa Ay, sa bawal nga daw sabihin on air. Pero ano meron ako ang tayo ng oras sa oras. Meron dapat AZ. <laughs> could, AZ? Oo, oh, oh. AZ. O kaya... Uh, Lucas. Kaso, uh, Ash na lang. <laughs> si Lucas yung ka-work mo sa ano, di ba? Oh, si John Lucas. Kasi favorite name ko yung John, ano, yung uh, Lucas na name. Mm-hmm. O kaya Luke. Kaso may look na. May look na. Look na, na. Yes. Yeah. At nakukuha na nga yung mga ano ko, <laughs> mga name ko. And di ko rin alam, di ko na malaman ko ano yung exact uh, reason bakit Ash yung, but Ash na lang yung ano ko. Pero marami akong binalak. Ah, uh, Meron din Rakan, mga ganun. Rakan? Oh. Grabe yung napakala, no? Ay, unique naman. Ay, unique, di ba? So, eh, wala eh. Yun na yung pinang-ano namin, pinang-pubmat. Yun na yung abang buhay. <laughs> Alright, go. Grabe, nakakatawa pa inggan yung mga stories ni Kuya Aris dito. Di ba, nasabi niya nga na parang iba't iba yung mga naging Tiger Jock names niya. But aside mm-hmm. from that, na, na, nasabi niya rin kanina, di ba, na it's it's more than just, you know, the work itself. Yes. It's it's about your friends, the friendship the that people, you have madam. built. It's the diba? family. Yung, kumakain daw sila sa J. Allen's, mm-hmm. yung, yung, you know, life after work. Yun, yes. yun naman actually talaga yung masaya, you know? yung parang may, may nilolock forward ka every time that you go to work. Every after Act- that, di ba, parang, actually, ba? ano, may, nags- may alumni kami, may senior ako before na, parang tinanong din yan, ano yung pinaka na may miss nyo, pinakang, na, ano yun, na parang gusto niya balikan. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya it's the, ta- the it's the down times na walang work, walang kahit ano. E, yun yung times kasi mas nakikilala niyo yung isa't isa. Tumatak yeah. sa akin yun and sabi ko okay, I'll make uh, every down time with these people memorable. Kaya mas na prioritize kong magkipag-bond din mm-hmm. with the pe- uh, with the TR volunteers noon. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> speechless ako. Speechless. Hindi pero hindi totoo. Hindi actually totoo talaga 'yun. Yung talaga 'yung actually pinaka isa sa mga mamimiss mo no na kung tanungin ka man ano ba 'yung pinaka na mamimiss mo. Syempre 'yung pinaka mamimiss mo 'yung mga you know the person that you spend it with. Mm-hmm. Yung mga kasi yung talaga 'yung mga kasama mo noon. Hindi okay. mo talaga makakalimutan 'yun eh. Ako actually siguro kung graduate man ako next year. Mm-hmm. Sana pala graduate oh. ako next year, no? Gagraduate ako dapat <laughs> next year, no? Next year. Pero, I mean, kung, mag- kung graduate na ako, tapos, you know, alumni, tapos ma- ma- pumunta na lang ulit ako dito for a visit, ganun. Isa rin yun sa sasagutin ko siguro, like, maalala ko na yung magkakape kami after, yung yeah. moniker ko, or kung gaano ko lamig sa Tiger Radio boot, di ba? <laughs> hindi ko talaga members. makakalimutan yun. As in, lamig na, lamig mm-hmm. talaga ako. Siguro, hindi na ako lalamigin pag pumunta ako ng Antarctica kasi trinay na ako dito <laughs> sa booth ng Tiger Radio. Tama ko, oh, yung Antarctica. Nasabot ako nalang sa Alaska, no? Yes, ano na lang ako dun, parang, Grabe. you know, that's, 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 ka pa. Mm-hmm. New York built. Oo, uh, yeah, ayos yung mga nasa <laughs> New York. Dapat nga si Al hindi na nagte-thermal clothes kasi sanay na yan sa malamig na boot dito sa Tiger Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Dapat sanay na siya. So, hindi, so, hindi, joke lang, hindi, joke lang. Pero just for a conclusion lang din, for our mm-hmm. final words lang din, you know, I just want to say that Tiger Radio is really just more than an online radio broadcasting yes, yes. branch of UST. But, you know, it's it's a starting ground. It's a starting ground where you can grow and hone your skills while meeting new people and provided with so much opportunities. Ako, I can say the same and I can resonate with that statement as well because as a jock myself I I started in Tiger Radio as someone na hindi talaga ako yung maingay I mean uh-huh. 
Ay, grabe yung tawa. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Grabe yung tawa. <laughs> grabe yung tawa. Parang may dote. Grabe yung tawa. Grabe yung tawa. Hindi, kasi personally, yung nag-start din ako mag-air, sobrang kabado ka. I mean, mm-hmm. don't we all, di ba? Yes. Feeling ko lahat naman ng mga jokes na nakikinig ngayon, lahat sa atin kinakabahan talaga palagi every time that, you know, first natin mag-air. Nung time na yun, for me, parang napakalaking machine pa ito. So, hindi ko oh. alam kung ano yung mga gagalawin. Ano yung mga buttons, no? Ano yung mga buttons. But now, di ba, parang... <laughs> Bakit? Ano meron? Speaking of ano, yung sorry, sa story lang. Okay, okay. Di ko pa kasi yan alam kasi hindi nga ako nakakawak niyan. Tinipilit ko tanggalin yang parang foam. Sabi ko, iyan ba yung takip? Ay, Sabi ko, takip ba yan? Takip ba yan? Gila gano'n kasi hindi tumutunog. Tapos sa pinindot mo. Sa pinindot ko, hindi siya tumutunog kasi nga dapat merong laugh tracks. Mm-hmm. Nung pinindot ko, tapos... Ang bayaw, tinatanggal ko siya, pinupunit ko. <laughs> Pero hindi ko naman nasira, buhay pa naman. Buhay pa naman siya. Uh, na- <laughs> Natutukulap na to, gilinula lang namin. <laughs> so, dahil pala kay Aris yun. Uh-uh, hindi yun yun. yun. <laughs> Ay, huwag kang gumaganyan na sinabihan mo ng past Ay, generation niya. Oh. <laughs> ano na tayo? Even. Uh, Even okay. 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 Pero sige, hmm. since napag- ang dami natin napag-usapan, hmm. we, we already talked about a lot of things. Yeah. Yung journey mo. Now, would you would you like to say some final words? Baka may gusto kang, you know, baka gusto mo rin encourage yung mga, you know, mga aspiring uh-huh. applicants ng Tiger Radio yes. and ng Tiger Media Network. Baka may mga words of, you wisdom. know, wisdom ka. Mm, wow. Diba? Baka may mga gusto kang uh, words of... And baka may gusto kang i-shout out. Mm-hmm. Sige. Shout out muna siguro sa mga friends ko, yung mga friends ko sa TR, no? Sila Glad, Gabby, Chiki, Jay, si Jay, Jay, Jay. Uh, si Jay, si uh, Fiana, si Bianca, tapos and all of the people na naka-work ko sa TR. Uh, I would like to give you a big shout out kasi nga uh, I wouldn't be Uh, as effective uh, as ahead if hindi rin naman okay yung hinahead ko. Pero, yun. So, siguro transitioning to the words of wisdom, no? Uh, Tiger Radio kasi is like a family talaga for me noon. Uh, Siyempre, ano, madami nga nagsasabi sa amin na parang, ala, bakit ang close-close nyo? Bakit parang hindi kayo, I mean, lagi kayo magkakasama pag may event sa TMN? Uh, it's because we want to be uh, a family din talaga, no? We, uh, and when, when we say a family, hindi naman laging good times lang. Hindi naman laging, uh, ah, si Migi pa pala, sorry. Hi, Migi. And hindi lang siya lagi good times, hindi lang din siya lagi bad times. It's a balance of both. Basta lagi lang kayo nagpo-progress Uh-oh. forward, no? Uh, 15 years Tiger Radio, 'di ba? Parang mm. it's a big fit na ano, ang dami ng stories inside. And yes. it's uh it's a family nga talaga like And for sure, ang dami na ring nag-away, ang dami na ring uh, na buong Ang dami na. Oo, ang dami na ring nag-away. <laughs> Pero uh, uh the fact that Uh, you guys will celebrate 15 years of TR oh. uh, proves na strong yung bond here and I hope yun lang then yung in hope ko for uh, future generations ng TR na to continue the culture of family here mm-hmm. yes. na we are a safe space for everyone true no? uh, And from there, kasi doon mas magiging maganda yung contents, magta-translate siya into yes. viewership, into listenership. And uh, sa mga hindi sa mga hindi pa kasali ng TR, mga gustong magsumama ng TR, uh, I can assure, I can attest, uh, yan yung mga ano namin, juniors namin before, na you're in good hands. And magiging ano sila, like magiging, I hope... Uh, mas ma-retain yung culture namin uh, as a uh, family. Paulit-ulit na ako sa family. Pero, join TR if you want na uh, experience radio production. Mm-mm. But, uh, you'll stay for TR for the people in the station. Ayun lang. Ang dami mo sinabi. I love it. I love it. Pakikat na lang. Diesel tayo with the <laughs> oh, parang Vin Diesel. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, to summarize, ang sinabi niya lang is nag-enjoy naman daw siya. Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Join T join, join TMN TR na. Join yes. TR #TR15 yun TR15 yun ang summary ng message Uh-oh. ni Kuya Asne. pero thank you thank you so much once again for gracing us <laughs> here gracing, yes. gracing your presence here again Grabe. on the Tiger Radio booth it's been a while since bumalik ka po dito 10 yes. months tama ba 10 months uh, oh yeah uh, magka 10 months na 
Uh-huh. 10 months na since since naging Real Madrid siya. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so once again, thank you, thank you so much for gracing your pre- gracing gracing yes. talaga favorite word ko. No? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for guesting here on Tiger Radio yes. for our very special episode of Cuento Masino. And thank you, thank you so much once again to all of thank our listeners on the TV screens of UST on so our TikTok Live yeah. and on our Mixler. We are here on Mixler.com slash yes. UST Tiger Radio. And ikaw, baka yung mga final words ka? sa mga listeners. Hindi, ayoko, ayoko ng ano eh, ayoko ng eat over yung kasi ganda na nang sinabi. Let's leave it at that. Na, no. it's, it's very Miss Universe oh, diba? material. Diba? Family. Kaya join na guys. Gusto namin lumaki pa yung ano, family scope. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, once again, thank you, thank you so much guys. And before we go, we would just like to plug all of our socials here on TR. So on X, we're at Tag Radio USC. On IG, we're at US Tag Radio. On Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, we're at USC Tag Radio. And on Mixler, we are Mixler.com slash UST Tiger Radio and of course we would also like to plug our upcoming 15th anniversary yes. of Tiger Radio we have a lot of things prepared mm-hmm. for you guys we have a lot of activities a lot of things that you guys should be waiting for so if you want to know more about it just tune in and stay on the loop in all of our yes. social media accounts on Twitter Instagram and on TikTok yes and And for our next song break, we have AJ Navarro uh, from Instagram and TikTok. We have at NVRO AJ in Spotify and Apple Music. We have AJ Navarro and in SoundCloud, we have Stream AJ Music. All and right. here's Don't Worry, AJ Navarro on the only station where you hear the roar, USD Tiger Radio. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Everybody, it's Tiger Jock Val. This is your total hot shot, turn angel baby, Tiger Jock Javi. This is your versatile fashionista, Tiger Jock Sadie. This is Tiger Jock Kyra, your traveling sportscaster, turn podcaster. This is your caffeinated cutie, your Tiger Jock Toby. This is everyone's favorite valley girl, Tiger Jock Zen. And please tune in to the only station where you hear the roar, UST. 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 Tiger Radio. Back to school na naman. This is Hometown Vlogs. Stay tuned for our next destination. Welcome to a new edition of Culture Shock. As a New Yorker, cheris. <laughs> of course, it's a big win for UST. San tayo kakain? Mine is the red velvet latte. I feel so ecstatic. Ah! It's so ah! exhilarating. Ah! <laughs> for today's episode of Lifeline where we improve our lives by feeding our minds. Go sick! Go sick! Go sick! Go, 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 go! The front runners. First in line, Legacy, Legacy through time. time. This is Tiger TV's The Conscious Mind, reminding us to live life with serenity and that healing comes from within. We are always on the move, always on track, and in full swing. Serving the Tamashian community by creating. Grow and growl with us. We are in full swing. We are the Tiger Media Network. We are savvy. We are more than just content creators. We are storytellers. We tell the Tomashian story. Stories of victories. Stories of inspiration. And the story of unending grace. We are 360. It can be found here, 
here and here. We have industry standard equipment and facilities for hands-on use. These equipment also enable us to service people by producing a myriad of content. We don't just share stories, we engage people. We are professionals who take our craft seriously by transforming crazy into impressive side by side with our student volunteers. We hone, we cultivate, we are committed to truth and kindled by love. We are the USD Communications Bureau.